No, I'll point at you. Why? Why? You don't want me to point at you? Huh? Wipe your face? Where? Where are those gunner? These aren't gunners, no. These are just, uh... These are, uh... Prescription glasses with, uh, blue, li blue light filter in them. I like them, they just look neat, too. No, they're not gunners, they're from, uh, Zenny. I got them from Zenny. Ooh, sorry, got back from the gym and I ate dinner, so I'm still... Kind of trying to get my brain energy back. Yeah, I got haze glasses. I got haze vision. Yeah, we are, uh, we, we got haze vision, as they call it. Where's my Brendan music? There it is. We got a little bit of haze, haze, haze vision. It's all good. Nice stash. You could sip soup with that. I could strain soup with that. Thank you. We have the whole, I gotta do some face maintenance this week, I think. We gotta do some facial maintenance. Yikes. But yeah, we know, uh, what is, we played Black Ops 1 a while back, uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, we've been playing through all the Call of Duty games after COD 4. So what have we gone through? We got uh, MW1, World of War, Black Ops 1, uh, MW2, and now MW3. So we're playing them in release order. So after this is Black Ops 2, um, and then after that is Ghost. Uh, the Call of Duty where everything went wrong, yeah. Zoomer Childhood, as somebody said. We we're playing Zoomer Childhood. Next up is Peak, and then it all's, it's all downhill from there. Um, how much does Ghost even cost? Thank you, old man, for the 2 one sub. I appreciate that. How much does uh, Ghost even cost right now? Let me go take a little look-see. Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, six, I'm gonna have to spend $60 on that stream, chat. I, I hope you fucking... We get to Ghost. I'm gonna have to spend sixty fucking sixty fucking. How is it sixty? How is it sixty fucking dollars? How is Ghost sixty fucking dollars? It is like ten dollars on Xbox. You don't have a copy of Ghost yet? No, because I wanted to buy it on PC. I could get it on Xbox. How cheap it is? It? Xbox One Call of Duty Ghost. Twenty bucks. Ten bucks used on eBay. So maybe I could do Xbox. I don't want to do Xbox One, though. I want to play a mouse and keyboard. Well, let me see Cheap Shark. Cheap Shark Call of Duty Ghost. Let me see if they have any PC deals. Um, Call of Duty Ghost. I wonder if there are any cheap keys. $50? The cheapest it ever was was in 2014 for $15? Nobody's playing Ghost still, right? Yeah, nobody's online. Sixty fucking dollars. It was fourteen dollars. Oh, let me see. Let me see dubious means. Oh, okay. I might be able to get a game key. I might I might be able to dubious do this. Oh, Russian. Oh, uh, well, $20. Uh, okay. I may have to do something a little dubious. I hate buying things on uh, key resellers, but I may have to go to a key reseller. This one. Okay. That's better than paying for it. Outright, because I'm uh, fucking $60. Hate using key resellers, but if they want to keep selling it for $60 fucking dollars... I will go and spend the fucking twenty dollars instead. Fuck that. Anyway, how's your day, chat? How's your fucking? Is it a tumultuous Tuesday? You having a tummy Tuesday? Tumultuous Tuesday? Huh? How's your Tuesday? Tell me how your Tuesday is. I want to know. My streamer is endorsing key resellers. I am not. I am not. But sometimes, just saying, Activision video games have really bad pricing. So sometimes. You have to source a copy through slightly dubious means. Not dubious means as in pirating, because I would never endorse pirating. 
ever. So, mowed my yard and it was hot. I can't mow my yard. They put a bunch of flags in my lawn and I don't know what to do about it. And it's not like they didn't come by and like, uh, they put like, uh, they, the, the power company, one of the companies came by and put a bunch of flags in my yard. So I'm like, I don't, what do I do? Found an album called Killer Gnome by a band called Killer Gnome, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Shift just ended and the white boy is streaming. Hey, yeah, fair. Vegan pad thai, that sounds good. Like some good chicken. You need to go to trim your yard. They put a bunch of flags in my yard. What do I do with that? How do, what do I deal with the, how do I deal with all the flags in my yard? Like what do I do with them? Right? Like what? What am I supposed to do? Right? How's my hair doing post gym? My hair is going goofy. Went to the dentist and had dinner. Nice, nice. Play golf with the yard flags. Are they not working? I don't know. They're just flags in every yard on our street, and I'm like, how do I mow around this? Can I take these out? I've li I've lived in an apartment for so long. I've never had anybody put a put a bunch of flags in my yard. I'm like, what do I do with these? Those are collectible flags. It's like Pokemon. No, it's to tell them. I, I assume they're going to be digging up because it's to tell them where, like, the cables and stuff are. So they don't, like, cut our power or anything. I finally got milk. Nice. Welcome back. I should put my own flags out there, realistically. I should, I should get a bunch of flags with my face on it going, like, and then I should put those out there. I think it'd be funny. That'll work, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work. <sighs> Waking up today. Jeez, Brendan. Wake the fuck up, Brendan. Whatever you do, don't remove them. A buddy of mine did that once and they shot him in the street like a dog. I don't believe that. I don't think that's real. I don't, I don't think they did that. I don't think they shot your buddy. I don't think you're lying to me. I think you're telling me lies. Stop telling me lies. Brendan and I do land surveying, and it could be them telling a land surveyor where the power lines are similar are for a north nearby construction project. See, that's what I thought. But then I'm like, what do I... How do I mow the lawn? I mean, I didn't mow the lawn today because tornado sirens went off, and I was like, no! Jeez, Louise, we'll talk about that later, though. Ready? can we get a yeah? Yeah! Ah! Was that a good yeah for you? Okay, we'll go into the game. I'm over here now. Oh, let me get the game up. I don't remember this mission. They also warned me about like, th this game also started with like a, if there is a mission that may offend you, be careful. Cause you make it freaking offended. Do you want to be offended? And I was like, what does Modern Warfare 3 have? It doesn't have a, does Modern Warfare 3 also have their own no Russian? Because I never, I never finished this one. This is one that I dropped, so I, I genuinely, like, three missions into this, I dropped it. Because of no, oh, because they referenced no Russian? Well, you live in an apartment, but still have to mow the lawn? No, 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 no. I've just, I've always lived in an apartment. So, like, I, I mow the lawn now at the house. And I don't know what to do with the flags in the yard, is what I meant. Oh, they bomb Paris a lot? A child gets blown up. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, Brendan, there's a scene in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 where they take a kid. He's like seven, eight years old. They put a bomb in, they, 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 they put a bomb on him and they have him walk into a tattoo parlor and he, they just blow him up, Brendan. They blow up that kid, Brendan. They just blow him up. They just put a bomb on him and put him in a tattoo parlor. And they say, go in there, get in there. And they blow him up and he ends up being fine. Like the bomb is not a real bomb. It's like a fake bomb. It's all CG anyway. But like, it's freaked up, dude. It's messed up. What the fun? What the fun is happening? What the freak, dude? That's literally what happens. Damn, we're in for a wild ride then. Uh, let me take a little, 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 little look at the settings. Uh, subtitles are on. All right, we're good. Speaker config, Windows default. All right, we're finally getting to some modern COD. You play the parent. Ah, I see. Is this the one where you press F to pay respects? Brendan, they made a Billy Bomb, a bomb about Billy, a Billy Bomb, a Billy Boy Bomb, a Billy Bomb, a Billy Bomb in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. They made a Billy Bomb in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. They put a Billy Bomb in here. It's crazy that they put a Billy Bomb in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. They should call it Call of Duty Modern Warfare Billy Bomb. It'd be crazy. Billy Bomb Joe. In 2013, 
there will be a Billy Bomb. And it will. A Billy Boom Boom. Uh, we're gonna play on Hardened. Because I'm silly! Whoa! The world is your oyster. Space is a clam. Oh, it did start like this. Fuck off. How far will you go to bring it back? All the right pills in all the right places. Yeah, we're going down. All the right pills in all the right places. Yeah, we're going down. Everybody knows, everybody knows where we're going. Yeah, we're going down. I'm saying it. All the right pills in all the right places. Yeah, we're going down. It's got that energy to it, like the whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this is right where you got shot by Shepard or stabbed by Shepard. I can't remember. When is Paul Walker gonna pop up and save us? The ghost of Paul Walker better pop up and save us right fucking now. He's gonna be, he's gonna be driving a nice fucking car. Oh. We gotta save him. Dude, they should make you play like an operation style minigame where you have to take the shrapnel out of your body. You should play as Price and then you should be able to just take the shrapnel out of your body operation style. And then when you miss, you're like, <laughs> Soap goes, ah, ooh. Soap goes, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. I'm just trying to get these pieces of metal out of your body with a couple of forceps, buddy. Don't be worried about it. We're, we're, we're trying to help you out here, bud. WW3! Oh my god, they flipped the bitch! Oh! <laughs> That's so cool! Holy fuck, they flipped the bitch. Guys, can you believe it? Call of Duty MW3! They flipped the bitch. As long as they maintain air dominance, it's a losing fight. Oh my god, are we starting off with an AC-130 mission? Oh my god, I forgot about AC-130 missions. I am so fucked. Brendan, where were you when they made a W and M? I was right here! I was here at the stream when they made a W and M! I was here with you! You and I! We were here! Yell it, yell it, yell it loud! Yell it proud! WW, we was here! Wait a minute! WWH, we was here! Flip the W around, MWH! Monster Hunter! Monster World Hunter! Flip her on the H! Monster Hunter World! Monster Hunter World! We were here! Oh shit! One of these days, I just want somebody to fire an RPG and yell RPG, but it's like a copy of, uh, I don't know, Yakuza 7. <laughs> RPG inbound! Oh shit! Earthbound! <laughs> you sound crazy right now? Listen, I went to the gym today. I'm sorry, but this is what you get when you get healthy, Brendan. I'm so fucking sorry, but healthy Brendan is a bee. He's a monster. He's a creature. We don't do this low energy slime anymore. All right, this isn't RimWorld. This ain't your mom's game. This ain't fucking. This ain't Mahjong on her fucking 2013 Toshiba laptop, right? This is Call of Duty MW3, a gamer's game, a game that'll help us game, game effectively and efficient. Is that truck? Is that my son? Wait a minute! 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 Oh shit! I told you you could name a child truck. I told you. Fuck you! I told you we could name a child truck. We found him! He's real! Oh, now he's Sandman. Never mind, they renamed him. Truck! I gotta go save Truck. I gotta go save my baby. I gotta go save my son, my baby boy. I gotta go save my son. I gotta save my baby- Oh my god, they didn't even start me off. They, they just start you off really hard, don't they? I also hate this red dot side, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I- is there an FOV setting in this Crawl of Duty? Give me a second. Is there an FOV in this one, bitch? There's not a FOV. Of course there's not a FOV. That'd be nice. It'd be great if there was a FOV. There's not a fucking FOV though, so... I hate this. How do I- oh god. Nope, that's my son. Don't shoot at my son. Don't shoot at your son. 
You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You should go shoot the gun. You're as horny as a cactus. I don't know what- that's not the song, Brendan. That's not- that's- Brendan, that's not the song, Brendan. Grow up, dude. That's not the song. They never say that in the Grinch. I'm not gonna shoot truck. There he is right there. Favorite Call of Duty. Gotta be my favorite one now. They got truck in there. And he's real. And he's my son. Yeah, give me the P90, please. We have to go. They need me. They need... They need me. Truck says take cover! I believe in Truck. I believe in me here. Do you believe in the power of my son, Truck? You almost killed your child, like in RimWorld. Please stop reminding me that a child was raptured in my RimWorld game and it wasn't my fault. It was God's fault, actually. I never did that. It was God that did that. Shut up. Shush. Shush. Okay, we got this. Oh, shit. Don't touch me, dude. Me when I see a little soldier and they're trying to kill me. God damn it. Don't touch me, motherfucker. I'm doing it. I'm working on it. I'm doing it. I'm sorry. I got really excited about truck and now I'm like, fuck, I gotta actually play the game. So what is this weapon? What the fuck is this? Oh, is this the grenade? Oh, no. I just blew up truck. He's fine. He's bulletproof. This time, baby, truck be bulletproof. I died again. My god, I hate this one. Wow, narcissistic streamer calling himself God. But I... But I am God. But what if I was? What if you went to the pearly gates and it was me, Brendan, waiting for you, huh? Wouldn't that fuck you up, crazy style? What if you got up there and St. Peter was like, Hey, you were in the chat, right? And you are like, what? What do you mean I was in the chat? You were in the chat, right? Brendan's chat. God's chat. Wouldn't that fuck you up, crazy style? You know, actually, this reminds me of a Bible story. There were two men, right? There were two. There were two guys. They were they were chilling by a river, right? And uh, another guy came up and he gave them extra water, right? And so instead of like just the 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 water that they were drinking out of the river, they got good and nice water, and that was the Good Samaritan. What difficulty level is this? Hardened, but I'm waking up a little bit still. Not like a waking up, but I went to the gym, so I have to like remember chair energy. You were in the chat, right? Yeah, actually, we're gonna put you in the bad place, but we're gonna pretend it's the good place, like that TV show. Uh, cheers. Right, I wanna know something insane. Truck is voiced by Idris. Truck, my son is Idris Alba. You should have never said that my son Truck is Idris Alba. This is ridiculous lore. Ridiculous lore that I am Idris Alba's father. I cannot fucking believe on this day. I, fa I chat told me today on this day. I learned that Truck, my son, is Idris Elba? That's crazy. No fucking way that my son is Idris Elba, and also Knuckles. Is that fucked up that not only is my son Idris Elba and Truck, but he's also Knuckles, the Echidna, from Sonic? Timothy Oliphant is Grinch? S what about Sandman? Is that like Neil Gaiman? Neil Gaiman, what are you doing in my falafel? Yeah, I'm not lying, I'm not lying. What do you mean I'm not lying? It's truck, it's truckles, holy shit! Knock knock, it's truckles! Knuckles is my son, my beautiful son. I can't believe this. I need somebody to draw a picture now and send it to the Britannial Discord right now, stat. Can somebody draw my, me and my son Knuckles going for a beautiful walk? Just want to see a picture of me and my son Knuckles, voiced by Idris Alba. My son Truckles. Sorry, I'm a Sonic fan now. I have to be. My son's in there. Oh, Firefly. People like that show. Draw him breastfeeding. Please don't draw me breastfeeding, Truckles. Don't add. Don't agitate. Don't. I'm gonna. Don't agitate me, or I'm gonna make you frolic in the fields. And when I say frolic in the fields, I'm putting a bunch of glass shards in the middle of a field somewhere, and I'm making you walk through them barefoot. This is mod training. You'll be stronger after this, I promise. Report for mod training tomorrow. Enjoy the field of glass. I was recently gifted a pair of knuckle socks. I'm wearing them right now. I can't believe you put my son on your feet. This is ridiculous. Fuck. Fiddle DD. Is that your fucking catchphrase now, Rock Distributor? One of my mods in chat just 
fiddle dee dee Whenever they do something goofy, they fucking put on the red gnome hat and run around through my forest. fiddle dee dee fiddle dee dum fiddle dee dee I'm throwing eggs at you, hee hee! What is that, you're fucking- are you- are you- are you fucking strong today, huh? What if you put truck nuts on your groins so that you had two bonus balls? Quadruples? Four testes? Brendan is now a Sonic fan, yeah. Just got here, I didn't expect anything less from the conversation. I mean, when you come into the Daniel stream, right, it's like a... It's a bag, you don't know what- you don't know what's gonna be in there. It's a bag, it's a bag full of wet meat that you find in the par- the parking lot of a Walmart, right? You find a bag of wet meat in the parking lot of the Walmart, boom, bam, boom, you don't know what's gonna be there. Could be anything, it could even be wet meat. God, dude, I knew a guy who had four balls, that's crazy. They play a lot of Bakugan. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm get, I'm, 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 I'm warming up here. This is my warm up. MW3. I wish the FOV. I could FOV this a little bit better. I wish I could fav this, but I don't want to go in and like modify any files, so I'm not gonna be doing that. Shish. No, I was lying for chat cloud. Oh, that's crazy. Can't believe you'd lie like this directly in the stream. Time them out for one second. Put them in the corner for one second. Fight your way to the stock exchange. Oh my god, not the fu Not the investment bankers! Anything but that! Oh, that's right, this is a run while you get shot at mission. Got it. I gotta go save the investment bankers, holy shit. We have to save the shareholders. Think about the stocks, think about the bonds. I knew a guy who had four balls. He got on first base. Amory... That was a great, that was a, that was a great one. That one was a home run. I should get a bunch of baseball stickers just specifically for, for, for whenever somebody makes a baseball joke, I should get a baseball sticker. Just a, just a big, like, cartoon baseball that says, great job. I need baseball stickers. Honestly, I think a lot of streamers need, need, I need a sticker portfolio as a streamer, I think. I think if I mailed the chat stickers whenever they made a good joke, it would cost me way more money than I have, but I think it'd be worth it. I think it'd be great. Rebrand all your emotes to baseball. No, I'm not gonna be Mr. Baseball. I'm not gonna fucking sit. I'm not gonna be like one of the Mr. Men, but he's not related to a feeling. He's related to baseball. Hey, Mr. Angry. Hey, Mr. Happy. Uh, do you wanna hang out and play a game? Oh, fuck off, Mr. Baseball. Fuck off. What about you, Mr. Depression? I don't feel anything anymore. What about you, Mr. Anxiety? I don't want to play baseball. What if a ball hits my face? What about you, Mr. Greed? Feed me more. Do they have Mr. Men based off of the Seven Deadly Sins? Do they have a Mr. Pride, a Mr. Sloth, a Mr. Envy? They should have, we should have Mr. Men, but they should be based off the Seven Deadly Sins. That'd be crazy. That goes so fucking hard. They should all have matching prison tattoos and everything. What do they got here? Juice! Aw, oh, man. Crazy he passed away a couple of days ago. What's that? Was that a revolver? Oh, shit. The Rex. Mr. Sin. There is a Mr. Lazy? There is a Mr. Lazy, but he's not Mr. Sloth. The do, it's called SpongeBob. What do you even mean? Are you talking about like fucking your 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 rough draft for a video essay talking about how the cast of SpongeBob resembles the seven deadly sins? Multiple voices, alley behind the door. Frost, toss a nine bang. A nine bang? What do you mean a nine bang? Are you insane? A nine is it a flashbang that nine bang you're fucking stupid. What do you mean this game has nine bangs? What do you mean nine bang? Is that a fucking thing? One second. I'm Googling this now, fuck off. Nine bang. Well, I don't know if I wanna, you know what, fuck it, I Google nine bang. That is a flash bang, but why did he call it a nine bang? Not far. Watch the windows and nine bang, the nine bang. There are, <laughs> listen here now, Brendan. There are nine, count them, nine bang brothers. If you kill them all, they'll finally let you be Mr. Sex. Brendan, I sent a baseball clip art that says, good job, just for you. Thank you so freaking much. I'm gonna tussle your hair the next time I see you and call you champ. Very <laughs> I'm just gonna tussle your hair a little bit and call you champ. How about that, huh? Hey, great job, champ. Proud of you, champ. I think I should be a, a more champ encoded streamer. More dad bits, personally. A lot of people out there need a need a cool dad, champ. Hey, chief. Hey, Buster. 
Mr. I don't give a freak. Oh my god, that would be me. Mr. I don't give a flamethrower, because I do be firing in spurts. A bomb. Bring Daniel. Yeah, that'd be... The SpongeBob 7 Deadly Sin thinks it's an actual existing fan theory. I mean, it's based literally, what is it based off of? Let me, let me, let me try to get it right. Um, Mr. Krabs is greed. All right, easy. Patrick is, uh, is Patrick Sloth. Um, Plankton is Envy. Oh shit, actually, let me figure this out. Plankton is Envy. Mr. Krabs is greed. Patrick is Sloth. Um, who would be pride? Who would be lust in this situation? Interesting. Who would be pride? Maybe SpongeBob? Oh, Gluttony. Patrick would be grut Gluttony. Bubble Bass would be Sloth, right? Sandy is pride. That makes a lot of sense. Who would SpongeBob be? A uh, Wrath? No. Sandy is pride makes a lot of sense because she is very proud. SpongeBob is lust. SpongeBong sex pants. Gary is Patrick is sloth. Gary is gluttony. Plankton is envy. Mr. Krabs is greed. Squidward is wrath. Sandy is pride. SpongeBob is lust. I don't see. It's already falling apart because it works a little bit for some of them, but then you have to really stretch it out for the other ones. You're not even including Bubble Bass. No pickles. Oh, hot dog cart. No relish. Gary. Gary is cum. SpongeBob is balls. Patrick is ass. Sandy Cheeks is vacuum. Um, uh, Plankton is Plankton is taint. Uh, Mr. Krabs is the shaft. Uh, uh, uh Mrs. Puff is pussy. Uh, fuck. Uh, what are you? Uh, shit. What else? Um, uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, fuck. Uh, 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 Gary is breasts. Nine bang. Nine bang activated. I'm firing nine bang. Nine bang? That's me when I drink a lot of energy drink. Patrick is Virgil. SpongeBob is Dante. Squidward is Nero. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I love BMC. I love BMC. Bubble may cry. <laughs> Dante's Brinferno. You know what would really help in this situation? If you had someone very... Something... Oh, stop. 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 I'm not... Stop. 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 I mean, I brought this up. It's my fucking fault. Did that, uh... Did that Spongebob, that, that, that Nickelodeon fighting game ever release, was that good? Did people enjoy that? I mean, I'm not gonna get it because it's a platform fighter, and playing a platform fighter is akin to putting both thumbs in my eyes, popping out my eyeballs, and fucking eating them like grapes. Um, and since I'm not in a, a meat grapular mood, I don't think about playing it, but is, is it out? It was mid? The second one, the second one, not the first one, because I know there was a new one releasing. It did come out and kind of died on release, yeah. I'm talking about the number two. Is number two out? The sequel is out? See, that's the thing. Nobody knows. Second one is out. Nobody even knows. You could be Patrick. You could be one of, one of the... In the Loud Houses show... They got Jim Loud from the Loud House. Favorite guy, Jim Loud. Cool guy. I know, I'm trying to not die. Watching out for bombulars. Fans do be bombing. Me when I'm telling jokes at the comedy store. They'll never, they'll never let me in. They'll never let me in. They'll never let me into the comedy store. They'll never let me in. The Chuckle Club, the Laugh Factory. They'll never let me in. They actually removed all but one Loud House character in two. See, I don't... I've never talked to anybody who has genuinely watched that show. I just think that show is a psyop, the Loud House. Because why would you want to watch a show where the house is consistently loud? Oh, Truck and Sandman. They fucking moving it. The stocks. We have to protect the shareholders. Chat, how are your quarterly reports? Do you have them in? The stocks are coming. The stocks are coming. They're coming for you. They're coming for me. They're coming for everybody. The market is down. The market is crumbling. The market is down. Chat, 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 chat. The market is down. I didn't go, don't go to the Laugh Factory, but I have tickets, actually. 
I have this time tra traveler friend that he says he has tickets. Uh, one of my favorite characters from UHF is doing a, a set at the Laugh Factory, and my time traveler friend is uh, bringing me there, and he says it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited about it. Sh are you saying I shouldn't go? Is something bad going to happen? Damn, I suck today. What the fuck? I, I swear I should have hit that guy like eight times. Oh, shit. Is that Kramer? Jerry! Jerry, I gotta tell you something, Jerry. Jerry, I was hanging out behind that Denny's, Jerry. Jerry, and I found a bunch of great sandwiches, Jerry. Jerry, I'm gonna be selling them, Jerry. I'm selling the sandwiches on the street, Jerry. Jerry, I got all these sandwiches, Jerry. I bought them in bulk, Jerry. I'm gonna be selling them, Jerry. They sell on the package, Jerry, not for individual resale, Jerry. But I'm selling them, Jerry. Jerry, I have all these copy of, uh, copies of Sneak King for the Xbox 360, Jerry. It's a crazy markup, Jerry. But a buyer, he'll buy them all, 30 apiece, Jerry. This might be one of your worst impressions. I haven't seen Seinfeld in years. Jerry, I gotta tell you, Jerry. I'm eating slime, Jerry. Jerry, I'm doing a mukbang, Jerry. Would you like to join my mukbang, Jerry? Brennan's new favorite game. He loves the slimeometer. I would love a slimeometer. Just directly on screen. I would love, honestly, I'd love a big, like, pool full of slime right now. That'd be sick. I think it'd be cool. Thank you, Arkham Escape Creator, for the Prime Smub. Is this the one where one of the old dudes died and they all got white guy mad? I have no idea what that means. I never beat this one. All I know is there's bad guys and they flipped the bitch. They turned the W into an M. Remember when they did that? They did that. They turned the W into an M. Crazy bit. Put the slimeometer in your living room. If I had a giant novelty thermometer, I would fill that shit with slime. It would go up and then down, and then up and then down, and then up and then down, and then up and then down. Sometimes I think Brendan has a shit ton of weird cousins like the Prince and Katamari. Um, well, Cousin Cammy was on Mori. Uh, there's Cousin Johnny, uh, which I haven't seen him in years. Um... Then, like, I don't know what the rest of my cousins are up to. I've probably got, like, 15 cousins, yeah. Maybe, like, eight? Eight, eight to ten cousins? But, like, I, a lot of my cousins are on my dad's side, so I don't really talk to them. I have one cousin on my mom's side. All your cousins are just you in different wigs? This is not true. America. That'd be ridiculous. Up the hole. We have to save the investment bankers. They keep telling me I have to do it. Oh shit, out of ammo. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm dumb. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm dumb. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Pretty sure Brendan has a cousin made of beef and onions, but they're not associated with the family anymore. This uh, No, I don't have a cousin made of beef, liver, and onions. I don't... What is with the fucking liver and onions posting lately? I don't know what it is. Every time I turn a fucking corner, I hear somebody talking about liver and onions. What is, how old is my chat? First streamer to call his chat ancient. You're old, actually. I'm flipping the bitch on you. This is a model over three. Beef and onions. Beef and onions, liver and onions. Onion, grunion, onion. We didn't say liver, Brendan. You just outed them. I don't know what that means, but okay. Genuinely, uh, genuine confusion inside of my brain. I love liver and onions, man. Oh, that's my favorite Brent Daniel bit. Where he put, covers himself in liver and onions and he runs around. He runs around his office just uh, sliming that bitch up. That's crazy. Brent, this is what they put on in the old folks' home. Dude, never put, us, never put my stream on in a fucking senior retirement center. Do you know how many old people are going to freak the fuck out? They're gonna go crazy. They're gonna be like, why does this man sound like he's on the radio? And then I'm gonna, you're gonna tell me that, oh, Brendan, I put this on a... <laughs> you can't do this to me. Because if you tell me I put the stream... Hey, Brendan, I put the stream on a senior retirement center. I put it on the main TV. You know what? The crazy thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna pretend I'm a reporter. That's right, folks. They're in New York City. They've invaded New York City. They're coming. First, they invade New York City. Then they're coming for your home. Everybody stay safe. Be sheltered. I hope you're all ready for the invasion. Be wary, be wary. The enemy is coming for you. I hope you're ready for them. Can I flip the bitch? Nice. I hope you're ready for them. The enemy is coming. Be aware. The stock exchange has fallen. The market has fallen. They're coming for your home next. 
Be aware, be aware now. Old people are gonna start freaking the hell out, dude. I'd have to put on like the news performer voice. I'd have to put on like the suit and tie and everything and just turn on the green screen and just go for it. They're doing it. They're taking down the radar tower in the stock exchange. No more stocks. No more bonds. Try to please my grandpa is getting scared. Good. He should be afraid. He should go to his bunker right now. If you are old, you should go to your bunker right now. The stock exchange is down. Damn, I wish I could flip the bitch. Be aware. Be aware. Be aware. This is all happening in real time. This is GoPro footage. This is live GoPro footage. Oh, I need to hit the... Oh, yeah, the, the drone. Drone! Check this shit out. Oh, a hind! And a behind inbound. Don't you worry, I'll knock that shit out of the sky! Live leak is just YouTube now? Oh, my God. Gonna play Brendan's FNAF World video in the retirement home to send all the elderly people into a frenzy. They're gonna freak out, dude. Don't do that. Are those good guys or bad guys? I think they're... Oh, turret section. Oh, hell yeah. Board that Blackhawk. Get up in there. Give me the gun. Let me start fucking firing. Multiple contacts. Hell yeah. Give me the big gun. I'm a big boy. I deserve a big gun, man. We have multiple Russian warships near our ports. We sent the seals to assault oh, the Oh shit! Vessel. Proceed to New York Harbor to assist. Copy your last. Metal zero one, be advised, we're seeing multiple enemy rotors. King Kong, right now, he's in New York City. Fire support. We need fire support. Can you believe a giant ape did all this? Can you believe it? A giant ape made that bird evil. Oh my god, they got so many helicopters. Holy crap, dude. Did I miss? Did I die? Oh my god, I think I died. What am I supposed to do about fucking missiles, dog? And I'm not saying, like, missiles, dog, like there is a missile, dog. I'm not implying that there is a missile, dog. What I'm implying is, what am I supposed to do about missiles, dude? Am I supposed to fucking fire at them? Like, come on. I know we're taking heavy fire. I'm trying to shoot at the bad guy. Kind of hard to shoot at the bad guy when you we, uh, you can't avoid the missiles from the bad guy. Get better at dodging missiles. Missile dog, real? No, there's not a missile dog. I'm sorry, I was lying to you. There's not a Billy Bomb. There's not a missile dog. They're not strapping hardware to the. They're not strapping hardware to that German Shepherd. They're not doing it. They're not putting a Chihuahua in the bazooka and firing him at crazy speeds as much as you wish. Yeah, I'll shoot the guy. This is the turret section. This is where I shoot the guy. I just hold the button and then I fire at the guy. See? History is not kind to the fat and fat. History is not kind to the big and round. I mean, shit, look at Taft. History isn't kind to the big and round. People don't ever talk about anything with Taft except for the fact that he got stuck in a bathtub. That's it, Barrel. History loves fat and fetid people. Yeah, but look at Taft. It's like, what do you know about Taft? Ah, bathtub. I think Brendan might be Mr. Frog from the Smiling Friends in disguise. That's a, that's a crazy nine gag post, dude. That's crazy. I'm going to put the watermark on that. That's, dude, that's a crazy nine gag post. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put the watermark on that. It's going to get a million clicks. Put that shit on my funny, my funny Facebook page. People are going to love that comment. I mean, Taft tub? Yeah, true Taft tub. I got the Taft tub in here.
Will it go on the fridge? No, that's not going to go on the fridge. That wasn't fridge worthy. You referenced a show. I'm not putting that on the fridge. Brandon, will you please put my funny comment on the fridge? No! You have to earn it. I believe in you. You'll get there. Not uh, Smiling team. Friends. Uh, smiling Friends is not Sir, going on the fridge. I'm sorry. I'm not putting it up on there. I like the show. I'm not Good putting work, it up Sir, on there. We've regained air dominance over Manhattan and pushed the front line back to the river. What's our next target? The Russian command vessel is an Oscar II submarine carrying enough cruise missiles to... Have to the follow Theodore Roosevelt. Roosevelt. I don't know how you follow up Mr. Get Shot during a speech, finish the speech before getting medical Roger, attention. True. Mission? Infiltrate the vessel, take over the bridge, then turn their weapons against their own fleet. I need you, you guys got to stop viewing the fridge as a badge of honor. Some people Good really, really do. Get up, boys. And I, our to this day, I still couldn't tell you if the fridge is a badge of honor. I thought it collapsed. It did. In position. SDV Team 4, this is Metal Zero One. Radio check. Oh, hell yeah. I love Roger military Roger chatter. Roger I Roger fucking Roger love Roger military Roger chatter. Roger Hunter Roger Killer. Roger we're oh, we're out. frost now. Just don't start the party without us. Were we frost before? Almost through. I don't. I genuinely don't know. What's in the fridge currently? Uh, let's take a little look at the fridge here. Let's see. Let's see an example of what what could get you on the fridge. There we go. There's the fridge. You got. I'll, I'll have the fridge up for a minute here, so you can take a little look. See at it. Yeah, a lot of shame here. A lot, a lot of shame. Remember when Echo Dude said, I need that goat to fart on me? Hey. Remember when Sarko said, me and the boys you th use them wide cats? Hey. Remember when Rock said, I'm coming down from a sinus infection and I've been mega dehydrated and my piss smells like gasoline? Kind of wild. Good fridge. What a good fridge. Like I said, it's spur of the moment. You can't just you can't just hope that you get on the fridge, right? It's spur of the moment. You can't just say things to get on the fridge. And it also depends on my mood at that time. Like if I feel like it's deserving of the fridge, it goes up on there. One of them just asked and you obliged. Oh, to put them up in the fridge? Yeah. One. Not gonna do that every time. Spur to the moment, yeah, spur to the girt. I'm in the yogurt aisle. I'm thinking about the go gurt. It's spur to the girt. That'd be a great underwear competitor to Fruit of the... Fruit of the <laughs> that'd be a great underwear competitor to Fruit of the... Fruit of the... Fruit of the... Fruit of the why can't I say that? Oh my god. Fruit of the Loom. Eh? I fruit of the Loom. Fruit, fruit of the... Oh my god, Brendan. My brain might actually be collapsing in on itself. Fruit of the Loom. Eh? Fruit of the Loom. 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 Fruit of the roof. Spur to the girt. Fruit of the loom. Oh god. Oh my god. Sorry. The fucking. Oh, the, the driving on this. Oh, I'm fucking going. Is a man not entitled to the sea of his do? Oh, how do you. I'm stuck. I think I may, I, I may, in fact, be the first person to ever die during this moment. Oh, suit guy! That was one of the shareholders. We couldn't save them. Eyes on your sonar. Mine. Oh, another shareholder! Be wary. The shareholders are in the water. Do you recognize the bodies in the water? You should, because they're the ones who fill out the quarterly reports. Do you recognize the bodies in the water? Good. Do you recognize the stocks and bonds in the water? Where are my friends at? Oh, they're down there. I do not recognize the bodies in the water. I do recognize. Damn it, I didn't follow them, and they're gonna make me go under. I'm trying. You know how fucking dog shit these controls are, dude? They're so bad. They're so. I'm like fucking scrolling my mouse all the way there. This is such a terrible fucking section. 
Roger that. Lead the way. Why is this so bad? Use a controller? I'm not using a controller. It wouldn't matter. It's not going to make a difference. It's still going to be bad. I just have to follow them. This is one of those ones where, like, you gotta follow the guy, and if you don't follow the guy and you get off track, you're fucked, idiot. And I wasn't going down deep enough. It'll be fine if I follow the guy. Got mine. Watch out for the mine. Ah, oh, jeez. I got a bomb under here. That shit crazy. Down. Here we go. Literally, like, a two section, two second section. We're gonna just play the movie. I'm trying to play the movie. I'm working on it, all right? I'm playing the movie, okay? Jeez, don't be rude at me. We're gonna play the movie. Brendan, more. More shooting. When are you gonna get to the shooting? And I'm like, I'm trying to conserve oxygen right now, please. This is how old people got to school? This is how Aquaman got to school every single day. Five miles back and forth out of the ocean into the schoolhouse. More shooting. More movie. Too much movie. More shooting. Less shooting. More movie. Did I do it? Did I plant the bomb? Am I somebody set us up the bomb? What you say? Yeah, Aquaman had to go to school this way. Upstream both ways. This kind of reminds me of Among Us. In what fucking way? What do you mean? What? Where do they swim? Among Us pool party? Real? Damn, I wish I had an invitation. That's crazy. They should have invited me. Among Us pool party. Is there gonna be a beach episode of the Among Us show? Can't fucking wait, dude. The imposter at the beach? The imposter in a pool floaty? Cash is saying shit today? Yeah. It's right. Buddy, buddy, chat. Let me, let's have a little conversation here. If you keep trying too hard, and I love you, I do. I'll start taking names off the fridge. I shouldn't, I'm not going to do that, actually. I'm just, I, I, will, I will put a fridge mem memorandum, a fridge moratorium. I will put a fridge moratorium for this stream, I swear to God. Maybe keep acting super psycho. Or I won't. I'll do whatever the hell I want. Anyway, we blow up this bub. Back to shooting. Um, Among Us gamers be like sussy butthole. I get the Among Us meal at the Taco Bell, and it ruins my asshole because I never have enough fiber in my diet. I'll put a moratorium on fridge posting. Every Best Buy employee is going to lose their job because of this fridge moratorium, and you're going to be really fucking... You're going to be held accountable. Not me. I'm just saying fridge moratorium out in the streets. Oh, there the man. Hello, the man. Oh, uh, what is that? A PPE? PPE? I got the PP. Alright, can I gonna put my report card in the fridge? I got an A minus in algebra. Should've got an A. Or an A plus. Come on now. You can do better than that. What was, that? What, 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 what was all that math work for, huh? A minus? That's silly. You're silly. Right in the penis. Gotcha. Oh shit. You know, this is cool and all, but it's nothing like hydro. Oops. It's nothing like hydrophobia. All the homies love eating fruit. I'm like, what? I'm like, what? 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 what, what? Me want to see an apple. Me want to see a peach. Me want to see an orange. Me want to see a pear. You know, it's true. All the homies do love eating fruit. Out of here. Die. Die. Death. Begone. Ah, shit. Fuck it. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking. Now we're frying up something crazy. Oh, that's Sandman. Sorry, Sandman. I'm doing it. I'm taking point. I'm trying to take point, but they got so many guys. Okay, okay, okay. Who? I got the bread box gun right now. Please, uh, chill. Nope, that's Sandman. God damn it. Did they ever get rid of that tooltip in video games, or do video games that do this almost always have that? You're hurt, get into cover. You are hurt, get into cover. Oh, there it is. Now we're cooking with fruit.
What's the point of having eight additional bangs in the tube? I don't know. Would you rather have one bang or nine bang? Like, more is better, right? AK-47 or an AK-48? Make your choice. AK-49? AK-50? What about an AK-50? Huh? Make your choice. Add more number to make it larger. This is how it worked, dog. We have to get to the bridge. Add more number to make it larger. The more number, the better it is. Right, I can I put my IPC 620 soldier certification on the fridge? I don't know what that is, I'm sorry. No. I don't care how good you did on your soldier test for soldier school. It's not going up on the fridge. Now macaroni art, that shit's going up on the fridge. Now you make me a macaroni art, that shit'll go up on the fridge. Number go up, fun go up. This is true. This is a, this is a philosophy of game design. The more number, the more better. The more larger number, the more better it is. Obviously, games where they make the number larger is always better than games where you don't make the number larger, duh. I wouldn't want to play something that doesn't make the number larger. Okay, put a kicker charge on the door. You should make the number larger, and I'm not talking like numerically, we're just making the number large. Like a really big five. What if there was a five, and then they made the five really big? Like a colossal five. We're talking, why was six afraid of seven? Because seven was 20 feet tall. Alright, I got the launch keys. Overlord, this is Metal Zero. No, solder. Like soldering electronics. Oh, that's cool. Then yeah, we'll put that on the fridge. Sure. Why not? I have the missile key and I'm accessing the launch codes now. Grid coordinates. Really big five got me for some reason. Think about a really big five. What do you do about that? There's a really big five in downtown Chicago. What do you do about him? Frost, get on the console. I'm doing it. I'm hacking. Oh, hell yeah. Key. Three, two, oh, we're launching one, bomb. Overlord, missiles armed and launching. Roger. SEAL team is in position for exfil. Go, go. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. They're blowing up this bump. Oh, shit. We gotta fuck it. Oh shit, in the dinghy. Come on, truck, into the dinghy, truck. Oh god, not more drive healers. Let's keep freaking going. We love drive the dinghy. Working on it, babe. This is an action set piece. I'm gunning it. I'm pressing the W key. I'd be kind of scared. What's its motive? Yeah, if a really big five appeared, you wouldn't know what to do. No idea what to do about a really big five. Or any really big number in the middle of your town. You're like, what does a big number mean? And what if that big number just started counting down one day? What if it was there just long enough for you to get comfortable with it? Like it did nothing, and then that five became a four. Cool action. Awesome stunts. Trailer moments. Vertical slices. Fish AI. Blowing up the boat with a Glock? Yeah, I did that. Yeah, I do that. Oh, hell yeah. Get up in there, son of a bitch. Oh, hell yeah. Fish AI, Call of Duty Ghost, Fish AI. I still can't fucking believe there was a selling point. Dog stuff and Fish AI. Call of Duty Ghost was an insane moment in marketing history because it like, what a dog and Fish AI and like what, and what, what snooped dog was in that game too. He was a, a not, like a killer. Was, it, was he like a, he was like an announcer pack, right? Call signs. We are no longer on the defensive. I repeat, consolidate and counterattack. Yeah, Snoop Dogg, wasn't there, um, wasn't there a, 
a, a serial killer kill streak in Call of Duty Ghost? No, sorry, I say serial killer. I don't mean there was a, there wasn't like a Ted Bundy kill streak in Call of Duty Ghost. There was like a Michael Myers uh, thing that, in Ghost, if I remember, like a game mode or a kill streak or something. Sorry, I I, I said serial killer. What I meant to say is slasher. It wasn't like there was a Ted Bundy pack for Call of Duty Ghost. He's tying up loose ends. Who's your best man? Yuri. Dude, this Friday, it's gonna be awesome. Ted Bundy and Fortnite. Yo! I'm flying from the south. How do you know? It's what I do. Oh yeah, Nicki Minaj and Spawner in Call of Duty. Well, that's um, that's MW2 new. That's MW3 new. That's Call of Duty like current. I kind of miss Ghost, but only for Extinction. That was the Alien game mode, right? I actually heard weirdly good things about that. It's so disappointing that they tried to bring zombies back with, um, three, but it wasn't even zombies. It was like a fucking... All I know about the zombies mode in Modern Warfare 3 is that it was just fucking Warzone again, basically. And I was not interested. I heard they had a worm in there, but, like, dude, I don't care. I want to fucking... I want to play zombies. I want a four-person co-op mission in a map. Yuri! What about Yowie? Keep on a Yaoi Lowenthal, baby. Oh, I gotta defend soap, sorry. I got the deagle, we're good, we're set. It's looter shooter zombies? Ew. You tell me they put numbers in zombies? Alright, deagle's not doing anything. I gotta actually shoot the gun. I think most zombies got worms, Brendan. No, no, no. The worms get sick and die. Zombies don't get worms because the worms can't eat the flesh. The worms would die, dude. They become worm zombies. Oh, sorry. I gotta help. Scalpel! Oh, yeah. Give him a, give him a stim pack. <sighs> Bang. Oh, my God, dude. Captain Price is fucking goaded, didn't he? Pistol only playthrough. This is a plank pistol only. Shush. I just like the deagle. Hi. Hi. Oh, that's Nikolai. I'm coming. I'm helping. I'm shooting at the guy real style. I'm popping heads and making boys dead. Boy down. Give me a sniper so I can quick scope, please. I'm not good at it, but I like to do it. I want to be able to sing Paralyzed again by Finger Eleven. Bomb. Got him. A worm and a zombie? A worm bee? I could eat zombie flesh. I wouldn't like it, but I could. I would never be able to eat human flesh, dude. If there was a situation that called for me to eat a guy, I would never be able to eat a guy. Even if, uh, like... There is a 10, like 10% 10 of my comedy revolves around chat, I'm not gonna eat a guy. Realistically, chat, I'm not gonna eat a guy. Like, I'm not doing it, chat. I'm not fucking eating a guy. Brendan saying it again, huh? Saying you're not gonna fucking eat a guy. And it's like, I'm not. Like, dog, I'm not gonna eat a guy. That's just not, that, 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 it's part of my comedy stylings, maybe, but I would never eat a guy. That's just, uh, they're gonna be tough and chewy. I'm gonna get prions, yummy, zesty prions. Yeah. Okay, Brendan, we believe you. Wink. I'm not gonna eat a guy. Stop it. More like eating a guy out. I'm not gonna eat a guy. What did they say? Hold fire civilians? What about no? Oh, is this why? Is this a, offend is this a sensitive content? Is civilians in the video game? Or are they just gonna show no Russian again? I hate to say this, but we're in COD. It's pretty much only a Yowie game. Oh my god, you're talking about Yuri and Yowie. Yowie Lowenthal? Real? I got him. I hate to say this, but... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Can't ask Brendan where the bodies are buried because he ate them? I'm not gonna eat any bodies. What would I do with the bones? You're expecting me to just eat the bones just because when I was a kid, when we got Kentucky Fried Chicken, I would crack the bones and suck the marrow out? Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Sorry, sometimes I get a little overwhelmed in COD campaigns. I gotta fucking boop, boop, find the guy, shoot the guy. Oh, 
Oh, what is that? MG36? Sure. Oh, that has, like, no ammo. Okay. Oh, is this one of the ones where I have to move up? Price hi. I'm moving. I got too many guys in here. Where do they get all these guys from? Marrow is yummy, but you do sound like a ghoul talking about it. Yeah, hey there, smooth skin. You got any bones a guy like me can have? Uh, I want to suck that marrow right out of there. Sorry, that just is a Zorak voice. Hyena core streamer. I mean, yeah, I would probably... That's probably true. Shit, this shit sounds like an A24 movie right now. We gotta go. Brandon, would you rather have the ability to painfully transform into a functional airplane or suck on a piece of crap for seven seconds? It's transform into an airplane because I would never use it. Aw. Uh, that's a weird would you rather. That's such a weird would you rather. I get the weirdest would you rathers. Would you rather die or die? And it's like, hmm, interesting. They're gonna turn my they're gonna turn my skin blue. They're gonna die me. I'm a, they're gonna blue me. They're gonna fucking blue me and then parade me around the smooth the Smurfs amusement park. We got one. We got one. Call Gargamel right now. We got a six foot five Smurf. Oh, hi everybody, my name is Brent Daniel. I'm not a Smurf. I was died blue in a horrible would you rather accident. Um, I didn't want to die, so I chose die, and now I'm blue. Call Gargamel. Call him right now. Somebody call Gargamel at his fucked up cat right now. Call him. Shouts out to Gargamel. I know where the shopper is. We're growing. Oh, look at all those guys. They're chilling. They're cooling it. I'm going to grenade him. Um, why are they just sitting there? They're silly. Oh, down here to feed the cats. Right, would you before? Would you? Okay, let me th give me a moment here to shoot the guy. I gotta think. I gotta think about shoot the guy for a moment before I answer your your, your little your little comment, your little question. Okay, I'll I'll take a moment. Brendan, would you rather be forced to answer more esoteric hypotheticals or never be able to answer any hypothetical ever again? Probably the more esoteric ones, because sometimes they're a good bit. Sometimes I hate would-you-rathers, though. I've talked about that before. When it comes to would-you-rathers, I'm fine with them if I can build something off of them, but sometimes they get so fucking, like, weird that it's like, or would you rather do the incredibly weird thing or the incredibly weird thing? And it's like, I, I, there's nothing I can build off of them. I'm a, I'm a selfish streamer. I only answer hypotheticals that I can build off of and make funnier. When are we getting the Daniel branded chastity cage? Why? My chat fucks. Brendan, if you have to eat a guy, would you rather it be someone you know and they can send or be, uh, be it somebody that you know nothing about? Somebody I know nothing about. I want it to be a mystery. If I had to eat a guy, I want it to be a mystery guy. And then I want it to be like, you thought you were eating a guy, didn't you? You're not eating a guy. I'm not? No, you're actually eating Olive Garden's fake guy, the tofu guy. It's like a guy made entirely of tofu and linguine. Holy shit. Are you telling me this entire time I was thinking about the moral ra ra ramifications of eating a guy? But in actuality, I was eating the Olive Garden fake guy, real guy? Oh my, oh my god, that's so awesome, that's so cool. What's those conditions? We've got to get him out of here. Yuri, clear a path to the chopper. We'll be right behind you. Do you think you can get fucked up diseases and prions from eating Smurfs? No, if I if I found a Smurf, I'd eat that son of a bitch, no problem. Yeah, it's like Brendan, oh, Brendan says he wouldn't be a guy. But yeah, I would eat a Smurf. I mean, I think Gargamel was onto something. I mean, am I going to pass up that chance to eat a whimsical creature out of the forest? No. I don't consider a Smurf a guy. All right? Even if they have a Smurf that looks exactly and acts exactly like Guy Fieri, I would eat that thing. I'm fucking sorry. I'm going to Gargamel pill. I'm going to Gargamel max. I got a fuck. I got a fucking cat. I got a couple of cats. I could be. I could be Gargamel. I could be a better Gargamel. They're building Gargamel better. Put me in the Gargamel factory, and I could be a Gargamel that is 15 times better than the original gar original Gargamel. Garen fucking teed that I could be better than the normal Gargamel. You guys are fucking wimp comparatively. 
Gargamel be like, I'll eat those Smurfs and get my plants foiled. Me, an intelligent Gargamel. A uh, gun, dumbass. Now, would I probably get, like, a, I don't know, probably some kind of weird parasite? Yes. Would it be worth it? Yeah. You're telling me you would pass up that opportunity? Would you rather persist in this fantasy world or finally wake up from your coma? I like the fantasy world. I mean, it's not the best, but like, what 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 waits for me, right? I, I don't like the idea of the Matrix for me. Um, and the reason I don't like the idea of the Matrix for me is I, I like my little life. I'm a millennial, so I gotta. I think I like my little life. Um, but I do. I mean, my life may be miserable and horrible every once in a while, but realistically, I'm much happier with the experience that I have right now rather than wake up in some post-apocalyptic hell fuck digital world with snake fucked up creatures flying in the sky trying to fucking grab at me. Hell no! I'm much happier, even even with all the bad in life, I'm much happier with this uh, simulation. Brennan, don't wake up. If you do, we all die. I'm not gonna wake up. We love chilling and we love grilling. Oh, drone! They blew up my pewter. They blew up my dog. Hi, Beals. Stop yelling. Go, go. Oh, I gotta go. Sorry, Beals. Beals got her dinner. She ate, and now she's in a yellular mood. So there was a there was a tornado warning today. That scared the shit out of me. I posted about it on Twitter and talked about it in the Discord. Some living in Iowa. Some people. You either you either gain tornado hyper awareness or zero tornado awareness. Right where you're like, oh, it's a tornado warning. A watch, whatever. We don't fuck. Up. Like whatever. I'm, I'm, it doesn't. We never get hit by a tornado, right? But as somebody who's lived through a tornado, holy shit, levolution. As somebody who's like been through a tornado, I don't fuck around. I got an alert on my phone. I freaked out. I brought the cats downstairs. I was like fucking <laughs> freaking the hell out, dude. And apparently two NATOs touched down within like 30 miles. So there was a big one uh, not too far away from me, actually. And I heard that son of a bitch. I swear to fucking God, I heard that. Tornadoes sound like a big train. Um, I don't fuck with that. Scared the shit out of me. We live, we're strong. Snornados, bornados. Somebody's gonna say that. Somebody's gonna put my fucking stream in like the, the Twitch review and they're gonna call it a bornado of chaos. Doesn't happen off in my area, but if the tornado sirens go off, I don't get spooked. I don't get scared by the tornado sirens. You will always get a phone alert. If you have a smartphone, you'll always get a phone alert about a tornado. I never get afraid because if, if it's just the siren, it might be a test. Whatever. If my phone goes off, then I'm fucking scared. Bore NATO, more like bruh NATO. Oh, they've been putting the bros in the tornadoes. Maybe flying around whirlwind style, crazy. NATO? They just said it. What the fuck do they mean, NATO delegates? Are you telling me the tornado has representatives in Congress now? What the fuck, dude? Don't be weather racist, Brendan. Don't be racist against weather. Okay, all right. Sometimes that means preserving the lives. All right, okay, fuck. All right, okay. War isn't just natural selection played out. What about a vor? Nobody even has said it. I was waiting for somebody to say fucking vornado. The only truth. That was an easy fridge right there. You could have said it. You could have said vornado, and that would have been an easy fridge. Now, if you say it, I'm not gonna put it on the fridge. But I want you to know, could have been an easy fridge. You shouldn't say that. What? 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 Vornado. Vornado. What? One second. Vor I have a. I have a vornado. I'll be right back. It was in my garage. Are you ready to see the? Are you are you are you prepared to see the tornado? It's a fan brand. Get on.
Beals. Where, where did she go? Oh my God, Beals. Beals. Bills. Bills. God damn it. There you are. Get out of the garage. All right, I found her. <sighs> she went to the garage. Uh, that was a that was a horrible bit to do. She went all the way to the garage, and I was like, "Oh God damn it, where'd she go? Son of a bitch!" Cure. Team two, lower deck is clear. Turbulence. Team three, oh shit, me when I'm on the plane. Dude. My grades may occur after watching cars. Brendan for over yeah. five hours. What the hell, dude? Yeah. dude. Yeah. That's mess. That's uh, hope not. I hope I don't give anybody a headache. That'd be horrible. Be normal. I fix your brain. What is it? Do not watch Friend Daniel content if you or a loved one has been diagnosed with a glandular disease. Ask a doctor if Friend Daniel is right for you. My name doesn't sound like medicine. Stop that. President Vorshevsky. Oh. Yes, I see. This is the slow walkie. You do give me a headache on some days? Well, stop that. Take a little ibuprofen. Hey, you know what we should do? Behind the subway on 3rd Street. Why don't we, uh, why don't we do a little ibuprofen, huh? Why don't you and I, uh, be behind the subway on 3rd Street and do a little, uh, ibuprofen, huh? <laughs> now is not the time to appease our enemies. We destroy our enemies when we make friends with them. If we cannot end our differences, at least that's gunfire. Oh, we got headache ads while you were gone. Oh, oh, that's why. Okay. I was like, what the hell? Let's take ibuprofen together. Let's do it. Let's take a little Advil. What if we take three Advil and see what the fuck happens, right? Oh no. Oh, this kind of reminds me of the Spec Ops mission from, uh, 4. Alright, give me the big gun. Let's go. Let's put holes in this plane. It'll be fucked up and crazy. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, hell yeah! Look at him! All the right fields and all the right places. Here yeah, we're going down. All the right fields and all the right places. Here yeah, we're going down. Everybody knows, everybody knows where we're going. Here we're going down. I don't know, you definitely made me believe that Hurlbert's disease was a thing. It is. It was named after me. It's a specific kind of brain hole that I have in my brain. I'm not normal. I'm goofed up. A lot of people who say they're not normal, incredibly normal. Not me. I'm not normal. Just kidding, I'm incredibly normal. This is a lie. I'm so fun. I, I, I have a wife and two cats, and I go to the gym every day. I go outside, and I look outside, and I stretch my arms, and I go, Aah! I go like, Aah! Oh, yeah. Aah! Aah! and then I grab the newspaper out of the lawn. Incredibly normal. Hyper normal, in fact. Your name isn't Hurlbert, don't lie. My last name is Hurlbert. Now, I don't, like, often talk about this, but yeah, no, my last name does have vomit in it. It just is. I, yeah, I don't talk about my last name often, but as, like, a YouTuber, I'm surprised more people just don't know. 
Because, like, at this point, I've been online for 10 years. But my last name is Hurlbert. Yeah. It is. Throw up. Throw up is in my name. Yeah. So, it was pretty cool. So, uh, I was cursed from birth. I didn't have a fucking chance. I didn't have a fucking chance. Uh, I am fighting for my life every fucking day. I never had a chance. All the right bills and all the right bills. The FMJ. This isn't the FMJ. What is this? Oh, God. It's death, babe. I died in the middle of the air. Herbert was not of the Mayflower. They found it in no those cities. Well, it's a, it's a weird situation because it's my grandpa's last name. And it's not his original last name, which I'd have to look it up. Because, like, I, I, I'm the only person in our family besides my grandma that has the last name now. My mom's gonna get it changed back soon, but it's a whole, it's a whole thing. And it's not even my grandpa's real last name because he was adopted, which I don't know what his real last name is. Or I guess, I mean, real last name, I guess pre, pre-adoption last name. I met other Herberts who actually have a wild story. Um, when I worked at Best Buy, um, because my grandpa was adopted, he's he didn't like stay close with any of the other like Hurlbirds all, all around the Midwest, right? There, there are a few. Um, my grandpa's name was Gary, so I, were, I was working at Best Buy one day, and I was working customer service where we do pickup orders and stuff, right? This is like three, four years ago. Um, there was, have you ever had a moment where you like are like completely shook to your core? Uh, my grandpa. One of my favorite people in the world. He passed away in 2011, uh, 2010, 2011. And uh, I was working at Best Buy to pick up when somebody came in for a pickup order and they said, oh yeah, Gary Hurlbert. And I was like, excuse me, what? Spelled exactly the same, by the way. Um, I, I literally like was shocked. I was like, I, this is such an odd name. I was like, there's not another Gary out there with the last name that I have. And I was like, I I was shook to my fucking core. I was I literally was stun locked for like a full minute. I was like, uh That's insane, that's my grandpa's name. And he's like, No, it's not. I was like, Yeah, it is. He's like, oh shit, that's crazy. You're a Hurlbert? And I was like, Yeah. And I had I showed him my ID and everything. We had this like long talk, and he's like, Yeah, I got a twin brother named Terry. So there's a Terry and a Gary out there. He was like this old 60-year-old man. So his name was Gary and his brother's name was Terry. And I was like, what the fuck? I like literally called my mom that day and I was like, this is insane. This is an in insane coincidence. There ain't no fucking way. Actual insanity. Oh, I don't got no ammo for this. Damn. Get him. Get him. Get him. Hurlbert was on the Mayflower. Hurlbert did found cities. Oh, your day is ruined? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so fucking wrong? Yeah, I'm sorry. Hurlbert was on the Mayflower. Get on, dude. Yeah, I don't know a lot of Hurlbert lore, but that's because, like, realistically, I'm not, uh... I'm not, like, related to any of them, really. I'm trying to break. Oh, objective fail. Oh, yeah. Well. <sighs> One of my ancestors nearly fell off the Mayflower. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I'm actually like related to anybody who was on the Mayflower. I'm probably. <sighs> I genuinely have no idea. Maybe. Who knows? I never do that. Like 23 and me stuff. I'm a simple man. I don't worry about it. I don't want a company to have my genetic data. I don't want them to. Might be fun, though, you know. Brendan, you're related to the Mayflower. Holy shit. I got a cousin that's a boat. That's crazy. <laughs> Come on, Agent Hart. 
Brendan is half ship? Yeah. I'm half boat. Just the foghorn, though. Sorry. Why do you think my voice sounds the way it does? It's just, I'm just half related to foghorn. But I'm sorry, but Hurlbert was the wood that made up the central mast. You're a boat. Damn. I'm not surprised. I'm the foghorn. Yeah, Theseus is Brent Daniel. Am I still Brendan if I'm part Brendan and part boat? Low droning noise streamer. I mean, I am a noise core streamer. I do make a lot of silly noises. Somebody was asking the other day, Brendan, when are you going to make an album of just mouth noises? And I was like, are you insane? They're going to they're gonna fucking destroy me. They're going to put me up on the big friendship tee. Yeah, I don't know. I talk about this all the time. Some people are really into, like, their genealogy and family tree and history. And I'm like, I don't know, dude. My family tree is all kinds of fucked up because of, like, lost forms and white trash mixed with, like, uh, uh, adopted family members. So it's just weird. It's weird and all over the place. So I just, I'm, I'm white trash. I'm Brendan. I don't know where I came. I know where I came from. I came from the trailer park. Brendan should professionally learn Mongolian throat singing. What is it like? I can't really do it, but I probably could learn how to do it. Brendan about to drop the hottest sound effect record. Pretty cool. You could make an album of weird sounds that it would sell well? No, it fucking wouldn't. It would not. It would. Nobody's buying Brendan Daniel makes noises out of his mouth. And I wouldn't want them to either. That'd be silly. You're silly. I respect it, though. It is with the Hanna-Barbera. What's it? Uh, I can't now. Now you like, now you got, now you got me all flustered about it. Now you're like, oh man, now I can't make any noises. Oh, the, it's the foghorn, but lower is that. can't really do it. Yeah, Brendan, people love to buy albums. It's 1995. Holy shit, it's the year 1995. I got five men to kill. That's crazy. I got an appointment later to kill five men. That's why I can't do 23 and me. They're going to connect me to 15 different murder cases all across the country from when I was like three. I was the kill baby. I'm sorry. Admitting it right now on stream. You know, the Kill Baby from 1987 to 1993, the 1995 to 1997, that was me, I'm sorry. I was the Kill Baby. And I apologize in advance if my throwaway joke sends you down a throat singing iceberg. No, no, it's fine. I like learning silly noises. I walk around my house sometimes when it's a little bit empty and just talk to myself and make noises, so. A lot of practice. Gotta keep the throat clubbed up. Gotta keep the throat go working. The Gerber Kill Baby? I'm sorry, I was the Gerber Kill Baby. Brendan is Jack the Ribber. Jack, I said Jack the Ribber. I am Jack the Rib Witch. Holy shit, you guys think the McRib is people or something? That's crazy. Got him. Damn it, son of a bitch. I want to kill the Gerber baby. Holy shit, dude. You got to fucking chill. Pointing at... I fucking hate the Gerber baby. Why do you hate the Gerber baby so much? I want to fucking kill the Gerber baby. What are you... What? I'm sorry. What? Excuse me? Why? I fucking despise the Gerber baby. Why does he look so fuck? Why does the Gerber baby have to give me that fucking look, right? Why does he look so fucking pleased with himself? I fucking hate the Gerber baby. Do you walk around doing SFX and voice stuff alone or when people are home? Usually alone. Sometimes I'll just do it when I'm like hanging out with Shelby. I just like making weird noises. It's nice. Talking about the Gerber baby again. We're Gerber posting out here. We're Gerber maxing. Eating baby food for my protein gains. I'm Gerber maxing. When was the last time I talked about the Gerber baby? Somebody else brought it up. I didn't bring it up. Animal crackers in my soup. Monkeys and rabbits loop the loop. Shit, fuck, damn, shit, fuck, damn. There we go. 
massive Gerber hours. Yeah, honey, I blew up the baby, but this time it's the Gerber baby. Yeah, the original brand new The Shirley Temple box set collection on DVD. We gotta secure the president. Mr. President. Get drown. How do we feel about the Teletubby Sun, baby? It never got to try the Teletubby slime. Is that glowing? I thought that shit was lower. Oh, Mr. President, come here. Bad guy. Makarov! Holy shit, is that, is that Max Payne Makarov? Maxarov? Oh my god, it's Makarov. Makarov go boom. Oh my god. Yes. Then you know what I want. You're insane. Russia will take all of Europe. Even if it must stand up on a pile of Ready, can you one day play the antidepressant or token name game? Link in the stream cat chat. It's 24 questions. Sure, I don't know anything. Where is it? Stream chat? I'll just do that right now, sure. Antidepressant or tokens. Okay. Fine. We'll take a we'll take a reprieve from Call of Duty just so I can do this and uh ace it, even though I've never watched Lord of the Rings. I've only read one of the books, so. Where's my display capture at? Sure, we'll take a little we'll take a little thing. Can you guess if the word is an antidepressant drug or a token character? Yeah. Bilbo, that's token. Yeah. Uh, Virgil, that's an antidepressant. Nope, that's... Okay, that's token. Celebrion, that's antidepressants, damn it. Asifen, that's antidepressants. Uh, Surdin, that's token. You can tell... Uh, Cledin, that's token. Nope, that's an antidepressant. Fuck. Uh, Desiril, that's an antidepressant. Okay. Edronax, that's token. Nope, fuck. Elronin, okay, that's... Nope, that's not token. Elendil, that's token. Uh, Escalith, I don't know who that is. Token. Haldir, antidepressant. Nope, I don't know who that is. Minalg, Minalkar, antidepressant. That's token. Uh, Arrester, that's, uh, nope, that's token. Uh, Finarfin, that's an antidepressant. Nope, that's token. Nardil, that's token. Nope, that's an antidepressant. Uh, Sintamil, that's an antidepressant. Uh, Narvi, that's token. Orifin, that's an antidepressant. Nope, that's token. Narmasil, that's token. Sildenafil, that's an antidepressant. Uh, Cymbalta, that's an antidepressant. Uh, Lovux, that's token. Nope, that's it. Fuck. Amontadi, that's token. Nope. Okay. Um, ten. I don't see. I don't know anything about token. I don't know shit about token. I'm sorry. I stay away from Lord of the Rings. I want the launch. I don't know anything about Lord of the Rings. I'm sorry. I don't know shit. I like reading fantasy, but I don't want to read Lord of the Rings. I don't want to become a Lord of the Rings bro. I don't hate Lord of the Rings, I just don't want to be a Lord of the Rings guy. Like, oh, dude, you didn't read the Cimmerillion? What the fuck is wrong with you? And it's like, I don't, what? He stays away from Lord of the Rings, yet plays D&D. Yeah, I just don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I just don't like Tolkien. Not that it's bad, I just, I've read so much fantasy that is based off of Lord of the Rings, I get the gist of it. There's a ring, there's a couple of guys, elves can see the flat earth. I understand it. He wants it to be known. So where do we start hunting? Africa. Makarov's been using local paramilitary group to move shipments into Sierra Leone. From there, they go towards Morocco and into Spain. He's moving north. Right towards Her Majesty's doorstep. What's the cargo? I don't know, but it's important to him. Then I want it. We can use the river to get in close. There's a factory in the camp where they store the shipments. The PRF's been waging genocide in the Highlands for months. They'll be everywhere. Makarov wouldn't let this travel lightly if it didn't serve a greater purpose. Oh, and there it is. Oh, are, yeah. That was no Russian footage. If he's back on the real reason Brennan avoids Token is because he's uh, secretly an elf. No, when it comes to Tolkien, I just don't... I don't have any interest in it. It's the basis of so much modern fantasy. Where it's just like, I just don't... I just don't really care. It's so much of the basis of modern fantasy, and it's like, I just don't... I just don't care. The factory isn't far from here. Michael's He's an elf the whole time. Keep it silent. Ridiculous. Somebody's gonna go through and like, 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 like run through a billion medieval paintings system. just to find one that looks kind of like me. And it's like we got him. We got him. We got him. Try not to die this time. <laughs> you worry about yourself, old man. Back on the grid. Oh, I thought it said back on that grind. 
Not being interested in Tolkien is fine, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I respect it. It's, it's the basis and foundation for so much modern fantasy. I just... I just don't care. Like, I get it. It's Tolkien. It, they got Gandalf in there. They got the Balrog. It's just like, I... Oh, they got him. Oh, hell yeah, they got him. Orcs are elves but corrupted. Does that mean they see Flat Earth, or do they get to see Hollow Earth instead? Holy shit. They got dinosaurs in the Hollow Earth. You ever see Kong? Oh shit. Uh, is that a, oh no, that's a hyena! They got hyenas in here! This is just like this is just like Cabela's big game hunter. Hyena boss battle? Truck. It's always that truck. I should learn more about that truck and find out why it's always that truck. Why is it always the white truck with the gun mounted on it? Tango's up ahead. Do they just have a bunch of those trucks? I never understand it. Oh, almost walked directly into that. Oops. Don't do anything stupid, lads. They just got a bunch of them. Yeah, it was Chevy truck month. They have those trucks in real life, too? Yeah, I know. That a Hiluxes are, like, one of the most popular pickups in the world. Right, yeah, but they're not big. They're not lifted. Why would you buy one? That, that shit's not lifted. Why would you buy that? Come on. You gotta buy the lifted truck. You gotta roll coal. Why are none of you rolling coal right now? Get off the road. Right now, you could be on the road rolling coal. Crazy style rolling crawl. Easy. Toyota actually got investigated into trouble for not betting buyers. Wild. I gotta learn more about cars. I gotta buy the big book of cars and see what the fuck is up, dude. Toyota Hilux in white was seen used by terrorists all over the world. Toyota doesn't even know where they all came from. You're telling me... Are you telling me the Toyota Hiluxes are just popping up all over the world? They just don't even get made. They just pop up. They don't even get made. They just pop the hell up. They're just they're just birthed into existence. Clear. Two more on the bridge. I'll have to take them down. It sounds like a joke, but it's super real. Oh my god, they just pop out of nowhere. We should look into this. Helix is reproduced by budding. <laughs> Move out. Yeah, move those bodies. Great job, Soap. Great job, Price. I'm Guy. Is the reason in 3 they didn't want you playing as Soap as Pri or Price early just because they wanted to have cutscenes with them in it? Or like moments like this where they have chatter from Soap and Price and it's like, this is so awesome. Who are you? I'm Dalton. I'm Jonathan. I'm Dalton. Like, I'm... That's Price. That's Soap. I'm Dalton. E to take out the guard. Ah, oh, get E, dude. Even said E, that's crazy. All right. From the west? I got him. Patrol on the road, where? Oh, there. Got him, dude. I'm popping. Breaching now. Oh, yeah, they get a breach and clear. Oh, shit, the TV. Yeah, get fucking owned, idiot. No more TV for you. You can't watch the fucking... The, 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 the colored bars. Taking away their TV. No more golden girls. We're moving there now. Heads up, we've got company. Where? Oh, shit. Oh, 
we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go! This is war! War is real! Alright, we gotta fight. I know we gotta fucking go. This is uh, war. War is hell. Sorry, I don't have a lot to say about this segment. That's how I feel about Modern Warfare 3 in general. It's like, dude, what are you. <laughs> it's like, this is an awesome follow up, dude. This was actually the moment where I stopped caring about Call of Duty 2. This was like the definitive, like, oh, I don't, I don't really care for this one. And in Black Ops 2, I just couldn't get into, but I never really played the campaign for it, so maybe I should have done that. This is also when I started playing... This game came out, I think, when I started playing PC games for the first time, and I was like, why would I play Call of Duty on the Xbox? I got Half-Life 2 to play over and over again. Alright, we're going, we're growing, we're going, we're growing. Treat me like one of those little pills you put in water makes a big dinosaur. Put me in the water and I grow! Mobs 2 is one of the last decent campaigns. Yeah, that's what I keep hearing from people. Which, we'll get to that next. Uh, the next call COD game we're gonna play, is, I think, is Black Ops 2. And then Ghosts. And then go. And then Ghosts. And then Ghosts. Oh, and then Ghosts. I'm thinking about Ghosts. And then Ghosts. I'm putting... I, I don't need to... Oh, I need to commandeer the technical. Okay. You were saying put fire on it. I already killed that guy. He's already dead. Give me the gun. Oh, there's a second one. God, the turret sections don't stop coming, dude. Like, what do we do for this part of the game, boss? Uh, put a turret section there. Awesome, awesome. That'll work. What about this section of the game, boss? AC-130 section. Okay, boss. All right. Put another turret section down, just see what happens. We love the turret section! It's a hallmark of a good game, obviously. That's why Ride to Hell Retribution starts with one. Oh, there's a guy there. Oh, there's a guy there. Oh my god, there's so many guys. Oh, bomb. What I found, Infinite Warfare is very popular among non-COD fans. Yeah, I think uh, I've heard good things about the campaign, and it's, and it's got a silly robot. Which is funny, realistically, because, like, uh, after, what is it, Advanced Warfare, I Infinite Warfare, and Black Ops 3, I think, borrow heavily from Titanfall with, like, the parkour and stuff, like the hyper-movement. Um, Advanced Warfare actually has an interesting, like, its own hyper-movement, which I kind of almost liked if the multiplayer wasn't ruined by weird loot box shit. Um... But I do remember, I do remember Blops 3, I think it was Blops 3, and then uh, Infinite Warfare are very, very, like, Titanfall-coded. And I think Jon Snow, Kit Harrington is in the Infinite Warfare campaign, ain't he? He's a guy in there, and you got a silly robot. People love a silly robot. People actually, like, I swear to fucking God, if you put a silly robot in something, no matter how fucking bad it is, people will be like, I'm gonna eat that shit up. Doesn't matter how fucking god-awful it is, they put a silly robot in there, and people will be like, oh, fuck yeah, silly robot. God fans hate running and jumping. I just hate running and jumping when it didn't feel like the map. I mean, I'll talk about this. The, 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 it, it, when it comes to modern Call of Duty, when they were doing the hyper movement, it didn't feel like the maps were really built around the hyper movement. They still felt like COD maps with a couple of places where you could do hyper movement stuff. Whereas Titanfall and Titanfall 2, uh, multiplayer and single player for Titanfall 2, um, are much more interesting to me because the game is built around the hyper movement and the big funny robot. And if you're going to make a video game with hyper movement, you should probably build that video game around the hyper movement. If you're going to have them yumping and sliding everywhere. But, I mean, that's a, that's a personal critique. That's not like a serious professional one. God, I hate it when I get blown up. Oh, God. I wish this had an area. I wish this was an aerial mortar camera. Me whining. A oh, millennial baby needs his aerial mortar camera, huh? What are you five? Shoot the mortar like a real warrior, idiot. I'm trying. Where do I go through here? 
gotta follow the I gotta follow the I gotta follow the path. You know the kids who played COD and want hyper movement should just play Quake or something. Yeah, I'm fine with hyper movement sometimes. It really depends though. Like I love it in Titanfall, but I don't love it in much anything else, which is a personal it's a personal preference. Where it's like, I love Doom 2016 because of how slow and plotting it is, but I don't really like Doom Eternal, partially for the hyper movement, partially because it's like constantly smelling its own farts. Still a good game, I just don't like it comparatively to 2016. I would still play Doom Eternal over a bad video game. I don't think Eternal is bad by any means, but like, it's it's very, it's a very movie, move-heavy game. Very shotgunny, fly here, go here, do your dash, do your jumpy, and I kind of like how slow and plotting um, Doom 2016 is in comparison. Oh, the DLC for Eternal. I fucking hate the DLC. I, when, when I am given a toolkit in a video game, right? I hate being told, okay. Um, you know the toolkit you have that kills enemies? Yes. I fell and I died. I'm silly. When, when it comes to like, you think your weapon wheel or your weapons is a toolkit in a video game. And like, once again, this is a personal preference. This is not a hardcore critique or anything. This is just me... Uh, talking out of my ass, I'm not a game dev, I'm not, like, uh, I, I am not informed enough to be able to talk about this in a serious manner, but I'm going to anyway, because it's an opinion. So I'll preface it with that. When it comes to a video game, I really like different video games, especially older, especially older video games, depending on their toolkit, depending on your weapon wheel and your weapon selection. Um, when it comes to Doom Eternal, I kind of like the weapon selection in that, until the DLC, because then it starts locking you down and telling you, okay, you have to use this specific gun. You have to. You have to use this gun. You can't not use this gun. You have to use this gun. You have to use the, what is it, the plasma SMG to break their shields. You have to do that. We're telling you you have to use this gun. And I hate being told what to do in a video game like that. Where before, if the video game states beforehand that, hey, this is a gun that's really good against this enemy, you should use it against this enemy. I mean, that's fine. That's cool. Whatever. I'll use that gun. That's a tool. Uh, but then if it changes, like, oh, just kill the guy. Here's all your guns. Kill the guy into, okay, kill the guys, but also this guy specifically can only be killed with this gun. I'm like, ah, it's fine, it's whatever, and then the boss fight was like, fight your evil guy, and I'm like, I still hate that. Eternal had to do a Dark Souls, not Dark Souls-esque, but just a big, like, crazy, like, fight your double boss fight. Yeah, I'm fine with rock, paper, scissors if it's if it's understood that rock, paper, scissors is going to be the bit beforehand. When you introduce rock, paper, scissors into the DLC, that's when I'm like, okay, fuck off, please. I'm like, please just let me put put a funny guy in front of me and give that guy different mechanics for the way that he works instead of, here's a guy, we put a shield on him, you have to use this specific thing to shoot the shield. Duh. Give him movement mechanics or weird shit. Give him a weak point. Personal preference. I like weapon and gadget variety. I just, I, if I'm told beforehand when I'm into the game, you have to use a specific thing for a specific thing, I'm like, oh, this is fine. But if I'm told after, like, you know, after the game is beaten into the DLC, I, I just hate that. I hate adding it on. That's why my favorite toolkit in any video game is the toolkit of bug sacks, baby. Because those motherfuckers be kind of bug and kind of snag. I'm oh, sorry, I gotta fucking concentrate because I gotta fucking kill the guy. Horrible day out here, we gotta kill the guys. A bomb. Please don't start the grenade spam, please. Yeah, I mean, I guess in a video game, I'm fine being told what to do. I just hate getting through a video game and then like, oh, hey, by the way, you were doing this all wrong. Now you got to do it this way. And I'm like, oh, but, 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 but okay. And if the game's good enough, I'll get over it and I'll grow up. Brendan zombie noises, please. There you go. How's that? I kind of phoned that in. I'm sorry. Part of when he says zombie, he's like, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Brains Mukbang. Don't do mukbangs. Why would that be me as a zombie? 
Am I famous for doing mukbangs? Oh, for Daniel Mukbang, he's going to be eating 50 century eggs. I never said I'd do that, but you're gonna do it, right? No? How about for a dollar? Oh, fuck, you're right. God damn it. I gotta eat 50 century eggs for a dollar now. This is bullshit. Can't believe I got tricked into it. Oh, shit. Oh. Mukbang is a strange word and a strange concept. I mean, some people just want to fuck Pokemon. I don't get it. Thank you, Patches of the Raid. I'm pigeonholing you, streamer. Hey, don't make me like one of those letters and number website pictures. I've seen what they do to birds on there. Are you inverted still? Why do you ask me that every time? I played inversion like a month ago. Are you okay? <laughs> Brendan, are you still inverted? I mean, that was like a month ago. <laughs> oh, so silly. I was inverted a month ago. I haven't been inverted for a while. I'm normal now. I'm horizontal and vertical. Ah, oh, Brintail. Oh, we got a breach and clear? Oh, shit. Is this a breach and clear moment? Oh, shit. Oh, dog. Oh, sorry. Hyena. Oh, this is, a, this is a cool camera angle, ain't it? Damn, they got away with the boxes. Brandon, would you stream any shooters made before 2000 if they're fun enough? Yeah. 90s games are always a weird bag for me uh, because of the... the, the when it comes to older 90s games and, like, early 2000s video games, the control schemes are so fucked up. Because there wasn't a standard for a while. The French just intercepted a message concerning a suspicious shipment headed for British soil. Have we identified the vessel? There's so many, there's so many different standards for like, uh, what, there was an Aliens game, right, on the PS1. Wasn't there like an Aliens game on the PS1 that standardized, it didn't standardize, but it was one of the first to use like the, the thumbstick camera, thumbstick aim. Right? And people were saying, this sucks, this is crazy, and then it became the standard everywhere for controllers. I understand we have unknown hostiles expecting a package. There's a lot of slop I want to play still. I was thinking about doing this or Dishwasher Simulator today, and I decided COD. We'll do Call of Duty. In a bit of a minute. I like your beard and glasses. They're nice. Thank you. Oh, I get so many compliments. Wow. People will be like, Brendan, you're handsome. And I'd be like, thanks. I'm going to part my hair and I'll watch this shit. Look how handsome we're about to get. So handsome. Oh, AC-130 mission. God damn it. Multiple Son trucks of the dogs march out of the worldwide. At this time, we believe they are target. Handsome real. Oh shit, they're forklift certified. Right now. They're transporting forklifts. Turn off the camera. <laughs> Profile Bravo 6. Vulture's birds will provide air cover for now. Let's just get this thing done and dusted. Fleer is picking up heat signatures in the warehouses. You will need to clear those buildings before securing the truck. My team will take warehouse one. Bravo oh, how's the AC 130 mission in this one? Please be short. I'm still thinking about the Morrow for 2. Burns! Smithers! Be ready, Smithers. I smell enemies afoot. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Burns. I'm uh, ready and willing. Holy shit. Holy crap. I'm hanging out with Mr. Burns? Yes, Peter Griffin. Now follow me. Uh, Mr. Burns, do you want me to grab your loofah, your sponges? Not right now, Smithers. I'm firing in spurts. I'm killing the enemy, Smithers. Great job, Mr. Burns. Uh, keep being tactical. Smithers, do you think I could be forklift certified one day? Mr. Burns, you could do anything you put your mind to. Thank you, Smithers. Mm. Now give me a sloppy kiss. Oh my god, Mr. Mr. Burns and Smithers making out ASMR? Finally, content for millennials. For a second, I'm gonna be honest, I saw the jumpsuit, and a demon took a hold of me, and I was about to just scream lethal company, but I didn't, so... You know, I can be normal sometimes. 
Smithers. I'm scared. Hold me. Yes, Mr. Burns. Hold me in your big, strong arms. Oh, yes, Mr. Burns. Absolutely. Oh, Mr. Burns. Do you want to... you want me to get you a hot cocoa? Yes, Smithers. Yes. Mmm. Hot cocoa. Hot, even. Got him. Fucking owned him. Fucking Commander Prode. Get Commander Prode. Honestly, I'm glad they fucking they tricked me. I thought I was getting a drone mission. I thought I was getting an AC-130 mission, and I didn't. And I'm happier for it. The game is better because it's not an AC-130 mission. I forgot, have you done content warning yet, Brendan? Or I don't remember you playing that with the boys. Yeah, I played it with Mandy and a couple others. Uh, Billy... Uh, Drazen, uh, friend, my friend Jacob, uh, making sure I didn't miss anybody. Yeah, we, we played it. There was a video up on Red Daniel 2. Red Daniel 2. And for that one, I didn't know how to edit it, so I just, like, cut it up and cut the ad breaks out and threw it up on there. Um, because sometimes I don't know how to edit videos on, on Red Daniel 2 because I don't really know what I want to cut out. So sometimes they're, like, a partial VOD. Yeah, I played it on release. It was a lot of fun. I don't I don't really feel the need to go back to it. If I want to go back to it, I will. But otherwise, yeah, I, I enjoyed my playthrough of it. Oh, there's nothing in here. There's a bomb in there. Oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I'll cut up. I'll cut out only the funny bits when I edit those for Daniel 2 videos. Uh, and they'll only be, like, the funny highlights from the game. And every once in a while, it's like, I just want to leave the whole, like, the whole stream like, almost intact. Not like, you know, a five-hour stream or an eight-hour stream or something. But if I play something for, like, an hour or two, I can, I can cut it up a little bit. But I want to leave it mostly intact. Partially, I, I, I wish I could do more weird and wacky edits with Daniel 2. But, like, I... One of these days, uh, oh, one of these days, we'll get more crazy with it. We'll get a little more insane with it, a little more insane. And yeah, this one, this is, I can definitely feel the slime setting in on this one. It's crazy playing all of the Call of Duty games from Call of Duty 4 and onward, because you can just start to feel the slime as I hunt down so many John Freemans. Holy shit, this literally is just hunt down the Freeman. John Freeman, who is Gordon Freeman's brother, was one day in office typing on a computer when he got an email from his brother that said that aliens and monsters was attacking the place, so he went. Get wacky with it, get stanky with it, we are! This feels like, I don't know why, but like, anytime I see a construction site like this, all I can think of is dead to rights. That got a stripper QTE. Oh, that's Griffin. Sorry, Griffin. Where's MP5? We take that. Oh shit, they pushed a big tube! Oh yeah! Hit the guy, kill the guy. I'm not hurt, I'm normal. This is just like Dead to Rights. We're going to be able to go through one of those big tubes. Oh, and this is just like the, what is it? The, the, the construction set, the construction level in Sneak King. I feel like they kind of made Modern Warfare 3 to be this final game in the trilogy. Let's all do the action everywhere, but it kind of fails and feels like action movie marathon slop. Yeah, I mean, that's also the problem with like, I think Call of Duty 2019 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, uh, the remake, uh, not remake, but like the, it's not even a remake, it's not even a reboot, it's like a, fuck. It's a different game, it's just called Modern Warfare 2. Fucking, I think with the modern Call of Duties, they, they, they very much resemble that, where maybe they have like one really cool level, like I think MW2's campaign has a really cool level that's open. But then everything else is like, this is dog shit, this is dog shit. Hold, hold F to de-escalate civilians.
I shoot the guy, I kill the guy, then the guy die. Why is it telling you're hurt all of a sudden now? Because in Call of Duty, when it does the camp, when you're in the campaign and it does the you're hurt get into cover, that message will randomly appear just depending on whatever the game feels like it. I don't know what the indicator is for it. It, it just always pops up. Kill the John Freeman. Kill the John Freeman. Destroy the John Freeman. Destroy the John Freeman. Do it, and I win. A porter potty! Love that. It says PP on there. 555 five, five, dump? They have incredible branding. They have incredible branding on these porter potties. Holy shit. Powerful branding. Oh, that's a bad guy? Why are you guys running past the bad guy? Kill the bad guy. Is this another turret section? Please, not another. Okay, well, it's not really a turret section. It's a truck section. That's fine. I have a propane tank. We gotta chase the subway. Look at how action-y this is gonna be. Sam Porter Bridges Potty. They should have porta potties. In Death Stranding 2, you should be able to build porta potties. That'd be crazy. Add a ship mechanic, actually. Hideous Kojima should add a ship mechanic to Death Stranding 2. So you have to build porta potties, otherwise, you shit your pants and it makes fun of you. It is a turret section. It's pretty much a turret section. You're right. I know it is. It, no, it's not. It's stationary. You have a gun. It's a turret section. But you're not stationary. The truck is moving. Yeah! I don't know when it- Oh my god, civilians. Oh my god. That guy was just standing with his arms crossed watching like, fuck, not this shit again. I fucking swear to god there was a guy who was just arms crossed fucking like a ransona. Not this shit again. Uh... I don't know if I've ever been, like, super, super excited about an on-rail segment, except for, like, the snowmobiles in MW2. And since then, it's all been downhill from there. We got turret sections at home. This is true. This is great value. Like, they can't have that many. We, have, we, we had to have shot all the guys by now, right? They can't have, like, 400 guys in here. And they can't get new guys in the train. That's not how that works. Okay, we're almost done. This is epic. This is so fucking awesome! Yo! I like this section a lot when I played it as a kid. I think it's fine. It's just an on-rail section. It's not bad. It's not really good. It's just neat. Death Stranding 2, are you thinking of playing it? Yeah, I'll probably play it. I like the first one. I mean, that one's going to be a while before it gets out, so we can probably fit like a uh, Definitive Edition Death Stranding series of streams before that one comes out. Choo Choo Charles is down. Oh, how's he going to save everybody from Nab Nab? Bravo six. Come in. Bravo How did the six. truck flip over? Don't worry about it. We are action, dude. Don't worry about it. We're actioning Bravo right six. now. What's your status? The train's down in under Westminster. Those bosses were using it for transport. Oh, shit. Advised. The trucks are headed in your direction. Get topside an RV with Bravo 2. Copy. Come on, Burns. It looks like it's just us now. All you had to do was follow the damn train, Mr. Burns. I want to look at the movie posters. Holy shit. Holy shit. No one knows how they did it. But soon you will know. The gang. Alright, we're so fucking back in. We're so fucking back. We're so fucking back. No one knows how they did it. Oh, these are the guys. It's them. 
They did it. Holy shit. Oh, never mind. This is, uh, way more excited about the gang. What else they got? I want to look at, sorry, I want to look at the movie posters. You can shoot or whatever. No, leave me alone. I want to look at the movie posters. Stop shooting at me. No one knows how they did it. All they know is the gang is here. It's them. The devs. The vinyl flytrap. Hot grooves. Sweet licks. Fucking chase die, you know? Fucking exhilarating adventure to the unknown. Deeper. I thought this said fecal forces for a second. I'm not going to lie. Vregs? That's a really good... Oh, I wanted to watch... Oh, sorry. I, wanted, I was looking at coffee beans. I was looking at a gif of coffee beans falling. I'm sorry. I got entranced. It was like Coco Melon for adults. I, instead of a dancing strawberry, it's a dancing coffee bean. Sorry, I, I only listen to Coco Malone. Have you heard him? Pretty cool guy. Oh my god, dude. Oh. What other guns are these? Do they only have the P90s? The PP9. That's fine. I'll keep the P90. Oh, bad guys. Jesus. Come on, dude. Wallcroft. Oh. Was that a... I, no, I think that was a bad guy. For a second, I thought I just shot an innocent janitor. I would never do that to custodial staff. Never. That was a bad guy. You can tell he had a gun. Right, that was a mop. No, 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 no. That was a gun. He had a gun. He was a, he was a bad guy. He was out. Oh, we can redo it. That's a normal guy. He was a bad guy. Okay. We gotta protect the shareholder. Shit. <laughs> protect the shareholder. We have to get him back to Wall Street. That guy right there. He's fine. What are they gonna do? Kill us, Wallcroft? Come on, Wallcroft. You're okay, sir. I believe in you. Hide behind the cones. You're gonna be fine. Just hide by the cones. Believe in the power of- You too, sir. Hide behind the cones. You too, ma'am. Hide behind the cones. Oh shit, a rat. Look at him fucking fall down the stairs. Oh. For a second, I thought my game crashed. He just, uh, lethal company. Oh, here he goes. He's moving a little bit. Oh, what's British Wall Street? I don't know. I don't know anything about British finance. Cheeky stocks meeting at Nando's. What kind of magazines they got? What are these? Ooh, a coffee dispenser. Okay. What, what kind of magazines we got? We got bullets, snipe hunter, swamp fishing, pool sharks. We got transgalactic. Uh, we got worldwide travel, particle physics. Wow, cool, cool, cool. We got Tahitian life. Seal teams. Space trek. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, shit. They got extreme ice climber and panda valet. I want to know more about panda valet. Oh, they got baseball times. Oh, shit. They got punk free life. American Oil Crisis, the magazine. It's pretty cool. Y'all gonna pick up a copy of Swamp Fishing? Oh, Time. They got a real Time magazine? You're allowed to just have a real Time magazine in here about Makarov? Is that a thing you could just do? Can you just have, can you just have a real Time magazine in Call of Duty? Did you just do that? Did they okay? Who? I want to know that call. I want to know that. Yeah. Uh. Hey. Uh. 
You're the Times Media Director, right? Yeah, we uh, we want to actually use your logo, if that's okay. We want to pay the licensing fee for it. Oh, for what? For posters in Call of Duty MW3 while we're shooting Lethal Company, guys? Pretty cool, dude. Oh, shit, Chensky. Oh, that's just random makeup stuff, damn. Want to look at all the products. I think it's satire. Oh, is it? It's the Times. You're right. You're right. It's Times. That's satire. Time. Oh, fuck, look at him go. Bleak, you are never alone. Sorry, I'm just looking at the cool alien design, dude. Shut the fuck up. That's pretty cool. Wow. Let's go, Burns. Let's go, Burns. Okay. Not Big Ben. Don't blow up Big Ben. Don't you dare do it. Don't blow up Big Ben. Now, I am for sure the reason why Big Ben was shut off. Now I can definitively say, I did that. I shut off Big Ben. My bullet pierced through the gears. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They're going to have a big guy pop out of there. They got a big guy in the back. They got to have a big guy in the back, right? Oh, Time is a real magazine. See, I... Did you count it as parody or satire when you're just using the name? Oh, the Davis family location. Oh, Davis family vocation. Oh. oh, I forgot. Oh, no, I forgot about this. It's the offensive content. Oh, they're going to blow up Big Ben. Honey, are you kidding this? Honey, look, Big Ben. They're blowing up Big Ben. They're going to vaporize Big Ben. It's happening, right? Oh, do I? Oh, I'm controlling? Sorry, honey. I got to go take a look at this real quick. I'll, I'll be right over there. Give me a moment here. Oh, my God. Five day. They have five day here. Honey, honey, come over here real quick. Honey, honey, come here. They got five day here. Honey, I don't care about Big Ben. We can see that on the internet. They got five day. It doesn't have like a, a set list or anything. Son of a bitch. Give me a moment, honey. I gotta go. I, no, I'm trying to look for a pamphlet. If you see a pamphlet for five day on the ground, you gotta tell me, all right? Honey, you're missing it. You know, honey, actually, they call that football in uh in uh, Britain, right? This soccer right here. We call it soccer. They call it football. Come on, get closer. I'm working on it. Honey, do you see that vampire up there? What the hell? Britain is wacky. All right, I'm coming, honey. We'll take that photo of Big Ben. Oh, birds. We should teach our daughter to eat those birds in a survival institute. Uh, you know, it, 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 in a in a survival uh, kind of situation, she may need to eat those birds. That's your daughter. You know she gets that from you. Oh! Honey? What happened? She's fine. It's just green gas. They're all fine. It's just green gas. It's Christmas gas. For Christmas. Oops. All Christmas. Incredible gassy. Never say that in this chat again. Please, God. Never say incredible gassy ever again. Roger, we are aware of the gas attack and are sending decon units your way. Not the gas. We're under attack by Russian ground forces. Say again, Ramstein. What Russian forces? The entire Russian army. Request immediate assistance. Our witnesses are now reporting Russian tanks rolling down the Champs Elysees. Everything is goofy. Everything is wacky. Cripple our defenses and pave the way for an invasion. We need to hit them now with everything we've got. Sir, we've lost contact with the delegation in Hamburg. Metal Zero One, this is Overlord Actual. You are being rerouted for Hamburg. We've Did you know you can glitch a gun into that segment and shoot it while filming? Oh, That's insane. <laughs> Delta Frost. It ain't me. It ain't me. Oh, yeah, this would be, you know what, actually, is have they done a war movie yet where, you know, in movie trailers where they do like a slowed down version of an old song and it's like the fucking like. Ah. They should do that with uh, a fortunate son. 
It ain't me. Ah, oh, it ain't me. Ah, oh, I ain't no fortunate sorry. <laughs> I fucking, yeah, it's a great, but it's great when they do it. They take a song and they, they, they add like a, they slow it down and then they're like, some folks are born. Um. <laughs> War. Oh my God, they got the fucking hovercrafts out. Holy shit. They got the fucking crazy hovercrafts out here. All right, we're gonna take a little break. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to break for a couple of minutes here so I can get a drink. Um, MW3, man. Uh, comparatively, Black Ops One and, and and World of War and MW2 were a lot of fun. I I definitely am feeling the slime. So we'll be back in a minute here. I promise. Okay, all right, we're back. Oh God, MW3, dude. It never stops, does it? It just is always. It's going and going and going, and they got. Oh, is it a fucking swordfish? <laughs> Why did they got Marlin out here? Um, <laughs> watch over those swordfish, soldier. Oops, I, I I stepped on a swordfish. Fucked up, but it happened. I can't fucking believe it. I stepped on COD. Oh my god, they did it. They put COD in COD. That's crazy. Fish AI, huh? Not anymore, bitch. Why'd that move like that? Where's that tire going? No, no, no. Fuck this battle. I want to figure out where this tire is going. Oh, it's moving. It's where's it going? I don't give a shit. Sorry, I know there's a fight here, but like I'm entranced. 
<laughs> I'm like, I'm like, where's this tire going? Where will it take me? What's happening with this? Anybody else notice this? Anybody in the battlefield? No? Just me? Anybody else? Is there like a crab under here? Where? It's gone. Where did it go? Where did the tire go? What the fuck, dude? This game is haunted. Don't fucking tell me. Tell me right now. Is Call of Duty MW3 haunted? You gotta tell me right now, dude. Is game haunted? All my crabs gone. All my different kind of fucked up hermit crabs gone. We put crab AI in the game. Hermit crab inside of a big tire is... It, it probably does go hard, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I gotta take the right flank. Okay. Gotcha, babe. Every copy of MW3 is personalized. Oh, just for me? They put a crab in here just for me? I fought mud crabs tougher than you! You should play Crab Fight too. Nah. I've seen those games. I, I don't uh, fight with the crab. Uh, novelty games really gotta hit a specific part of my brain for me to care about them. Otherwise, they just... Uh, Oh shit, oh shit, grenade spam. It's happening. Check out this grenade spam when I hit you with the noob tube. Yeah, I don't know. For me, novelty games, they gotta be a specific type of game when I game. Otherwise, I just am like, Bleh. It's like Goat Simulator. I can never play Goat Simulator in the modern day. I tried to play Goat Sim 2. I, I tried to play Goat Simulator again, and it's like, yeah, I. They just don't hit. Oh. Got him. Noob tube, dude. Right, get get noob tube, dude. Got him. Me when I got the boom. Eh. It is all about the boom. Eh. The only novelty game I remember fondly is Goat Simulator. Remember I Am Bread? Every YouTuber was playing I Am Bread, where they were bread. That was so cool. <laughs> remember when everybody was bread? For a butter moment, for like a whole week, everyone online was bread. That was so cool. When everybody was bred, I'm fucked. I lived it. I remember a day, a beautiful day, when everyone was bred. Nowadays, nobody is bred. Everybody is gluten free. Oh shit, sorry, I killed him with the. I killed him with a grenade impact. Oops. I am bred. I am bred. Yeah, they should release a food fight to it. It should have a Spartacus moment where it's everybody jumping out of the aisles and yelling, I am bread. No, I am bread. I'm bread. No, I'm bread. Could you be bread for us, Brendan? I can't. I'm sorry. I'm simply loafing around. Does Entitled Goose Game count? No, I think Entitled Goose Game is just neat. But yeah, maybe. If, if Donut County is a novelty game, then so is I. I. When I think novelty game, I'm thinking more video games that are specifically built for YouTubers to play. And so I think I am bred Goat Sim, uh, Amnesia, the machine for pigs. I, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Goose game, it's good, but it's still novelty. I mean, fair, yeah. Goose game, neat. Loafsome bread eater. How oh, about me? I do be talking about it all the time. Every once in a while, I do just grab a piece of bread, I ball it up, and I eat it. It's just the way this should be every once in a while. Sometimes shit just be like that. You just need a little bread. I'm fucked, I'm fucked, I'm fucked, I'm fucked. Bye, bang. I lived? Okay. Ooh. -y. Yeah, I don't get a lot of I don't get a lot of time out of novelty games because um if it doesn't hit the right like brain if it doesn't hit the right bra brain matter, then I just I I just can't care. 
Which is definitely way more of a me problem than anything else, but it's just over. Hey. And then there are some video games where it's like, I don't even want to do a playthrough because I watched somebody else do a playthrough of a game, and it's like, it, 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 it's a, it, I don't know, like, you, you get everything out of it. Oh. Where are we? Where are we going? Oh, I got a another turret. Okay, we'll do another. Sure, Call of Duty MW3. Another turret section for me. Whoa, joy. All right, now get on this gun. It's the same gun that you've been using before, but different now. On rails to on... What? Get through it. I believe in you. On rails to on rails to on rails to on rails to on rails. Oh, did I die? Or am I okay? Oh, I'm okay. Turret time! On rails to on rails to on rails to on rails. Did I blow up a tank with this? Huh. I love holding the fire button and then sitting in the tank crazy style. This is so cool. Oh my god, how many are there? Dude, if you ever play the AC-130 section of Call of Duty MW2 new, it goes on for so fucking long. It goes on for so long, dude, and sometimes, like... Sections like this are fine in, like, small increments where, like, you get to live out the power fantasy, but this game just keeps... I feel like so far has every level almost had a turret section. Let's move in. They ran further down into the garage. All right, let's get There's so fucking many of them. Just move fast, don't let them swarm you. Brennan, would you love your wife if she was a Call of Duty MW3 turret section? Would you still love her? You know, normally people ask me this question with various different permutations and I'm like, yeah, I love my wife. Yeah, of course. But in this case, I don't know. That's going to be tough. That's gonna, We're going to need to go to counseling for that. I'll try. I'll make an attempt. But, like, how do you, how do you, how do you love a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 turret section? How do you love that? that we're going to need counseling for that one. Yep. That's a big ask. We're going to need some counseling for that one. I just... Oh, those aren't friends? Oh, I thought they were. Those are friends. Dude, awesome part of the game where we slowly crawl through a parking garage and you're in a tank. I'm like, oh my god. Oh, uh. uh, dude, uh, is there a fun parking garage in a video game? Oh shit! Oh shit, the set piece! The tank too heavy! For the record, Brendan, this is the third turret section in two hours. I feel like we're missing one. Fourth on rail section, I would say. Because there was also the train, there was the helicopter, there was the truck, and then there's this. So four on rail sections. Basically four turret sections in two hours. That on average is, uh, I got two turret sections and two turret sections an hour. Well, we're out of it now. That's a cool truck. I like all the antenna it has on it. One every 30 minutes, yeah. Game design was like, yeah, one turret section every 30 minutes. Let's do it, bitch. Let's do it, babe. Let's get up in there and get sloppy as all hell. Let's gallop that ghost. Oop, wrong gun. Metal Zero One, ISR has spotted the convoy half a click from your position. Get there fast and secure a perimeter around that site. Copy, we're on our way. Nope. There we go. All right, back to shoot the guy. I don't even know where we are. Oop. Well, I'm in hell, so. 
we put the player on rails, we don't have to test the map boundaries. If we put the player on rails, they'll go, dude, this is so fucking awesome. And then they'll clap and shit and giggle. It's fine. I'm fine with a little on rails action. It's fine. It's fine in, in spurts. Uh, this one has been a lot so far. But it's fine. It's fine sometimes in spurts. If they're firing in spurts, that's fine. Damn it, son of a bitch, fuck of a man. You guys okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm normal, it's okay. I'm gonna be alright. I'm okay now. All my bones are functional. The blood is inside my body. My eyes have not been popped out. I am not percolated. I did not try to carbonate my blood. It never happened. It was never real. Never tried to put my blood in the soda stream just to see if I can make it yummy, 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 yummy. Yeah, uh, hema, uh, hemoglobin soda. He do be globin, hemoglobin. What is this boring? Can we watch the Conan episode of Space Ghost where he follows the ant for eleven minutes? God, you're not even wrong, but I, I, I'm, I'm gonna beat this. Try to think too of why MW3 is so boring comparatively, and it's just because it's like, go here, shoot the guy, go here, shoot the guy, go here, shoot the guy, and you you don't play as like anybody interesting, and like the set pieces are all cool action set piece, cool action, cool action set piece. We'll beat this though. We're strong. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not giving up. Feels like a super linear shooter. Yeah, pretty much. The problem is, though, is instead of feeling like a super linear shooter that sticks out in my head, it feels like a super linear shooter from the PS2 that's entirely forgettable. Like Kill Switch. Or, uh, oh god, what else have we played? I'm getting, like, Trigger Man flashbacks for some reason. My father was a cool action set piece. Oh my god. So sorry. Oh good, we got a sniper. Well, semi-automatic rifle. Black, yeah, but black was like... Black nowadays is not interesting, true, but like, before, when it was, um... When, when black released, it was neat. You know, it was one of the coolest, like, holy shit, you can see the bullets leave the gun. That's awesome. Oh, you know what? This actually has, like, kind of a weird sniper ghost warrior slime to it for some reason. Something about this one, just general disinterest. What, what'll what be worse, though? This or ghosts? Uh, ghosts is gonna have the fish AI, so probably... Probably this. We already passed the one thing I remember about this game, and it was the kid explosion segment. Oh, true. We did see, we did see, uh, the, the green fart gas get released. I did see the bomb. Yeah, Joker fart gas. Joker do be like, hello, Batman. Have you heard of Big Ben? When I'm done, it's going to be Big Bong. <laughs> Joker, no! Sorry, Batsy, I'm going to be smoking weed out of the clock tower! Joker smoke weed out of the clock tower real? Holy fuck, dude. He can't keep getting away with this. He can't... He can't keep getting away with this. He can't just smoke a bowl out of Big Ben. Joker can't keep getting away with this. He can't just turn the Pope into a bong. Joker can't keep getting away with this. He can't just he can't just go to the wax museum and turn every wax figure into a doll and then smoke out of all those celebrities. Joker smoking out of Walton Goggins bong? Real? Would it be Big Bong or Bong Ben? Big Bong. Big Bong is way better. Bong Bong Ben just sounds like a It sounds like a guy who hangs out at your drug dealer's house and plays Nintendo 64 while you're buying weed. But he never talks, and he's always there, and yeah, you're not allowed to make eye contact with him. Oh yeah, this is Bong Ben. Hey. What you playing over there, Bong Ben? Uh, Donkey Kong, don't talk to me. Roger, 
That's crazy. They were turning people into creatures. Now they're turning people into bongs. Five nights at weed. God, and MW2 has so many iconic moments, like No Russian, uh, Burger Town. So many, so many cool moments, and this one's like, yeah, the war, war is happening, but like, you're fighting in mostly the like small conflicts to figure out shit, and um, yeah, here's a, here's a, well, here's an area that's like, wow, cool, here's, here's London, or somewhere, maybe, is that Big Ben? I don't think that's Big Ben, where's, where's, is, is this London still? I, I don't even know if we're still in London. I was like, yeah, where where are we? Uh, dude, I, dude, I don't know. We're uh, we're fighting the war. You're in Germany. I'm in Germany. Okay, I'm in Germany. Look at the architecture. Thinking about the look around you bit. Whenever I think of Germany, I think of the look around you bit, which is germs come from Germany. Oh, tire. Oh, that is crazy. Rating all COD games by the zombies mode in each game? Um, that probably Blops 1 for me. I mean, I know Blops 2 has better uh, maps probably. But probably Blops 1. Is it Blops 2 or Blops 3 that you can get the um the big classic zombie pack? One of the one of the Black Ops games, you get the big pack of all the zombies maps, and that one is probably the best. Because I think it's Zombie Chronicles for what, Blops 3? I feel like it was mostly developed around reusing the assets for multiplayer maps at this point. Oh, yeah. The new Modern Warfare 3 is really indicative of that. Like, it's really bad. I don't, I don't know if there's... I've seen a little bit of footage of it, and it looks like they just used pieces of the Warzone map, and then also, like, just... It's just all multiplayer maps. Red in hat. I had no idea this was Germany because of the piss-adjacent filter. Well, yeah, it's just... Piss, piss filter, fire at the guy... Ah, uh, there we go. There we, there we go. I think, the, what is this, a telecommunicate? Is this a call center? And they don't do anything, like, with any... They're not doing anything cool. Like, fight in the streets, cool. See the big building, cool. Go to here, cool. Breach in here. Oh, God, and this is the one where they really use... Uh, Bleach segments, huh? Not bleach, breach. What is this, like the fifth breach segment? How many times have we breached? What am I, a fucking orca? So I call this orca. Don't call it cod, because my ass be breaching. Call this baby, because I'm coming out. Mom's pregnant. It's been nine months. I'm ready to leave. I'm breaching. I'm just waiting. We got disavowed? We got disavowed. I, I don't even know why we got disavowed. I see. We've got a caller with a lead on the chemical attack. Says he'll only speak to you. Identify yourself. Mac, it's John. John! We put a lot of names in the clock tower this week, lad. It was Makarov. The bastard slipped from my fingers in Sierra Leone. What does MI6 know? Oh, you're on everyone's shit list, John. There's no way I could get you clearance. Don't give me that. You still owe me. Oh, remember the good level? <laughs> Easy, son. All right. <laughs> They're like, dude, dude, remember? Remember the good level? I'm like, yeah, I do. I do remember the good level. piece of work named Morabi. My hands are full with the bleeding at home. So you're on your own. Good hunting. What's the security look like? Strictly second division. They really did show me all gillied up for a moment just to be like, what are we going to do? Uh, shooting the guy again. Tell Nikolai to ready his men. Remember, remember the level when you had fun? Just move quick and we can snag where all It's okay. Fall. I'm Yuri. Oh shit. The sandstorm. Oh shit. The breach segments are just incredibly forced bullet time levels. They were really cool the first time you did them in um MW2? I think it was MW2. 
It was either MW2 or Blops 1 uh, when you started to add, when they started adding the breach segments, and I really liked them in both of those games. Now it's just like, yep, you, this is the part, this is the time. Now you got a breach. Quick scope. Gotcha. I'm not paralyzed, but I seem to be struck by you. I wanna make you move because I click on head, then I fire your gun, and then you end up dead. The gun click on head, and then I'll kill you dead. Do 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 do. Yeah, I got kill streak. Yeah, got kill streak right now, dude. Popping up kill streak. Uh, what do you mean I joined the U.S. Army and you don't get kill streak for in, in, in like a real world? What do you mean? This is why I joined the army. I want attack dogs. Uh, what do you mean you don't get kill? Erm, erm, erm. Excuse me. What do you mean I can't use attack dog kill streak? Erm. I'm not paralyzed, but I seem to be struck by you. You actually are struck by me because I shoot at you with the gun and then the bullet hits your head. Your body flop on ground because you're freaking dead. Let's go. We have to get where I'll be. Gimmicky segments can be fun. It's just, it's, uh, you gotta know when to hold them. You gotta know when to fold them. Gimmicky segments kind of be like Bellatro, right? Like the game that Bellatro, uh, the game that they made based on Bellatro. What is it called? Poker? They made a whole game based on Bellatro, guys. Crazy. Got him. Oh. Oops. Oh. Thank you, Edmund Burke. Sorry, I'm just trying to... I'm trying to kill, kill the guy. And when I come over here, and then I come over here, and then I kill the guy. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Awesome. Freaking epic, actually. And then I grab this, and then I come over here, and then I kill the guy. And then I freaking... Oh, look at that guy. Oh, kill the guy. Look at that bad, bad guy right there. Look at this guy. Kill the guy. Come over here. Kill the guy. Fire at the guy. Yep, yep, yep. Cool bit, cool bit. Oh, the guy hit me, and then I die. Yo, they made war from Call of Duty real. Don't give me a Plato quote. Don't tell me about some guy named after dishes. I don't care. Fucking Plato, Socrates, Socrates, these bitch. I oop. He was in the window. This is so sad. Oh. I don't even know where the guy is. I couldn't even see the guy. Oh, one sec. Can you guys chill? Thank you. Can I hit this guy with the... Oh. Nope. Oh. Don't give me a Napoleon Bonaparte quote. I don't want short guy text on my fucking screen. Don't put, sh don't put manlet text on my screen. Man put his hands in his coat and everybody talking about him. I put my hands in my coat and I'm banned from three Walmarts in the tri-state area. I get it. I get it. I get it. Walmart doesn't like it when you try to sell things inside of the Walmart. I had DVDs, I had VCRs, nobody wanted to buy them. Short Kings be like, mm. Damn, I'm so fucking dead. I gotta take out these nests. There are birds here? Oops. Oops, Napoleon Bonafart. Oh, more like Napoleon Bonafart, yeah. Oh, he ripped that bone apart. Oh, I can't. Oh, I. Oh, I have that still. I forgot. Oh, uh, I forgot that I have a. I forgot that I have kill streak. Working on it, dude. I'm clearing the guy. Mimi, I shoot the guy. Can I shoot the guy good? I keep shooting the guy good. There, I got a couple of the guy. I gotta click on the red square, yeah. Emergent ga I can't. Emergent gameplay. Click on the red square. 
Diegetic game player. Click on the red square. Cut them off in their red square. Uh, oh, did they get everybody? Did we kill? Okay. Let's get him. Oh. Those don't move. Those aren't props. What about this one? This one's got to be a prop. Did I get it? No. Did I get the can? No. Damn it. A bottle flip in every cod. I'm doing it. Now, what's more boring, I guess, is... is, is uh, is it more boring for one over three? I've been watching fucking football. Oh, I wanted to see the, I want to see the match. You guys, you guys go on. I'm watching the match. I want to see who wins. It's really important to me. There, he's gonna kick. Oh, I lost signal. I gotta get the rabbit ears set up. Oh, they got the hookah. Hmm, horizontal hookah. Damn it, invincible. Son of a bitch. They got like a kitchen area around here, right? Oh. What's this weird white powder? Is that sugar? Dude, I can make that. I can put sugar cane near water. You can make a Minecraft cake. Anybody else old enough to be the designated hold the bunny ears kid? Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else out there? I uh, have to, like, fucking hold the TV antenna up in the air for a parent. They could have a better signal. <laughs> Another breaching. How many? We gotta fucking... We gotta really can't... We gotta count these. Gas masks on. Gotcha. I'm 28, and I don't think I've ever seen TV antennas before. Oh, you never had it with the foil and the rabbit ears? Where's Tell me it is yours. Never been in a house with one? You've never been in a house with a TV antenna? What the fuck, actually? Never watched local TV? Oh, do we put the evil gas in here? The Grinch gas is in here, dude. Enjoy the mask. Oh, come on. That price, a little war crime, really? There's so many war crimes in this game already, though. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Red Daniel's Plastic Chair Review. It's been a little while, hasn't it? It's been a little while since we've seen a plastic chair in a video game. And let me tell you something. When it comes to plastic chairs, I know them, and I'm a fan of them. But let me tell you something. There's something wrong with this one, and chat, you can already tell me. You can already tell me what I'm going to say that is wrong with this chair. No drainage slots on the back or on the butt. Zero drainage slots in the son of a bitch. The design is interesting. Like, it doesn't have slots on the back for, for heat exhaust or heat venting at all and no drains. But, can it pass the shoot test? Yeah, sorry. The chair in Modern Warfare 2, or sorry, the, 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 the plastic chair in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, gonna have to get a three out of 10. Nope. Two out of ten. That's my final rating on that. Yeah, even in the light. Looking at it in the light. No movement on it. No nothing. No drainage slots. Invincible bottles near it. I'm not a fan. That gets a, that gets a two out of ten. Sorry. That's not a great plastic chair. That thing sucks. So fucking narrow. It just looks awful. That, two out of ten. Not even a good plastic chair in this video game. Yeah, that's a low rating. It's not good. I mean, I've played Slop and I've played Slime before, but... Let me tell you, right now, I'd almost rather be playing Cold Winter on the PS2, because it has the monkeys. It has the monkey dance. It has the old guy. And it has Shisha. Ridged for no one's pleasure, see? Still thinking about Cold Winter. I'm still thinking about Shisha. Wait, where did the shoots come from? Great job, everybody. You are shooting the guy. Now, 
That was a quadruple A plastic chair. Oh my god, I can't even believe, dude. Ubisoft, what is at? What is happening at Ubisoft, dude? What is fucking going on there? They're hiding like fucking missions behind like the gold edition. They're going crazy. They're like regressing so bad. Oh shit, this is timed. Oh fuck. What is happening at Ubisoft? It's Colin Bones, the quadruple A game. I, I cannot fucking believe they legitimately said that, not even in like full jest, about Skull and Bones being quadruple A. I just, I, why, why did that barrel move like, new chair, doesn't do anything, still a two. Ubi just wants your money. I'm just trying to think. I'm like, I'm like flabbergasted about it because it just seems like insanity. And it's like, yeah, if you want negative press to be in the news, sure. But like, nobody's going to try or hate play Skull and Bones. And Mirage was like, fine. I heard Mirage was okay. I haven't played it yet because I, I just, I want to stay away from Ubisoft until uh, Outlaws, I guess. But... Played a decent amount of the demo thing and it blew ass. Well, the problem with Skull and Bones is it doesn't have an audience. And it doesn't even do the thing that it was promising to do, which was, hey, what if we did... And listen, Skull and Bones would have been a lot better if they had just made a, a, a standalone Black Flag-style video game, but it removed the Assassin's Creed branding, right? Like, all they had to do was make a video game that was like a modern Sid Meier's Pirates, even. Oops. Oh, good. Good fucking, good fucking save point, Buster. Sea of Thieves exists, yeah, but Sea of Thieves also is, um, uh, horizontal progression, right? Is that the right term? Where the, the goal of the game is not really to progress vertically, uh, it's to unlock more content so you can get more cosmetic stuff, right? Or, or like, do harder missions, but your toolkit in Sea of Thieves doesn't change based on progression. You don't get, like, a bigger ship or a cooler ship. Uh, you just have all that, all the, all the base game stuff is accessible. The only thing that changes is the visuals uh, of the ship or your character or your creature or the types of missions you can do, which are all towards like the, the customization aspect of it. It's not vertical progression where it is constantly like yeah, getting a bigger ship, getting a bigger crew, getting unique crew members, like building your own one piece crew and, and sailing the seven seas. Like, see if these is much more about the, um, the, 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 the player interaction and the, like, customization aspect of it. Getting a new skin for your ship, getting a new skin for your fucking drum. Like, and that's cool, that's fine, that's, that's just horizontal progression, babe. Uh, vertical progression is more like your, your RPGs getting more powerful, getting cool stuff. And I kind of just want a pirate game like that. You know, and Black Flag exists, and that's fine, but... Brennan would be Usopp? Yeah, probably. I'd probably be Usopp. I'm fine with that. He's Sniper King, Soga King. I'm a big Sea of Thieves fan personally. Yeah, it's a good game. It's got wonderful looking water. Uh, I'm not I'm not knocking Sea of Thieves, mind you. I'm just saying my my not dislike, but my the reason I don't play Sea of Thieves is because it's like it's a very friend core game, but also like the it's a very player interaction based game. Where a lot of the cool stuff that happens in it is based on what you, the player, you have to make the fun in a way. And I'm fine with that. See if these is great. I streamed it a bunch. You can check the old archive channel. I streamed it a fuck ton years ago. But it's boring if you're antisocial, which I'm not really antisocial. I just don't want to be like, okay, let's see if I can get four people for a for a big ship and we can do like you know a four hour Sea of Thieves stream. I just kind of want, you know, Skull and Bones, if it was going to be anything that I wanted, I just kind of wanted, like, a, a Mass Effect, but with pirates. Or just a video game about pirates that is just vertical progression. Get larger ship, 
uh, to fight larger ships, uh, upgrade your funny cannons, do silly things. Uh, this is cool. I like the sandstorm visuals. There's a little flavor here. Oh, cinnamon. Let the spice flow. Me. Wow. <laughs> Three stooges of Dune. What are you, the Maud Dib? Why, yada? Hey, look, Larry. Ships on the worm. What are you doing on the worm, you knucklehead? A shy halud? Get off of there. Three Stooges Dune would go so fucking hard. I'm not going to lie. I want it now. I want Three Stooges Dune. Larry, Curly, Moe, and Shemp. And Paul Atreides. Hate that, I think. Ah, oh, man, knife, chip, and shatter. What do you mean, my knife, chip, and shatter? Come here, knucklehead. <laughs> losing it. I'm losing it. Flashbang them. Move it, shout ahead. You're supposed to move without rhythm. <laughs> Wow, what do you mean, wise guy? What do you mean, move without rhythm? Well, you want to track the worm, idiot. If you move without rhythm, you want to track the worm. Ah, well, what if I want to track the worm, boss? Ah, give me that in your knucklehead. I'll use this spice. Ah, I saw something in the future. Ah, what'd you see, Mo? Ah, I saw me hitting you in the face. Ah, <laughs> this is like a mad TV bit. Oh, uh, but I want it. Now I want it. Now I crave it. Three dune stitches. Baron Harkonnen, huh? I'm bolder than you. Yeah, what's Will Sasso up to? We need three stooges in dune. The dune stooges. I need the dune stooges now. Children of Stooge. Oh, you hear Curly became a worm? What do you mean Curly became a worm? Curly's a worm now. That's why Shemp's back. Ah. <laughs> Stooge Messiah. <laughs> Access code Black Viking. Get me a secure line to asset metal zero one. Nice. Thanks for the tip on Kingfish. <laughs> capture order on your head. Tell him to join the bloody queue. Macross bomb maker Volk is in Paris. We need to act before he bolts, and I can't make the window. Not in Idaho, huh? I've never Paris. heard a more ridiculous name. Right, Curly? Right, Shemp. The front to distribute the WMDs. I'm on route to their European HQ. French special forces have located Volk. GIGN tracked him deep behind enemy lines, but they're pinned down. And you want us to I don't even care about Marvel for three. I'm just thinking about the fucking the Volk children of Stooge. I'm just I'm only thinking about the Stooge. <laughs> the concept of the three Stooges and Dune is just too powerful. <laughs> Oh, my frost again. Cool. This is Overlord Actual. Negative. All U.S. forces in Paris are engaged. Triage the civilians and move... Charlie, why isn't the spice flowing? Ah, I thought you said the spice shouldn't flow. What do you mean the spice shouldn't flow? You just let him do that? Yeah, I just let him do that. What do you mean? No, the spice must flow. I'll meet you with the LZ in one hour. Good luck. Somebody grab me that wrench. We got to turn this pipe on. The spice ain't flowing. What do you mean I gotta do a pipe puzzle? Oh, where are we now? We're in. Oh, wee wee. Is that the. Ho ho ho. Alright. Oh. It, it's gonna be fucked up when we get to the Eiffel Tower in this, right? And Makarov's there and he's got a chef hat on, right? And he fucking pulls off the chef hat. Oh, Ratatouille's there with a tiny little Ratatouille gun. Makarov, what are you doing here? The rat tells me what I have to do. Holy shit. Makarov on the Eiffel Tower with the Ratatouille hat on? The chef hat? Holy fuck, dude. Makatouille. I want to see Larry emerge from the spice bath so bad now. I know, I'm sorry. 
All I do is, is create wonderful experiences and then make you sad. Modern stooge fair. Watch your step. Zero it was one, Remy all along. G -G he did this. Remy long. was in Paris. Well, at least now I know if somebody asks me, Brendan, who is in Paris, I can just say Makarov. Makarov was in Paris. God, and Modern Warfare 2 also had the billions of George paintings. They did it. That damn son of a bitch just did it. They blew up the Eiffel Tower. On the I see London. I see France. I see Curly's underpants. Oh! I thought it was the Rugrats. Rugrats were in Paris. You're right, actually. That movie is still one of the, like, eight movies to make me cry. Rugrats in Paris. Uh, Zombieland. Uh, everything uh, everywhere all at once makes me cry every time. I fucking ball like a baby when I watch that movie. Everything everywhere all at once is, is uh, like, I gotta watch that movie again. That movie is, I, I fuck. Love that thing. Larry Agaib, Mo Adib. <laughs> Mo Adib! Fuck. If you were an international terrorist, what monument would you blow up? I wouldn't blow up any of them. I'd be like Devil and Bowman from Master of Disguise. I would steal them. No one will ever know. My name is Devil and Bowman. I've collected rare artifacts from all around the world and put them in my secret underground lair. No, Papa. You're not the Devil and Bowman. Ready to cry to the 2011 Three Stooges movie? Yeah, when Will, Will Sasso was blueberry inflated and they rolled him down the street and then he popped, I fucking cried. That was a crazy moment in that movie. What would happen if you were to blow up Stonehenge? Don't blow up Stonehenge. Have you seen Halloween 3? Holy shit. If you haven't seen Halloween 3 and you want to blow up Stonehenge, go watch Halloween 3. They're turning kids into bugs. That movie is all about Stonehenge turning kids into bugs. Still blows my fucking mind that I didn't know about it. I still hate it to this day. Michael Myers in one, Michael Myers in two. Okay, Stonehenge and androids and, and turning kids into bugs. Okay, wait. What? That's not even a Brendan bit. Halloween 3 is literally about turning kids into bugs. With the power of witches from Stonehenge. I... I don't know why more people don't talk about how it's fucking turning kids into bugs and snakes. With Halloween masks. And it's like... It's like I know Halloween was supposed to be an anthology series, but I still cannot let it go. And it's like, what if the third Nightmare on Elm Street movie was about, like, a fucking ballerina who was having a fucked up nightmare? And it wasn't like Freddy Krueger, it was just like some, uh, 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 some fucking clown that was roaming people's dreams. Crazy- oops. Oh, crazy style. Halloween 3 is a fucking wild movie and I'm not fucking- I'm not fucking forgetting about it. Okay, don't shoot the good guy, only shoot the bad guy. That's Saber, that's Private Aster, that's Corporal LeDoof. Please don't eat me. Seven men standing. Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Black Swan. It's pretty much like that, honestly. It's wild. Uh, no, let's get the MP5. I like the I like the sights in the MP5. I'm MP5 coded. Usually you only encode videos in MP4, but this one, MP5, fucking got him. Was Stonehenge ever a Stargate? It had to have been right. Stonehenge had to have been a Stargate. At one point, right? Like, not in real life, of course. I'm not, like, fucking talking about, like, aliens, dude! Talking about, like, in a movie or something. I think uh, there was a King Arthur movie, I think, where Stone Stonehenge was for teleporting or something. They should make a sequel to Over the Hedge, but they should call it Over the Stonehenge and make the animals 15 feet tall. That'd go so fucking hard. Am I stuck? I can't, do I work here now? Right, would you like any, uh... 
Would you like a cup of coffee with a woman's face on it? What, do I, what am I selling here? Coffee? Oh no, I'm a barista again. Wasn't I just a barista yesterday? No, I was a barista on Sunday. Milk! I don't want to be a barista again. Fuck. I got the soup du jour! Um, can I leave? Thank you. I accidentally baristaed. I googled it. It was in Stargate. Okay, I thought Stonehenge was in Stargate. But I was wondering if Stonehenge is a Stargate, not if it was in Stargate. Of course it was in Stargate. I was just wondering if it was a Stargate. I don't think it was. I think the I think in Stargate they have the they have the American one and they have the Russian one. And then they have the Stargate Atlantis one, which is uh in Stargate and then used in Atlantis. I love it when movies use a bunch of big rocks and they're like, yeah, these rocks are fucked up. It's just a really good bit, and it's really easy to write, because you got them in real life, so it's like, yeah, these rocks are really fucked up. I hate ancient aliens, because that's always bullshit, but, like, I love them. Hey, what if we made these rocks fucked up? God, keep fighting. It's Grinch. How oh, Where's Truck at? Where did Truck go? Oh, maybe Truck died and I wasn't paying attention. Oh, R.I.P. Truck. Right in your house is a Stargate. No, it's not. They're not sending aliens through. Christopher Judge isn't going to come to my house, knock on the door and say, Hello, my name is Teal'c. Stargate was actually real the whole time, dude. Fucked up. Crazy. Yeah. I'm marking my target. Ooh, purple smoke. This is literally Joker. This is so fucking Joker coded. Green gas, purple gas. This is so Joker coded. Take off your gas mask. Get Joker fied. Oh. That's fine, they're doing it. They shoot the gun. They kill the guy. Great job, everybody. Big boom. They're hitting you with the pronoun gas. Oh. What do they got here? Fuck. Domestic? I love this guy. That's so fucking powerful. Oh. Oh! All right, I'm seeing shit, I'm seeing shit. I know I'm supposed to be shooting the guy, but I'm seeing some cool shit. Oh, I love this guy. Athletique. That guy loves parkour. That guy loves parkour. Oh, I thought this said technophobe. This guy built his entire house with rocks and stick and mud. He fucking hates cell phones. This guy, this gentleman fucking despises cell phones. He thinks the radiation is making his balls big. Unbeknownst to him, we put a bunch of uranium around the fucking foundation of his house to actually make his balls huge. Never know cookies. Oh shit, we got... We got beef jerky, we got cookies, we got crust. <laughs> well, you know, can't say that the game doesn't have some crust in it. It's right there. They got crust. <laughs> Dude, I definitely thought- that's so Mr. Handsome-pilled right there. Mr. Handsome in Call of Duty? This is crazy. He's following me everywhere. I'm sick of this dude. The bottles break. They do. I think it was Call of Duty 2019. I shot a bottle and it didn't break and I went, huh. Game developers. <laughs> My father <laughs> was a gamer. And one day, he bought a copy of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> and then when he took the shrink wrap off, uh, it slipped out of his hand and the game case opened and clenched around my lips. <laughs> you want to know how I got these scars? Call of Duty. Where 
am I in the hole? Checking for toxins. Hold oh, on. they were cut seating? You want to know how I got these scars? Sharp hamburger. Never trust a square patties from Wendy's. They should cut the corners. Is that why Wendy's has square patties? Because they don't cut corners? Is that the bit? Dave Thomas, reveal your mystic wisdom to me. Actually, the bit is hubris. The bit is never hubris. Brendan Hubris. Not Brendan, the bit is hubris. The bit is never hubris. Grow up. I love a sewer level. God, I love a sewer. God, I love a sewer level. This is why folk must play for what he's done. They will. I'll see you there. That's your last name, right? Hubris? Yeah. <laughs> and my middle name is Modesty. I'm very modest. Ah, oh, hole. Oh, are we in Paris because they want to do a Paris Catacombs bit? I realize. I was so disappointed by MW3 after 2. I mean, the old MW3 after the old MW2. I hate the naming system. Yeah, the naming system is bad. This way. And it's like, I just, I always fucking hate that. They do that. They, they, uh, companies at some point, when was the first time that companies were like, we hate numbers, we hate numbers, we hate numbers? With like movies and video games. When was the fucking first time they were like, yeah, we fucking hate numbers? Many, so many bodies down here. The bear is getting it comes in. I saw a bad guy. What did they start? What was the first? What was one of the first? Uh, oh, I'm trying to think of what was one of the first moments where they were just like, yeah, fuck numbers. I want to say Doom 2016 for video games. There had to have been one before Doom. Bomberman. Remember Bomberman? Super Mario. Super Mario was the first one? Nah, because they called they called Super Mario Brothers su new Super Mario Brothers. I'm just trying to think what was the first fucking Doom is definitely one that I remember. Doing the naming scheme stupid. We're just trying to fucking I'm just trying to fucking think. Oh shish. I'm going. Get me out of here, get me out of the sewer level. I can't deal with this slime and sludge. Sonic, Bionic Commando. Oh yeah, Sonic 06 was just Sonic the Hedgehog, wasn't it? That might be one of the first. Yeah, if Sonic 06 does something, you probably shouldn't do it. I... Oh, I still gotta buy that, don't I? Fuck. I owe Chad a stream of that. I owe chat like three streams of that, don't I? Oh my god, I just got miserable thinking about it. The H3I is getting away. Nah, when I'm talking about numbers, not Tales of. When I'm talking about numbers, I'm talking specifically when they reboot something and instead of calling it like Doom was it, Doom 2016, is it called Doom 4? It's just called Doom, right? Like no numbers. Doom 3 was the last number Doom. So, like, I.E. something similar, where it's, like, something in a series that is, like, oh, yeah, this is, we're calling it, uh, like, if Assassin's Creed released a new one and it was just called Assassin's Creed. So, probably Sonic. Oh, shit. Big Gunga. Quake did four. Battlefront did that. I just, I always hate it. It's like, just call it, just sequence it or call it something different. It's like, why was Prey called Prey? You had the name. There was no reason to call it Prey. Just because you had the name, it's nothing like the old Prey. There's not even Blue Oyster Cold in it. Like, 
There's alien, I guess, technically, but... Oh, Saints Row did that in 2022? A couple of years ago? So many video games do it, and it's such a, like... It's annoying for a billion different reasons, and it's just, it's, it's like, I can't think of a game besides, like, Doom that does it, and that it's a good game, really. And Doom made sense, because, like, a Doom at least made sense to me, because it was kind of like a, a soft reboot after a long fucking time. Prey doesn't make any sense, Call of Duty doesn't make any sense, because you can call Call of Duty anything, you can call it fucking Funny Warfare. God of War did it, but it was actually good. Hitman did it, true. Yeah, a lot of, there's a lot of media that does that, where they just take the, they remove the new numbers, and they're like, no, 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 no. Or like, not even just the numbers, just like a, you, uh, you could call it like a, a video game subtitle. They just like, no subtitles, just use the original name, and they just throw it out there, see what happens. This is a Grand Theft Auto mission. You gotta shoot the tires. Stop the guy. Not my cabbages! This is a breach and clear moment. This counts. Is the new Mass Effect doing that? I just do. It just makes it so annoying. It makes it really annoying for searches and for... Because you, now you have to fucking type, okay, I want to find Modern Warfare 2 footage, I gotta type Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Old or 2009 instead of fucking... <sighs> hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Just add a subtitle. Just add a subtitle, please. Just add a subtitle. Add a subtitle, please. Copy. Raptor 2 is spinning up now. They killed the colon. Yeah, they got rid of colons. Just number it. Just add a subtitle. Like, just so I know. General, you're online with the President and National Security Council. Mr. President. General, have you found Makarov yet? We gotta find Makarov. Oh, 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 this feels like an AC-130 mission. Developing. Do you have him or not? A Delta team just took him down. I'm sending you the footage now. What's their status? They have Vulcan custody, but their OPSEC's been compromised. In English, General, please. Oh, We're no, it is an AC-130 one... Oh, no, General, it is an AC-130 mission! Alive. No! You bring those men home in one piece. Oh, God. I'm not in it yet. I'm not in it yet. I'm not in it yet. I'm not in the... What the fuck? I saw that. I'm not in it yet. I'm not in it yet. I'm not in it yet. I should move, huh? Yeah, I should have moved. Thank you for the T.S. Elliot quote. Shoot the plane, quiz boy. Oh, yeah, this is air. There it is. Why did you have me play as the guy for a moment and then, okay. I see. I gotta. I love AC-130 missions. It's my favorite part of the Call of Duty, when you sit in the big and you get the grayscale and then you shoot the guy, it's my favorite bit. Did I shoot friendly birds? Will you mark them for me? Will you tell me which- they're the birds. Thank you, Eagle One. Oh my god, Marathon is going to do it? Yeah, but Marathon- Modern Marathon is going to be like nothing like old Marathon though, right? Like Marathon- Marathon feels like it might be a prey situation. I don't know if they're going to make any Durandale references. Oh, 
Don't destroy any of, the, any of those historic buildings, dude. It's an extraction shooter for some reason and multiplayer only. Hero, he, see, here's the thing that bothers me is it's here. Why is it hero based? Why, why hero based? And also like here, here's I, an extraction shooter is fun because of like the gear and the loot you get, right? It's not fun for the extraction part. It's fun for like the, the getting your stuff part of the game, right? So with a hero based one, um, you know what was the hero, the only hero-based extraction shooter I can think of? Uh, hyenas. And I just have this terrible fucking fear that Marathon is just going to be, what if hyenas was released, but instead of collecting hot merch, uh, you're collecting stuff. Get your Marathon logs and your Marathon slime and your... Why hero-based? Why hero based? Why hero based? Join the pack today. It's so weird. It's so weird. Wouldn't call Prey forgettable, but to each their own. I don't think Prey is forgettable. Did somebody say, I don't think, I don't think Prey is forgettable. I think it's weird that they reuse the name Prey for the modern Prey when it, it's just nothing similar at all. I'm not even a marathon head and I know how ridiculous it is to like make an extraction shooter based on marathon. But I guess, I don't know, we'll see. Hit that building. I did it. I hit the building. I got I got legal permission to blow it up. One word named games are stupid. No, it's fine. I think games can have one word. I think that's fine. I, I think that's just uh, semantics. I don't think that matters. Oh, did I lose? Oh no, I switched to the guy. That was awesome. Yeah, I think one word game names are fine. I just hate it when it's like a modern reboot and it doesn't have a subtitle. It's just like, oh yeah, it's it's it's, it's the thangus, it's the thungus. I understand. Oh shit, sniper. Halo isn't even a Halo. It's got a subtitle in the first game. I like Doom. I like w original Wolfenstein. It is Halo Combat Evolved, true. I like Doom. I like Wolfenstein. I like the OG Prey. I like Darkness. I guess it's the Darkness. Yeah, games are only good if they have a subtitle chat. Be wary. That's why I love Blackside Area 51. I love Haze. That's a one-word named game. I love Control. Yeah. There are a lot of good one-word named games. I don't think that matters. I think it's more about just doing a modern reboot and then using one word or the original name. Especially when it's bad. Yeah, Black is good. Bla well, Black is... I would, I would moder a modern day, I would consider Black Slop, but uh, for its time, it was very cool. It has that, whoa, fuck yeah, I'm gonna rent this from Blockbuster again, energy. Well, Wolfenstein Reboot had all, uh, all of them had subtitles. The New Order, The Old Blood, uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, the reboots, I'm talking about OG Wolfenstein. I'm just talking about one word named games. Rimworld, Thief, well, Thief Reboot. It's just called Thief 2, oh. I gotta protect. I gotta protect, and I gotta shoot the guy. At least I'm out of the AC-130. 
There's a tank somewhere? I hope I got the smoke. Yeah, I got the smoke in the tank. It counts. I just want to do original shooter, man. I'm so tired of reboot, remake, reboot. Yeah, but they keep selling, so they keep getting made. I'm fine with reboots or remakes, um, to a degree. Like, if it's a video game that's a bit harder to play, I'm kind of fine with it. It really just depends on the game. Soft reboots, I think, if they do something interesting, are also fine. I think I'm both, for the most part, I'm fine with it. Oh, God, the 2009 reboot by Raven Software. Dude, they got fucking... They got Gumbo Sayumbi in there. They got a big guy. They got the crazy wizard shit. BJ Blaskovitz isn't even that huge in that one. He's like almost normal guy sized. Crazy. I want a challenging FPS. I'm fine with an FPS if it's just cool. I don't care if it's... I don't care really about the challenge a lot of the time. I'm just fine with cool. If you hand me a game and you say cool versus challenging, I'm going to pick cool every time. Because sometimes you just want to play something that's cool. Challenging? Eh, it's fine. I'm back in the AC-130. Oh, buy the AC-130 Funko Pop now. It's so cool. I see them. I missed. Nope, I hit him. I'm doing it. I'm hitting the bird. Stop. I gotta shoot at the red square. I know. I gotta lead the target. I know. You ever play Singularity, Brendan? Yeah. Last Raven software game. Before the Call of Duty mines happened. There we go. And now we're in the car. Cool transitions, though. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Javelins. Now we're talking. The Eiffel Tower. Oop. I forgot there were guys. Oop. Oh no, don't. Oh no. Why would you not have the checkpoint? Ugh. Wait. Did it? Did it restart the whole mission? Is that? like haunted I it <laughs> it restarted it restarted the whole it restarted the whole mission it restarted the whole thing why did you restart the whole thing there was no reason to restart the whole thing there was no reason to restart the whole thing Bro, bro, there was no reason for it. There was no reason for it. There was no. Why? Why would you? Why would you not checkpoint me at one of the guy? Well, at one of the guy moments? Why? Why would you make me do the whole thing over again? And I'm gonna have to play the guy. And then I'm gonna, I gotta shoot the tanks, I gotta sit here and fight the thing. Oh my god. I, oops. They're fine. I gotta fight the guy. More plane segments. More AC-130 segments, streamer. I just... The, 
the the balls to not have the checkpoint. The Do you remember going to school and people would talk about these segments? They're like, dude, it's so fucking cool. I just, I've never. It's just a turret section. And in Call of Duty 4, I think it was cool. And then they kept doing it in every game ad nauseum forever. Waiter, more AC 130 segments, please. No. Anybody talked about COD at school? Yeah, I go fishing all the time. No, of course. Of course people talk about Call of Duty at school. What do you mean, has anybody ever talked about Khan at school? Modern Warfare 2 was like, every every day after school, run home, get on the Xbox, get on Xbox Live, like, hell yeah, fuck homework. Be like, dude, that match last night was so fucking cool, dude. Can you believe it? D J D Jimothy got nuke. The thing was, this big set piece was cool once, and then every time after has been like, a, okay, we gotta do the AC-130 segment. Awesome! We gotta go and take a- we gotta go do this shit again. Alright, cool. Ow. No, fuck, no. Why did it why did it give me this check? Why did it checkpoint me now? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why did it restart the whole thing? Why did it restart the whole thing earlier? What the fuck? What it did I feel like the game is haunted. It is personalized just for me. It did want to make me suffer. What the fuck? Oh. What, what? Huh? Then why didn't it checkpoint earlier? What, why did it checkpoint now? What? Personalized COD campaign made specifically for me. I don't know why it reset the whole mission. I didn't click on anything. I just, it just was the checkpoint. It just restarted at the beginning for no reason. I don't, now it's not doing it. We hear your shit talking Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 by Infinity Ward. We're jacking in to fuck with you, streamer. My my if I was in the if I, if I was in the Nether right now, my my gas would be saying some crazy fucking shit cuz my gas is flabbered. I'm flabbergasted. I Gator? Okay. Sweet Brintel. The game is self aware. Oh my god. The world's first real AI is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 becomes self aware on my pewter. I gotta destroy my SSD. I gotta throw it in the river. Anything but Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Anything but that. First aware AI. It's happening. Oh, fucked up. I think this is also supposed to be a turret section, isn't it? I'm not picking- I'm not grabbing the big gun. No, you can't fucking make me. You can't make me grab the big gun. You can't fucking make me. You can't fucking make me. I'm not doing it. You can't fucking make me. All right, we got him. We boomed him. We boom 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 him. Did it boomed him? Did they get boomed? We boomed him. That's amazing. We boomed him. Oh. Back to the AC. Yep. Back to the AC. One thirty. All right. Okay. 
We're doing it. We're doing it. We're strong. We're powerful. We're brave. We're strong. We're powerful. We're brave. We can get to an AC-130 section in a Call of Duty video game. Yeah, let's roll. Okay, back to the big chase. This is so cool. Watching the tiny car move really fast from up here is so cool. I'm working on it, babe. Where? Who? These guys? Oh my god. We're gonna shoot the guy. Go right, go right. These guys are crazy driving. I wish I was crazy driving. I'm in the I'm in the I'm in the bird, dude. You know what this reminds me of? Is it, fuck, is it the army mission in one of the Saints Row games for some reason? Where you're in, like, I think a chopper or something and you're firing at fucking tanks? I think you're in, like, a drone or a chopper. And I'm just like, yeah, I... Aerial assault missions like this never... Just, I, all I feel is, all I feel is slime. did it! Boom! And then we go over here, and then we try to switch over to the javelin, and we don't die to one of the enemy soldiers that's in the area. Move. I'm doing it! I'm doing great, too! They call this shit the javelin, I call it the javelina, because it do be like a hog. Why can't the AC-130 take out the tanks? We don't know. But at least it's not all AC-130. There are interspersed moments with gun. And I will take this over the full length, like, 45 minute AC-130 mission in, uh, fucking Modern Warfare 2. Pretty sure the Saints Row section is made to parody COD. Oh, true, probably. And people are like, why would it, why would it be a parody of COD? The AC-130 missions are awesome. Why would they parody COD? These missions are awesome. I think we're almost, can we please almost be free of it though? Billions more guy. Oh, billion. Oh, more boys. Oops, more boys. Oops, 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 oops. I know I have the bomba. I'll use the bomba. You have holy shit! You have six hundred bullets on you. Yeah, the cod campaigns for your like main primary weapon. They always give you like th like way too many bullets. They just fill you up. That way you don't have to really usually worry about uh. Usually you don't have to worry about picking up ammo for these in segments like this where you're like, oh yeah, I ha I have six hundred bullets. I'm not worried. I have a billion bullets. Even if you throw a billion boys at me, I have a billion bullets. Get him. I'm gonna get this one too. Oh, they got him. Oh, 
Oh shit, fuck me. Oh god, I just gotta not die. I just gotta not get. I just gotta not die. I just gotta not be a die guy. Just don't die. Clearance them. Yes, clearance it. Clearance them. Grinch, where's truck at? There he is. I gotta go help out my boy, my son. Oh, truck. Ah, uh, bomb. Wow, this shit crazy. No! The Eiffel Tower fall! No! They gotta build a big one. Oh my god. Certified Twisted Metal 2 moment. Oh fuck yeah, you're right. You can shoot down the Eiffel Tower in Twisted Metal 2. Holy shit. Oh yeah! This is awesome. Can I get the... Thank you. I want to get out of here. Was one of these guys named Exxon? What the fuck? What a nickname. Okay, we're free of AC-130. We're free of AC-130. I'm so fucking thankful that we're free of AC-130. You have no idea. Did a man told? They always talk. We got names, dates, locations. Bolt gave us everything. Even forgot her. It seems your hunch was right, Captain. Macaros already making friends. He's they call him Exxon because he loves drinking oil. Oh, is, he, he, is he one of the famous diesel boys the going to gas stations and guzzling it right out the hose? That would be me if we could drink time, gasoline. But you're close. They know how many, they figured it out, they know how many calories are in gasoline. If we could somehow drink it safely, you, you could get a lot of caloric content from that. You just have a whiskey flask full of gasoline, get you your calories that way. Ain't even gotta eat food, ain't gotta drink water, gasoline will have it all. But not yet. We can't, we can't do it yet. They'll figure out the technology one of these days. One of these days, you'll be able to go to a gas station and just drink the gas right out the hose. That day is not today. Let's get this over with. Eye of the storm. Oh, shit. At least this one's lit well. God, what does this remind me of? Oh, is this? This reminds me of Wolfenstein 2009. Maybe, maybe it's that one. No, I don't think it's. Maybe it's Wolfenstein 2009. There's a level in that game. In like a tower. And I remember just playing it, feeling completely empty inside. Oh, they got the bodies. Do you recognize the bodies in the water? I sure do. When will somebody recognize the bodies in the water? Like, come on, it's been years at this point. Somebody's gotta fucking know who's in there. This way. It's all grandmas, they're all swimming. Not even there, they're just floating around having a great time. Every grandma in the water. They're doing these synchronized swimming classes. Oh, these are our friends. Oh, yeah, well, you can help me. Yeah, he's fine. Oh, hell yeah, what do I have? Oh, is it Sniper? Is it time for the Sniper mission? The shoot the guy? Awesome, we're gonna do the mission where we shoot the guy from far away instead of from close up. 
I gotta wait. Is this where they like fucking? They're like, wait a minute. You get the one on the left. I'll get the one on the right. You take the one on the left. Waiting for him to say it. When's he gonna say it? You take the one on the left. Oh, you're not gonna help me at all, Soap? That's fine. Oh, okay. Oh, they had Soap shoot the dog this time. Because in Call of Duty 4, uh... God, no, it's Price that shoots the dog in Call of Duty 4. It's in all gillied up. Uh-huh. Okay. I'll get the one on the left. Great job, me. Great job, you, Soap. Another sniper. Don't draw his attention. Wait, that guy? I could just, just shoot him. Why did he have a friend up there? Intel. Oh God. What are they? What are they got in here, guy? We got in here, dead guy. Oh, is this doing the elevator door closing the dead body bit? Nice. It's so fucking cool. Food. Water. Atmosphere. Food. Water. Atmosphere. Stay low. Oh, yeah, we got a prone through here. Real prone zone moment. Hey, Brendan, can you name more than three video games? Yeah, um, Haze, Blackside Area 51, and Elibits. I don't know why those three, but those are the three I named. How do we get, uh, how did that happen? So, did you do that? Uh, fourth video game, Trigger Man. Uh, fifth video game, um... Uh, fuck, uh, uh, uh shit, RimWorld. That's not more than three? Um, um, oh, shit. Uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, uh, uh... There's too many of them. Uh, 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 Ride to Hell Retribution. Uh, uh, the, um... Uh, uh, big rigs over the road racing. Uh, big mother truckers. Uh, big mother truckers too. Uh, Dog's life. The Is that enough video games for you? Have I named every video game now? Brendan, name my son. Steven, but with two V's. And two E's as well. S-T-E-E-V-E-N. S-T-E-E-V-V-E-N. Steven. Brendan, name three real games right now. Um, Quake 4. Um, Quake 3, uh, Quake 2, uh, Quake 1, uh, Quake Champions, uh, Quake Enemy Territory, uh, Wolfenstein Enemy Territory, um, Return to Castle Wolfenstein, um, uh, Poop Killer 1, uh, Poop Killer 2, uh, Poop Killer 3, uh, Poop Killer 4, uh, Poop Killer 5, uh, Poop Killer 6, uh, Poop Killer 7, uh, Poop Killer 8, uh, Poop Killer 9, and, uh, Poop Killer Origins. Have I named enough video games now? I'm moving, I'm moving. You move too. You move first. He's moving, he's moving, he's moving. Brendan and flower to my shopping cart. Okay, Google. Buy 55 gallon drum lube online. PayPal. Oh, fuck. Oop. Always really bad at these. I just, they're just, uh, I want to get to the shoot the guy moment. But the atmosphere, the storytelling, 
we have to slow move for a while. Stay close. Oh shit! Hell yeah! Being spotted just means death. Yeah, and all killing up, there were moments where, like, if you were spotted, you could still fight through it. Um, and I think it started in Modern Warfare 2, where any of the stealth moments, you had to basically just follow the character, sit next to the character, listen to the character. You gotta do the stealth thing, otherwise you just die. All killing up let you screw up and play, uh, for most of it. I think there were one or two moments where you couldn't keep playing uh, but for the most part, yeah, all gill all gillied up was all about like fuck yeah, hell yeah. Ah, Price took care of it. Sick. And they got a car. What if we drop the car on them? Oh, look at all those guys! Oh, hell yeah, drop the car on the boys. This is awesome. I have a shelf on Steam just named Games That Have Been Mentioned by Brent Daniel on Twitch.tv. That's a great shelf. But a lot of those games I mentioned aren't on Steam, so. But Bad Rats. Bad Rats 2. You're welcome. It's a good shelf. Hot dog, horseshoes, and hand grenades. I'm lying, by the way. Oh, come on. Why they gotta be bits where it's just like, hey, Brendan, cool idea. And I'm like, that's awesome. And then I'm just lying, Brendan. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Brendan, it was all a lie. It was all a lie, Brendan. It was all a facade. I'm gonna be like, oh, okay. It was all a lie. It was all a facade. All right. Fair, fair, fine. You build your fucking facade, your house of lies. You build the house of lies. I'll live in my home, a beautiful home made entirely of lies, but it's nicer than yours. I know they're bringing an armor. This is so cool. But what if I shoot the guy on there? Oh, yeah, sorry. Not gonna do that. The funny segment moment. Oh, shit. God damn it. Gotta hit it. That was not. Nope. There we go. Ooh. I like how that thing went fucking into the sky. Why do they gotta do that? Fire the RPG into the sky. Oh god, is that a tank? Is that an enemy tank? Oh. We're gonna shoot that too? Oh no, in here. Okay, never mind. Go in here. Got it. You blew it up? Yeah. 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 Where the where the guy at? I'm gonna shoot the guy. Yeah. Oh no, sorry, I didn't know there were good guys in there. I gotta go and take a break. I'll be back. Give me like fucking give me five minutes. I need to like I need to repressurize. I'll be back.
Oh, okay, I'm back. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I needed a good reset. Oh, my God. Okay. We're going to get through this. We're going to get through this, Chad. We're going to get through this. This is now a test of, uh, of will. I didn't think that we would get to the test of will. Like, style Call of Duties yet. But we are here. We're at the test of will. I, I definitely thought that, like, Black Ops 3 or, like, Advanced Warfare was going to be the test of will. No, we're here. We're at the test of will. This is definitely the test. We are strong. We are powerful. We will say our our, 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 our our reinforcing words. We are strong. We are powerful. We are beautiful. We are brave. We can play this shit. I can beat this fucking video game. I can do it. I can play this shit. I can play this slop. We can finish this slop. We can do it. We can shoot the guy. Oh, yeah. We're entering the, the arc of the COD games where it's me versus the video game. Absolutely. Because, oh, Lord. I think this was the COD 2 where the discussion uh, was like, damn, why is COD like Pokemon now? They're making a new one every year. And they all start to feel the same. And it's like, yeah. It's happening. Ego death in real time. We are big, we are round, we are strong. We are beefy, we are big, we are strong. Really feel like this is the Call of Duty Call of Duty. Basically every stereotype of the series distilled and it doesn't have anything to care about. Yeah, I would say that. This is kind of this is kind of Call of Duty in like a flask or a test tube. This is the essence of duty without any of the call. Get it? Essence of duty? <laughs> I'm a word man. Mimi, I love the word. Yeah, this shit ain't even got... This shit ain't got Pikachu. This shit ain't got, like, a funny robot like Infinite Warfare. And it doesn't even have Kevin Spacey like uh, Advanced Warfare does. Because at least Advanced Warfare, we could be like, fuck, dude. Remember that guy? That guy makes YouTube videos every year. YouTuber Kevin Spacey. <laughs> But Black Ops 2 is after this, and Black Ops 2, I only hear good things about the campaign, so. Oh, there's so. This is the, I think, I think the next Daniel versus, I really do think that, like, the ones that we're really going to have a hard time with are World War II and Va, 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 Valiant, no, Va, Vanguard, Vanguard. Vanguard and World War II, I think, are going to be the two, and not World of War, because we already did that one, but Vanguard and World, World War II are definitely going to be Daniel versus Call of Duty. Oh, oh, why did I even die? Why did I even die? Hey, Brendan, how much of your weight loss do you think can be attributed to going to the gym, getting your steps in? Ever since starting my work from home stuff, I noticed how little I walk. I'm working on getting my 10K daily again. Honestly, when I started going to the gym, I started gaining weight again because I'm building muscle. So I'm at like 260, 265. I've kind of plateaued. Uh, really, it's just, it's caloric intake, dog. Like, you just have to monitor your calories. And he, uh, caloric deficit is one of the best ways I IMO to lose weight. And that's kind of, like, what I've been trying to stick to. The best thing to do is to figure out your, your, your... The calories... There's a calculation you can do to figure out how many calories you need to keep at your current weight. And then you need to count your calories daily when you're eating stuff. And I think that's the hardest part. That's it's just like when you snack, portion out your snacks. When you have like a fucking bag of chips, follow the serving size. How do I stay full? Uh, chicken. Chicken and then a, a lot of food that is filling, but not. Here's the thing. If you want to lose weight, you uh, a, a big problem with losing weight is you're not going to be able to eat good food. That's it. Like, and it sucks, and it's awful, but, like, if you want to lose weight, you have to do that. Losing weight is like, yeah, food sucks! Is there a Martin Luther King Jr. quote in this? What? A lot of water, uh, and then also making meals that are not calorie-heavy, but that can be filling. Chicken is uh, a really good meat for that. You gotta be count your fucking calories is the thing like that's it's it sucks but like there's not like an easy way to get into it 
when you're really overweight, you're going to have an appetite that's used to overeating. True, also, like, you also have to have, like, you also have to be hungry. Part, straight up, part of losing weight is, yeah, you're gonna have to be hungry, and it's gonna suck, and it's awful. It sucks, and it's awful. And you gotta have a, well, the, I will say the nice thing about, like, food is awful and nothing tastes good is that, um, when you do have, like, a cheat day or when you do have, like, a little treat, you enjoy it a lot more, which is nice. But, yeah, I mean, there's, there's no easy fucking weight loss thing, right? There's no, like, oh, yeah, here's your 50 simple tricks to lose weight. You can't just work out. Dieting is, is really effective, but then you have to be hungry. And you have to get used to being hungry. Because food is so fucking calorie dense and sugar dense and it's insane. There's one, liposuction. Yeah, but that's like a wealthy thing. And even then, like, liposuction or stomach staples uh, still means that you have to be like... And liposuction... I, I feel like liposuction, there's risks in liposuction, like... There's risks with cosmetic surgery um, that I would never take. And those are like, those are like your last kind of efforts. Because then with a stomach staple or liposuction, then you still have to, you still have to maintain it. Which means you can't just eat everything that you want to eat. There's no easy way for it. If you want to lose weight, you have to have the motivation and you have to, like, not eat good food. Like, that's that's it, really. That's the core of it. With stomach staples, you physically can't eat more, though. True. Like, that's the point behind it. But then you're going to have to go in surgery and it's like, ah. Uh. I mean, if it's your only option, I... I would never do it, but I understand why people get it done. Habits have to be trained no matter what, pretty much. I don't know. For me, Careful I'm just calorie deficit and working out. Eating a lot of protein, calorie deficit, working out. And that's worked so far. And that's been working. It's been nice. Global one, copy. We're dug in with line of sight. Right. Camera of our eyes and ears inside the Oh, shoot the guy. Just a nod. We'll kick this off. What do you see? Bugger all, mate. Looks like Makarov's late for his own funeral. Sucks that for me, at least motivation and drive are so hard unless I have like an oh shit moment. Yeah, it's, it's you can't just have motivation and drive like a pair out of thin air. Bad food is cheap? Not true, actually. Bad food is not even cheap anymore. It's almost time. Bad food's super not cheap. Bad food is easy. I would say bad food is cheap now. Nowadays, no. I'd say bad food is really easy. It's way fucking easier to, like, go to a Taco Bell or a McDonald's and just get, like, a meal rather than, like, cook or meal prep for the week. A bad food is not cheap. Shelby and I do meal prep. We like it. The only problem is then you have to deal with, you know, you get, you eat the same dinner five days a week. Um, but I like it for the most part. Just sit tight. Right this week, it's uh, just chicken and sauce and broccoli. It's like a 400 calorie meal. Instant ramen. All right, come off. You're out. Oh, instant ramen's so fucking bad for you, though. We true. Ramen noodles. Ramen noodles are cheap, but also, uh, there's so much sodium in there. We want to just. I'm gonna just eat yummy salt. Where's Price? Oh, up there. There he is. Price. 
wanted to bulk up, I'd have to do the whole chicken and rice and chicken and rice, and I can't just do that. I don't know, Shelby and I do chicken and rice pretty often, and I'm, I'm mostly fine with it. You just get, like, a different, uh, I know you're not supposed to have, like, sauce, but you can have a little sauce. Taking my together, you. You can have a little of sauce. Eat beef and rice. Oh. This feels like one of those flash games. This is awesome. I'm playing the sniper flash game and I'm gonna have the high score. What the hell? Price, who is that? Camero. That's Camero. Oh, Price. Captain Price. At Tibia. Price. Oh, they bombed him. They made him a bomb boy. Oh my god. Not Price. <laughs> He said it! You never should have come here! Can't believe Makarov would say that. This is insane. Still don't get how they don't see the C4. Not gaming sin. Uh, me when I ding. I think it's one of those things where the, 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 they just get dumber. I don't like being nihilistic. What's the point of being healthy when you're just going to continue living in a capitalist society? Yeah, that's that's if you're doom scrolling, if you're like if you're like in a doomer mindset, absolutely. Um I'm not. I like life. I enjoy the little things. I like being healthy. Being healthy is nice sometimes. Things are nightmarish, things are fucking awful, but like uh -huh. I can't tell you. Do doom posting and doom scrolling is something that I don't I don't fucking do. I don't engage in it. Shit's awful sometimes, and I do whatever I can about awful shit. But like, if you are if you are like constantly consuming negative media or, or, or negativity, it's going to just make shit worse. I'm just living my life. What's the point of living if a brontosaurus could just eat me? What's the point of living if I could get run over by a steam train? What, what's the point of living if like there's an oil derrick that explodes and the oil comes and gets me? Like, I, whatever. I'm not worried about that. I die. I die. Like, that shit happens. I'm way more worried about... I like living my life. I like my cats. I like my wife. I like my family. To a degree. If you're constantly surrounding yourself with negativity and constantly consuming negativity and constantly, like, everything sucks, everything is fucked, everything is awful, everything sucks, everything is fucked, everything is awful. Um, I'm poor as shit. I just try to find happiness where I can. I can pay rent, and that's all I worry about. Everything else is extra. It's on me as a person to make things as less shit as possible for not only myself and others. Oh. There's no easy answer to that. That's that doomer mentality. That's why I stay off social media. I don't engage in posts. I just live my life. Come on. We need. What happens if a big oily beast rises from Tartarus and comes and eats me? No care, just eat my paprika chicken. Yeah. I want to find joy in life, and I want to be able to experience this life for as long as I can. You know? Uh-huh. I always say it, even though, even though awful times, even the bad times, it's like, those are at least times. And I like having times. No regrets. Even Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Horrible fucking time. But you know what? I'll internalize something, maybe. I just don't ascribe... You know, I've ascribed to a Doomer mindset before. And I, I realized that it was just... It was just making my, my, making my life worse by making everything worse in my head. I do what I can in my own life. And I don't worry about the nightmare for a little bit. And I think it's okay to engage in the nightmare a little bit here and there, but I just don't, I don't wholeheartedly consume the nightmare. Yeah, this definitely makes me appreciate Modern Warfare 2 more. That is true. I don't know, I'm just talking on my ass, though. 
there is no there is no uh there's no fix for the doomer mindset unless you fix it yourself that's all on ya that's all on your mind that's all on you i'm a casual doomer yeah that's fair i mean it too like you can think any way you want like it's not my fucking prerogative to change the way that you think about how life be um i'm not gonna put that weight on me right your life is your life uh I would say that I think a Doomer mindset is unhealthy, but for me at least. What do I do about- oh, I went the wrong way. Fuck! Oh, shit. Cubicle. Oh, do I gotta keep going? Oh, yeah, we gotta help Soap sit. Is this like the 80th time that Soap has fallen down and he can't get up? Every fucking game, dude. God damn it, son of a bitch. got tricked into talking about doom shit again. Oh, me when I... Oh, God damn it, son of a bitch. Why did none of them hit? Is the Eagle just bad in MW3 or am I just bad? Don't answer that. I'll be sad. You're not giving enough... You're not giving soap enough smooches before combat? True. True. We should pick him up and hold him and, and, and rip him in half. Both? Oh, okay, fair. Soft-boiled egg, Brendan, or hard-boiled? What is a soft... That's not a real thing. Fuck off. And don't be... Don't immediately post something to contradict that. What is a soft-boiled egg? What is a soft-boiled egg? What do you mean, soft-boiled egg? Is that a thing? Fuck off. God damn it. Now I gotta Google soft-boiled egg... That's a thing? How do you make a soft... What do you mean soft? Is that is that like a regular... I don't know. Soft-boiled egg? Am I weird for not knowing that's a thing? Oh my god, Brendan. Brendan doesn't know about soft-boiled eggs. Oh no, Brendan doesn't know about a thing that is totally normal. Fuck, we gotta go play... We gotta go... I gotta go play people. <gasps> It was on Little Bear? I don't remember Little Bear. I don't I don't know these things. There are perfectly normal human things I'm not aware of. I keep telling you. I live my life happy, not because I'm uh, not because of Doomer mentality, but because I am a baby. I don't have any spatial awareness. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Uh, if if I go anything outside of a mile outside of me, I don't know what the fuck is happening. I'm a baby. I goo and I ga. Brendan doesn't know is a constant in my life, and I just accept it. I don't know shit. I don't know fuck. Double eggs are eggs that are uh, pulled out sooner than hard-boiled. Okay. I like that something. You learn something new every day. They make the soft eggs. But what about medium-boiled eggs? Oh, that's a friend. Sorry. Sorry, Pavel. Brendan doesn't know that Fiona and me do it in his van every Sunday. I don't even know what that means. Are you talking about Fiona from Shrek? What? Oh, sorry, I gotta help Soap. Is this Soap surgery again? Do I gotta set his fucking leg? What was the point of Soap makes an oopsie again? Oh, fuck, do they kill him? Oh my fucking god, I forgot they fucking killed Soap in this one. Oh my god, they killed him! What an insane fucking... What an insane fucking bit. They just killed him. They got him. This really is advanced dog shit, ain't it? 
Oh my god, this is. This is just a big piece of dog shit. What? Why did I get punched? What? So trusted you. I thought I could too. So why in bloody hell does Makarov know you? Oh my god. And patriotic. When I first met Vladimir Makarov. Yuri, wake up. Oh, because we're Yuri and Makarov knows us. Oh, great. Googly moogly, a flashback mission. Oh, great. Googly moogly, it's time to go back into the past while playing shitty game that suck ass. Oh, shit. 1996. Oh, oh that was. Remember All Gillied Up? Remember? That was the sniper shot from All Gillied Up. Remember? That was when he armed. You were in the car in All Gillied Up. They're reminding you of a better game that doesn't suck shit. But power corrupts. You're fucking kidding me. I was the guy when the sniper got shot. I was there. When the Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I was there. Remember Call of Duty Modern Warfare? I was there with him. We were there. This is the nuke. They're going to set us up the bomb. I'm going to fry my iris. Remember where the guy died? Yuri was always there. Oh shit, Clyde Barker Jericho baby? It was madness. I know what you have done, Yuri. I know what you have done. My friend, my ally, my betrayer. What happened? Betrayer! Betrayed me! Nothing can stop this. Not even you. Is that the gold deagle? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> right mouse. Oh shit. Left mouse. Oh shit. Right mouse. We gotta crawl into the elevator. Whoa! Fucking goddamn, this story sucks, dude. This sucks, dude. They did it. That's, I was at no Russian. Oh my god, this was no Russian. Oh, this is why they warned me about offensive content. I get it. Okay. Because they were just showing no Russian again. Are you fucking kidding? Is that why I got the content warning? Is because they're just fucking showing no Russian again? Fucking goddamn it. He was a soldier of Russia. Not a taker of innocent lives. But no. in his eyes. This marked me as I was wondering about the content warning and I thought was it because that child was was it because that kid got like vaporized by the truck? Nope. It was different POV of no Russian. Oh my god. You bought yourself some time. For now. All the hits. Why? Modern Warfare 2 at this point wouldn't have even been that old. It would have been 2009 to 2011. That would have been three years later. That's not that much time. You didn't even have to do all the hits. You could have just told a different story. I'm like fucking losing it. Those memories are all that's left. There was no reason to play all the hits. There was no reason for it. What happened? He killed so. This is all the callbacks for a game two entries ago. And a game like uh, fucking four entries ago. I. An old castle near Prague. He's got nothing more solid than that. Can you trust him? What choice do I have? It is actually insane that they would make it. That's my response. Is like. But we never got wind of our targets visiting the area. Bro, really thought they were cooking. They really thought they were cooking with this. 
unless you've learned to fly. Security office on the far side of the compound, and a command center north of that. Both were heavily guarded. If Makarov's there, he'll be in that control room. What's this you're sending me? Uh, over aim this. instant messenger, huh? Hardware, John. What are you plan on doing? What you told me to do. Kill them all. The reboot is way worse. What, you don't like the part of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, a modern reboot, uh, where uh, you um, you actually play Border Patrol agents, but they're from, like, the, the Mexico side of the Border Patrol, and, like, then you're walking around trailer parks and, like, de-escalating civilians by pointing your gun at them? I can turn it off, thank God. Yeah, did you not know that, uh... There's a whole segment in Modern Warfare 2, the new one, where you just play Border Patrol agents, and it's super weird. It's it's really it's really weird, dude. And I don't know if it was 100% necessary. It's like, I... It's not, like, awful. It's, like, fine. Where you're just breaking into people's homes and de-escalating them while, like, fighting. I think you're trying to get a guy who got captured by, like, cartel. It's definitely something. This way now. Marvel 3 reboot, I have nothing to say. I haven't played that campaign and I don't know if I'm gonna. We'll see. I don't know if I can get through Marvel 2's campaign because there's a truck segment that goes on forever and I always tap out then. No, I remember the truck, the driving segment, the desert driving segment in Marvel 2 new because it's it goes on for and the AC-130 mission because they both go on forever. Wasn't it also you going on the opposite side? Yeah, you're Border Patrol agents in Mexico and you cross the wall into the U.S. And you're like breaking into people's homes on the U.S. side of the border wall trying to find a guy. It's really fucking weird. I don't know, the modern CODs are way too expensive for the bit. Both for your wallet and the hardware. Well, I already own Cold War and um, I own World War II already. I own Cold War. I own MW1 and 2. Uh, I don't own MW3 new. And I don't own Ghost. I think I have almost all of them except for Infinite Warfare, Ghost, and Advanced Warfare on PC, maybe? And MW3. So, like, four. Cold War wasn't terrible. I, I remember Cold War a little bit-ish. I think it was fine. Doesn't Cold War have some really cool set pieces? Oh, yeah. Green vision. That's what the Jolly Green Giant sees every day of his fucking life. Going green mode. Go down to the year at most and maybe it'll be on Game Pass PC. Nah, I mean, I'll buy them. I'll, I'll... It'll be fine. I want to play all the CODs on stream or the COD campaigns because I feel like it's something that streamers don't... Do? I don't think streamers really like variety streamers especially I don't think really visit these games and this is something that like I really want to get into because I really I haven't seen anybody go back and kind of like play these really and A I like doing it for the bit the, for the bit and also for the memories you know and for you the chat especially if it's part of the suffering like, if I'm suffering, I think Chad should be having a great time. And I am suffering. <laughs> no, I'm fine, though! Oh, and we gotta do a Fortnite stream this week, too. Oh, I still gotta play the Yavatar. I gotta be angry. Did you play the original three Call of Duties, too? No. Uh, maybe at some point, but I, I started at 4 because I didn't want to have to deal with the older ones. Uh, a lot of PS2 or weird PC shenanigans that I just didn't want to put up with. Oh, is this a... Is this a... Is this a beep and clear? Knock on the door and knife the guy. Oh! Hit him in the face! Shoot the other guys, too! Price is going crazy! Oh shit, AA-12 shotgun holographic? Mine. We'll keep that. 
This is a tool we'll use later. What's better, this or Dog's Life PS2? Dog's Life PS2 has a dedicated fart button, so... Does Modern Warfare 3 have a dedicated fart button? No. Is it called Call of Duty, though? Yeah. Oh, night vision on. Fine. I'll turn it back on. Oh, that was a good... That was a prisoner. Oh, uh, well. A little war crime. Just 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 a little goofing. You know, just a little goofing. Nice, a flare. Cool flare. Oh, yeah, they got the flare out there. Oh, I fucked up. I only had two rounds of the clip. Oh, magazine. Sorry. Magazine clip. Magazine clip. Magazine clip. Magazine clip. Only two rounds of the magazine. Don't say clip, Brendan, or we'll get you. We'll destroy you. I'm gonna rip you asunder if you say clip. Need a new clip. Need a fresh clip. Need a new clip right now. Fresh clip. Sorry. Five whoppers. Ten whoppers. Fifteen whoppers. I don't know why I looked at I looked at the chat. Rock Stripper just said five whoppers. <laughs> I'm losing it. Five whoppers, ten whoppers. No, make that 15 whoppers. Sorry, can I get a 20 whoppers? Yeah, I'd like 25 whoppers. Can I get 30 whoppers? No, no, make it 35 whoppers. What about 40 whoppers? Wait a second, what about 45 Whoppers? Let's add a couple more. Let's add f 50 Whoppers. Let's go a little bit harder. Let's get 55 burgers, 55 fries, 55 tacos, 55 pies. Let's get them all. Let's pay it forward. Let's pray it forward. Oh, God, now I'm thinking about fucking... There's got to be a church thing that's, that's like, pray it forward. And, uh, 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 oh, I need to be pizza. Oh! Sorry, I'm destabilizing. I'm destabilizing. They're pulling the plug. I'm destabilizing. What is he doing? Oh, he's doing something crazy. Man-made customer behavior beyond your comprehension. <laughs> That's how retail works. Gotcha. 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 Oh, let's go through here. Night vision on. Can't see shit. Turn your night vision on. Still can't see shit. Oh, this is just like Resident Evil 7. I'm in the walls, babe. Better be careful. Captain Price might be in your walls right now. He did an entire bit rotation in like a minute. I'm scared he's getting too strong. <laughs> Oh, they got the president on the TV. They got that guy up there. Would you believe I've literally never heard the must be free joke before you? Uh, dude, how? If you've ever worked retail, how have you never heard the must be free joke? That's insanity. Oh, sorry, sir. This item isn't scanning. Must be free. It's gotta be free! Must be free! Now I'm speaking like an orc prisoner in an elven prison. I don't know what must be free! Ah, Gungo must be free! I'm 
Ooh, bomb? Oh, yeah. Can I do anything else for you, sir? Uh, do you have the winning numbers of the lottery? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 a million dollars. Oh, they got beef in here. Oh, they got beef and oranges. You can make orange beefer. Beefy oranges. Need more fucking meat in orbular form. Need more meat katamaris out there. Take a thousand horses. Put them all into a ball. Live chicken. Oh, shit. This shit is a <laughs> foul. Got him. That shit was Makarov. That shit crazy. Gungo isn't scanning. Gungo must be free. Root beer. Root. Root beer. Sorry. Fucking uh, root brew. Root brew. Who the fuck called root brew? I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm finding it. I'm finding it. I'm finding it. I'm finding it. I'm losing it again. I'm finding it. I'm finding it. I'm losing it. I'm finding it. I'm realizing. I'm actualizing. I'm actually. I'm actualizing. Or I'm, 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 I'm discovering it. I'm using my detective vision. And I'm finding it. I blew myself up because I'm silly. I lost it again. Hug, hand over. Hand me that diabolical brew. Give me that crusty wizard shit. Give me that fucking slime. Hand over that evil brew. Give me that nasty shit. Bro, Price thinks he's him. Doesn't even know that that me, actually. Hand it over, your dark warlock brew. Bring me that cauldron and I'll drink the whole fucking thing. Listen here, you dumb motherfuckers. If you put a cauldron in front of me with some kind of fucking nefarious liquid inside of it, I'm gonna fucking drink it. I don't give a shit. I don't fucking care if it's poison. I don't fucking care if it's green and burbling and there's a skull inside of it. Or if the smoke pours over it and forms a skull. I don't give a shit. I'll fucking drink it. If it's red and screaming and it sounds like a human being, I'll fucking drink it. I don't fucking care. Hand over that nasty shit now. Hand over that fucking disgusting vile shit right now. Hand over the purple poison. Give me the debuffs. I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care. What do you think I'm gonna fucking fall to a debuff? I don't fucking care. I'll hit a witch with a steel folding chair. I don't fucking care. I'll bring that witch into the squared circle, the fucking four-sided ring. I don't fucking care. Bring me normal liquid. Bring me a burbling normal liquid and I'll drink that shit too. Hand it over. I don't give a shit. You give me slime, sludge, slop, anything. You put that shit in a trough and I'll fucking drink it. Malicious liquid? Malicious intent liquid? I don't fucking care. I'll drink that shit. Vile acidic toxic slime? Me. Can't be poisoned if you already are. Truer words never done did be spoken. Can't be poisoned if you already are. You can't toxic me if I already am. You can't become me if I'm already him. Run away, coward. Oh no, that's Price. Never mind. Don't run away. Boom. Nice. Excellent job. Great one, soldier. Oh, is this Gunga? Oh, is that an AK with a shotgun? I'm fine. I have this. I only have a little bit of ammo for it, but it's fine. Ready, would you drink a white Gilgamesh? Fuck yeah, dude. Hand that shit over. You give me slop, you give me slime, you give me sludge. I don't give a shit. You give me weird liquids and I will drink that shit. Cursed liquids, foul liquids, uh, liquid from the dark depths of the ocean. I don't care. I'll drink that shit. Hand it over. I don't care if it's steaming. I don't care if it's sour. I don't care if it's full of poison. I don't care if it's cyanide pilled. I don't care if you find it at the back of the fridge. Or did you eat the devil fruit? Any devil fruit? Fuck yeah. You're telling me magic powers? I live in Iowa. Where the fuck am I going to need to swim? I was like, oh, hell yeah, dude. I'm, I'm not going to take the devil fruit. I fucking enjoy swimming. I don't give a shit. 
What am I gonna fall asleep in the shower and drown in the bathtub? I guess. I guess I'll just be stinky. Guess I'll just be slimy and stinky. I'll, I'll eat any devil fruit. I don't fucking care. Magic powers? It's like, Brandon, would you like magic powers? Uh, yeah, what's the risk? Well, you can't swim. Uh, magic powers is all I heard. You haven't considered the biblical fl floods, Brendan. I have, but, like, at that point, who even gives a shit? Even if I could swim during the biblical floods, like, I, why would I care? Uh, they ain't got internet anymore. I just stabbed Price for no reason. I went too hard. I'm drinking that shit that makes you ascend to a higher planar form. I don't fucking care. I'll live through it. I'll figure it out. It's all about being fucking strong and powerful. Like, who fucking cares, dude? Biblical Flood's coming. It's like, whatever, dude. No internet? I can't even fucking post on Twitter.com? Who cares, dude? What are they gonna do? Fucking stop me? I gotta move this car. Climb on. I'm doing it. I'm climbing on. Drive the car. Things that make you go vroom. Hey. If you could choose one Devil Fruit power from any in the series, what would you pick? Oh, interesting. Curios. Thinking about it. Curios. Interesting. Thinking about it. Ah, I have a parachute. Probably the human human fruit, because how fucked up would that be? If I was gonna eat any devil fruit, it'd be the human human fruit, because I wanna see what the fuck happens. Make me human, make me normal. Do it, I fucking dare you. From my bones to my blood, dude, to my hand to my bed, make me fucking normal. I dare you. I dare you to normalize me. Make me more human, double the human. Too human. That's a video game on the Xbox 360. I'll be too human. It'll be me. It'll be a court case about me. It'll be insane. Double the guy. Two guys. Special forces. Do you speak English? Yes. My security is dead. Would actually answer this. You reach enlightenment. Boom. Free enlightenment then. I could just become another man. I don't know. I could be the handsome man finally. Sign on the roof says Ristorf. Please hurry. Okay. Put the phone down and don't move. We'll come to you. Athena is still with us. Weapons tight, and don't throw any shots. To make you human, this fruit shrinks you by 10% and lowers your voice one octave. That's it. I'm completely fine with that. I don't need to be fucking six foot five. You know how much being tall sucks? Oh no, Brendan, you're a more normal height. Oh boy, can I buy clothes online? That's amazing. <laughs> That's just, hey, Brendan, you, you're shorter. That's, I'm completely fine with that. Buy clothes online, real? Twenty minutes earlier, did they SpongeBob me? They should have had the French narrator on this. Twenty minutes earlier. Get fucked, you actually get taller? No. Way. I don't want to be taller, and I don't need to be taller. I'm, I'm, I'm happy-ish with my height. I would like a little bit, a little bit, just take a little bit off the top. Take a little bit off this bop, you know? Just take a little off, the, just a little off the top, like a haircut. Cut my feet off, you know? Oh shit, oops. I got stuck on a wire. R E R E R E R E R E R E R E R E R E R E R E R E R E R E R E R E R E R E R E R E R Okay, fucking shoot the guy, kill the guy, shoot the guy, kill the guy, I know. Shoot the guy, kill the guy, fucking shoot the guy, kill the guy. And then die. Son of a bitch, you'll become seven feet but have the arms and legs of a four foot man. Oh, please don't. I'm gonna just walk on all fours then, I'm gonna freak people out. Just 
trying to go too fast in this. I need to slow down. I know, get to the roof. Where'd that guy go? Fuck off, dude. Wake up, 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 wake up. Fuck. Wake up. Son of a bitch, son of a bitch, fuck of a man. Alright, uh, what's, ooh, what's on the whiteboard? Fuck off, I'm trying to read shit in the office. I see. Product. Oh, leave me alone, dude. Oh, no, that's my son! Every time. Brendan's gonna become the embodiment of my fucking arms and just like, stuck like that song. I already am. I keep fucking telling you, Chad. I keep... I already am the embodiment of that guy. My arms are fucking stuck like this. They don't fucking... They don't straighten. They're stuck at this angle. They're just like this. I have shortened tendons in my elbow. It sucks. My arms are already fucking stuck like this, dude. Everything is already a nightmare. I'm built wrong. You know how people say that I'm built different? I'm built wrong. They built me wrong in the boy factory. I talk about this all the time. They built me wrong in the boy factory. They said, look at this dude. Let's build him funny style. Let's build him all kinds of fucked up. And I just I just deal with that. I just have to put up with this shit. They're building me funny style. I'm all kinds of goofed up on wacky slime. Like I can't I can't do nothing about it. It do be as just to be that way. It, it do be as be like that. I'm i I'm a fucking Lego man. I keep talking about this. They built me like a Lego man. They saw Lego and they were like, let's build a guy like that. Brendan's gonna wake up one day and only be able to do YouTuber thumbnail faces and poses. <laughs> we're already there. Listen, man, look at me. I already look like somebody would talk for three hours about Super Mario RPG. I don't need it to get worse. All right. There are people out there who just will immediately assume that I'm going to start talking about fucking Earthbound for three hours. Like, I already look like a guy who's going to fucking be like, dude, have you heard about Super Mario Wonder? Like, I fucking, I'm already, I'm cursed with this fucking face, all right? This is my fucking face, and I'm handsome as all hell, but Brentendo is literally me. There is no, my face did get stuck like that. I am that way. Brent, Brendan, Brentendo is like the fuck. I, I'm fighting against my destiny every day of the fucking week. All right. Inside of me is a guy who wants to talk to a GameStop employee about Super Nintendo for three hours and not leave his store. Inside of me is a guy who would own a Sega Genesis or a Mega Drive. All right. I understand this. All right. I get this. I fathom this. All right. I something about. The white guy with brown hair and glasses is immediately Nintendo core, and I'm fucking stuck with it. I'm fighting against the grain. I am a soy jack trying to destroy the soy jacks, right? I am I am trying my best to, to not wojack, but every day I wake up and I look in the mirror and I fucking go, that guy right there. And I, I, like, this is my curse already. The amount of times I've, I've like, the, the amount of imagined scenarios in my head of people finding my content and seeing my face and they're like, I'm not going to watch this. This guy's probably fucking, this guy, this guy I want to fucking kick him in the head. And it's like, no, don't kick me in the head. But what if I say poop? Come on. I'm lucky as hell that I can grow a beard because I swear to God, the second I fucking shave my face, I look like a 20-year-old fresh out of the N Nintendo cloning facilities. Swear to God! Every day of my fucking life, I'm fighting out here. I'm fighting the Nintendo YouTuber.
I gotta fight my fucking inner demons. My inner demons really want me to fucking own a Sega Genesis. I hate to say it, but I avoided your videos for months because you looked like a right-wing YouTuber. It's the brown hair with glasses. You either are a right-wing YouTuber or a, a Nintendo guy. And I'm I'm default creator character five, but you you put the the height slider all the way to the top. I'm aware of this. I understand this. Like I am aware of my station in life or the station in life that the people try to pigeon pigeonhole me in, and I'm like I'm fighting fucking against that every day of my fucking life. I live off spite, malevolence, and pure fucking adrenaline. I run on pure fucking instinct, and there is nothing, nothing. That I will not destroy in my path. Up the stairs. Secure this area fast. I am a villain, I am a demon, I am a fucking nightmare, but in my own fucking way, on my own fucking terms. I don't know right wing YouTubers that usually lift weights. I mean, I do weight lift. I am, I'm, I've been going to the gym for two weeks now. I'm working on it, but I'm not going to fucking talk about right wing ideology. I'm not going to be like fucking like, oh, dude, what if. <laughs> Oh, motherfucker, I am me, and I am me, and as unfortunate as it is to be me sometimes, I am me. I'm the kind of fucking guy that you gotta spend at least two fucking weeks to talk your friends into watching my content. There are preconceived notions about my ass all day, every day, and I will always be fucking fighting against that shit. And I ain't give a fuck. You can think about me whatever you want to fucking think about me. That's fine. I'm me. I'm him. I will continue to be me. I'll be silly. I'll be wacky. I'll be goofy until they put me into the fucking ground or put me into the fucking urn. I don't give a shit, bitch. I don't give a fucking shit, bitch. Every day, motherfuckers are going to be like, for Daniel guy, this guy. I don't fucking care. I'm me, babe. And I think I think I like me. From where? Rody? Oh, the guy's over there. I get it. I gotta snipe the guys. Kill the man, even. Personally, worst thing I ever did in my career is show my face. But I ain't even care, babe. Manby? Rody? Oh, those are the two guys. Are we firing? Are we shooting? Uh, mark the first target, eh? What is that, four? That guy. Th those guys. But if you didn't ever show your face, we wouldn't have Mr. Handsome. Nah, it's fine. I think I'm handsome. Brennan Curse to present as a being with flesh rather than a PNG. I am, unfortunately. It's because I like showing my face. I, I, even if I fucking, even if I like, uh... Even if there are, like, preconceived notions about uh, me because of the way I look, or if there's, like, fucking, uh, weirdos online. I don't- I don't care. I like showing my face. I think it's fine. I'm fine with it. That just means I have to work double hard. Triple hard. Quadruple hard. I gotta make sure that they don't think of me as a Nintendo YouTuber, but they think of me as a fucking freak. Destroy? Granite? I uh, see, you gotta not take me for granite. Oh no, his name is Robot. Thumper? Robot? Rody? God, I love these names. It's the one thing about this game that I actually like is the, the call signs. Granite is a threat, but at least he's not like disgusting because let me say I've heard some nasty ass Twitch streamers. I don't know how people live that way. I'm a little messy, but like, I, I don't know how some people live the way they fucking do. But also, you gotta, I grew up with hoarders, and like, I cannot understand the, it's, it's a mentality. And it's a mental health thing, I think, and I'm just like, uh, uh. Affirmative Sandman, link up with the German tank column south of your position and proceed to the target building, over. We love you because you're a freak. I love being some a freak. I like being a freak.
That was weird. Oh, was it my fucking con my controller is plugged in and it vibrated and I heard like a vibration sound from far away and I was like, what the fuck? And who pisses in bottles? Oh, dude, I, I grew up with hoarders, and my uncle also would piss in Mountain Dew bottles. And let me tell you, like, love my family, but... Yeah, <laughs> some people out there are wild. Copy that, Zero Two. We'll send in a Starbird for evac. America team, we have Russian armor firing on the bridge. We need you to take out that tank. Oh, do I have the fungus? Oh, I don't have the fungus anymore. Shoot the guy. I will get the RPG and take out the tank. See? Let's go, move out. Oh, I've seen and heard all kinds of stories. I just can never believe it. Oh, the piss bottle thing? I, listen, I've pissed in bottles before, but like as a... Uh, it's happened twice in my life because there was one bathroom and it was taken, and then I, I threw the bottle away immediately after. I've pissed in bottles before, but it's like, a, I need to piss. Somebody is in the bathroom. There is one bathroom. They are in the bathroom for, you know, 40 minutes probably, so. Emergency piss bottle. Not as a collect- You don't treat the piss bottles like Banjo-Kazooie. It's not a collect-a-thon. It's not a- You're not fucking- You're not- You're not collecting puzzle pieces. Or piss bottles like they're puzzle pieces. Good on you for being strong enough to admit it. Listen, if you haven't pissed in a bottle before because of an emergency, uh, that's fine. But I, I think it's not as rare as people assume, especially for an emergency. Shit, Let's fuck, go, bitch, go. ass, damn. Collect my seven piss bottles, streamer, and you'll get a little surprise. I'll let you take a golden shower. Oh, no. Copy that, Zero Two. We'll send in a starboard for evac. American team, we have Russian armor firing on the bridge. We need you to take out that tank. I go in the bushes, man. I mean, I've lived in an apartment like five stories up, and it's like I'm not fucking walking all the way down to try to like find a place that is not crowded so I can piss, and I'm not like gonna try to go and find a bathroom or like walk a mile to the gas station. I'm pissing in a bottle, and I'll take care of it later. But I should start an ARG f for where you hid your piss bottles. Piss bottle ARG, real. We're gonna do geocaches, and it's all piss bottles. Collect the seven piss bottles and you'll get a little surprise. It's a piss bottle Funko Pop. Finally, a piss bottle U2s. Oh, oh, My grandpa used to pee off the front stoop because he wasn't willing to walk all the way to the bathroom. My grandpa had a toilet in the living room. That's a... There's <laughs> a medical toilet. Just right there in the living room. Just right there. Grandma had to take it. It was a big bucket. She had to take the big bucket and dump it out every day into the bathroom. Just right in the living room. Just a, just a toilet. Right now, I fear your chat has become piss chat. Yeah, yeah. That's a genuine fear. Genuine piss moment. I mean, talking about piss is more interesting by far than Modern Warfare 3. I, I can't pivot away from piss. I can't peeve it. There is just piss. There is only piss. Please save me, my beautiful son truck. Son of a bitch. Ugh. Right, have you ever pissed in the sink before? Yeah. 100%. Not as an adult, but as a kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My grandparents didn't have running water for a whole month. We just pissed in the sink. Nana just forgot to pay the water bill one month, and I was just there over the summer.
Brendan needs to try peeing in the sink as an adult. I'm not peeing in the sink as an adult. I'm not sink peeing. I'm sorry. Grab this automatic gun and then up. Oh, nope, dead. Brendan, come on. Dude, you could piss in the sink anytime you want. I'm like, I don't want to piss. I don't want to piss in the sink. I don't want. I don't want to piss in the sink. I don't want to. What if there's a little creature like the goosebump story? There's a creature under my sink. What if he's collecting the piss for dubious purposes? What if he's holding onto the piss? He's making piss water balloons, and in the middle of the night, he's gonna hit me with all of them. And I'm gonna have to deal with that. What? If, yeah. What if I have a kitchen imp? He's collecting the piss. He's taking it out of the drain. He's storing the piss. He's calling in a truck. He's hauling the piss away. You know, we just don't know. We don't know where the piss goes. We have no idea, chat. We have no idea where the piss goes. People say there's a sewer system. People say that there's like water treatment plants. Realistically, are you with me, chat? We have no idea where the piss goes. And I think it's about time we figure it out. 2024, vote for whoever tells us where the piss goes, right? I Local elections, presidential elections, they have to tell us. Where does the pee go when you flush the toilet? We don't know. There's something they're not telling us. We don't know where the piss goes. We will all rise up and become piss truthers. We will find the piss truth out. We'll figure it out. It goes into your water, Brendan. No, 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 it doesn't. It's just gone. Where does it go? After I stop seeing it in the toilet, where does it go? Where does the piss go? We don't know. We'll never know. We'll uncover the piss truth. We have to, car. Brendan, the piss goes into the water treatment. Really? Then what do they treat the water with to make it not pee? Where does the piss go? Where does it go? They teleported to the moon for testing purposes. Piss on the moon? It's more likely than you think. They have all those craters on the moon. They gotta fill them up with something, right? All those craters on the moon, what are they filling them with? Piss. Fill in the craters on the moon with piss. That's gotta be what's happening. Writing up the document right now and the manifesto. Hello, truck. That's not cheese on the moon. That's piss. Water on Mars? No. They ran out of space on the moon. Now they're putting piss on Mars. When your moon hits it, when the, when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie? No, no, no. When the moon hits your eye like a big piss of pie? That's piss, babe. Your personal. Oh, okay. I can't go in there. It says it's personal. I see it. There's the hotel. Space is just full of piss, dude. It's all in there. All the pee particles. What do you think? Astronauts are up there. They're pissing. They're just dumping it out in space. They're just throwing it out there. You go up into space, bunch of shards of crystallized piss just hit you crazy style. They rip you to shreds. We're gonna have a fucking level 5 pisteroid hitting us in five years. Ah shit, fuck, damn it, damn it, fuck. All right, that's it. I'm just running in. All this slow plodding fighting, and it's like, no, nah, I have a gun. I'm, a, I'm, I'm dead. They shot me with their gun. George Orwell. Jorwell. Fine. I'm going to be baby. I'm going to play baby. Oh, I got a bogey. Bogey down. How are the? Who is shooting at me? How do you? How can you shoot? How can the man even shoot? 
Where does the man shoot? Why does the man shoot? How can the man shoot? Jort Orwell? Jortwell? Where do you think denim comes from? The Jortswells. They got denim mines all over this country. You think denim comes from a plant? You think jeans are made of plant? No. You think jeans are a renewable resource? No. They should have cars that are fueled by jeans. That'd be cool, I think, actually. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm not going to lie. My brain is literally sludge right now. I'm thinking about jean cars. Jean cargo. You know I'm losing it because I'm talking about jean cars. Cars that run on jeans. Poison that only affects jeans. Call that shit denim venom. Strategic gene reserves. Yeah, the Levi Caves. You know, we have the Cheese Caves. We also have the Levi Caves. Old Navy? Nah, regular Navy. We use it to acquire more denim. Jordan, my Orwells. <laughs> Who? Who is this person? What? Are we supposed to know who this is? I'm sorry. I, I, like, I was trying to pay attention, but who is Athena? Been zoned out for a while and I forgot I had the stream open. It has been a trip. I keep hearing insanity. Yeah. We're breaching again. Oh, but we got breached because it was a trick because I don't know who that woman is. Of course it was a trick. How was I supposed to remember who that woman is? Who is that lady? Who? What am I, Leon Kennedy? Is that the president's daughter or something? I don't... Oh, that is the Russian president's daughter. I am Leon Kennedy. God damn it. Price, we lost the girl. Looks like the helo took her to a diamond mine in Siberia. We're gonna have one shot to grab the president before he gives up the launcher codes. A Makarov turns Europe into glass. Once we get boots on the ground, it's gonna get a lively down there. In my jaw wells, straight up georging it. And by it, let's just say my penis. <laughs> to secure the hostages. Okay, weapons tight, guys. No one likes a dead hostage. 1984 ain't just a year hostile. and a book by Jorts Orwell. It's also the size of my peanuts. She double my plus until it good. She room my 101 until it rats. Jar Jar Binks brother, George Orwell. <laughs> Stop. 1984, that's the amount of times I jork my peanuts every day. I George my Orwell every day. Crying, shitting, farting, all of the above. Good bits tonight? I disagree wholeheartedly, but you know, if you like them, you like them. If you... Sure. She chaucer my Canterbury until I tail. She butcher my baker until it candlestick maker. She tinker my tailor until my soldier spies. She league my sea until it 20,000. Losing it, losing it. <sighs> kill. Kill. Pressing the kill button. Yeah, I still think MW2 fun. This is the one where it's just, it's, 
Play the hits, babe. Burger Town is so... I love Ramirez. Get to that Burger Town. Remember that? That was so cool. Well, Black Ops 2 is... After this, we just have to get through this. We're close. This is the second to last mission, I think, so... Oh, that's truck. No. Hard hat. I sure hope it is. Cause I, cause I shot it. God, it also just feels like the AI in three. I mean, AI, you know. Oh, not Dwight the Eisenhower. That the guy from the office. I, okay. Oh, yeah. I haven't talked about this yet. I forgot that I wanted to talk about the, I've been watching the office for the first time because like I never watched it, which is surprising because I'm 30 and like it feels like you're supposed to watch the office or whatever by the time you're 30 at least. So I'm watching through The Office, and it's made me realize, um, one, The Office is kind of funny later. I can get it. I can get it. It's a little cringe and absurd. I can kind of get how funny it is, you know? I think it's a little overrated still, but definitely still kind of funny. Um, the other thing is realizing, in my seven years of retail, realizing how much it influenced the people that I worked with who were, like, normal, and not having that realization beforehand. And also thinking back to moments where The Office was, like, referenced in conversation and me just not understanding it and now kind of understanding it and being like, yeah, okay. And I'm like, how... I, I Literally, it's like actually almost a psychology thing is realizing past behaviors that feel like they were influenced by this cringe show. Like, it's insane to think about how huge, it, like, actually how huge a cultural touchstone it is to the point where it influences people's behaviors. I'm like, wow. Watching it makes me definitely realize that people were, like, too many people that I knew at, like, uh, work in GameStop and Best Buy really wanted to be Jim. There were a lot of people that I worked with where it's like, wow, I understand now. You really wanted to be Jim, but in actuality, you were Dwight. It's crazy. I get it now. I'm like, Danny DeVito went always sunny. I'm clapping and I'm like, I get it now. Jim's a dickhead in hindsight. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I, I, I think of it as like... Uh, uh, there are awful qualities to all of them, and Jim also is like... I'm just, it's, why, what's up with the Pam and Jim thing, dude? Like, what, why is it this annoying? Oh my god, grenade spam. Really hit me with it now, huh? My roommate said I was fucking Kevin. I understand that now, and that's fucking awful. Who am I, chat? What office character am I, huh? Oh, Chippy, is it? Oh, we gotta do a BuzzFeed quiz, chat. What office guy am I? I wanna be Creed. He's all kinds of fucked up. There's just a whole episode of The Office where, like, and, like, also, also realizing The Office is a bit older and watching it and then being like, why is there a whole episode where Andy finds out his girlfriend is a high schooler? What an insane- well, I was like, I was flabbergasted. I was like, what? And now I can't think of, like, Andy in any other way except for- Oh, they, yeah, that's, uh, Ed Helms' character, the pedophile.
before before watching The Office, the only thing I knew about Ed Helms was there's an Auntie Donna bit where Ed Helms is there, and he's like, wait, you guys think my name is Ed Helms? No, my name is Egg. I'm Egg Helms. And then he's like furiously calling his publicist, freaking out. He's like, no, this entire time my name is Egg. What do you mean you've been writing my name and everything is Ed Helms? My name is Egg Helms. Egg. E-G-G. And I'm like, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen Ed Helms in. I <laughs> Egg. Egg Helms. Like, they try to show he's upset because he didn't know her age, but it just doesn't work. It's so awkward. It's like the advanced awkward. It's like, oh, that's weird. Thank you, Armored Anathema, for the tier one sub. 38 months. That's almost a year. And I'm now three episodes into the Fallout show, but I'm not finished with it yet, so we'll get there. Oh, fuck. Bomb. Let's get these guys. Hell yeah, we got the bomb. Oh, we gotta hit the helicopter, don't we? Oh no, we just hit the guy. Oh, that's Angel One. That's our friend. Oh, that's Grinch. That's our friend. Hit him with the noob tube. Is there anything more satisfying than hitting somebody with a noob tube, but like it doesn't explode, it just makes the whomp sound? And you're like playing a multiplayer game. You're playing like a multiplayer lobby and you get like three kills with the, uh, the noob tube, but they don't like explode. It's just the impact damage. And then one of them is a headshot. You're like, oh, fuck yeah. And everybody in the Xbox live chat loses it. It's like a knife kill. It's like a knife kill. Uh, you just throw the knife up into the air and you get a kill. It's just like that. Oh, God. I don't think they hit anybody. I gotta follow the guy. Got him. Baba boom. Baba boomy. One of the best calling card icons in MW2 was for doing that. My favorite thing in MW2 was the AT4 could get headshots and it would just be an impact kill. It was the rocket launcher. Love doing that. Something about just hitting people with a rocket launcher but not imploding it or exploding it is just like, there we go. I hit this. Hell yes. God, they're really loading me up on these, aren't they? Fucking power play. Oh, you said it's online. What do you mean it's not online anymore? Oh, you took it away from me! Bitch. Oh, bitch. Fuck off. Solid copy, Sandman. Oh, we just had to wait. They would have blown it up. Brendan, if you were a de snail, sorry, if you were a snail from One Piece, you mean a Denden -den Mushi? If I was a Denden -den Mushi, what would be your unique feature that everybody knows it's your snail? Oh, if I had a snail, or I was a snail, or had a Denden -den Mushi? Um, probably the glasses. Either green or the John Lemon glasses. One of the two. I don't really have any defining characteristics. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm kind of oatmeal the person, so... Maybe if I was using Mr. Handsome, it'd be like an analog horror then then Mushi, it'd have a bunch of static over it. Or if I had the skeleton persona, it'd be like a it'd be like a bone then then mushi. Would have snail skull paint. But otherwise, nah, I think if I had a den then mushi, it'd just be it. It'd, it'd just be it'd, <laughs> it'd have a it'd have a full head of hair. It's pizza, yeah, it has a big slice of pizza on it. Ugh. Remember when crossbows were the biggest thing in games? Dude, crossbows and then also regular bows. Crisis 3 was like, dude, you have the bow. It's awesome. Dude, Tomb Raider 2013. Oh, 
Oh god, breach and clear, babe. Breach and clear. Baba booby. Oh, it, it's Elena. I thought her name was Athena for some reason. Brendan's One Piece laugh is him doing the whale noise. Was it? I think crossbows were awesome when they had, um, like, yeah, when they, they like, Half-Life crossbow. Might be my favorite crossbow in a video game is the Half-Life crossbow. Because it makes the thump sound. It thumps like a son of a bitch. There's that Cotton Eye Joe video that I'm always thinking about, where somebody has the Half-Life crossbow and it's thumping in tune with Cotton Eye Joe. That's the pufferfish noise eating a carrot? No, that's big pizza. Uh, I need a big pizza. Oh, I'm so fucking hungry. Oh, yes. Yeah, that happened to the whale. That's just a quote from the movie The Whale with Brendan Fraser. He literally says, oh, I need a big pizza. And then he eats a big pizza. It's crazy. They just do that in the movie. And then the pizza guy walks in and freaks out because the pizza guy's like, holy shit, a fat person. I can't fucking... What the fuck, dude? And then hands him another pizza. It's fucking insane. I can't believe they did that. Oh, I need it. They should have had Brendan Fraser's The Whale fight Kiryu on top of the Millennium Tower, I think. That would be cool. Nope. Oh, uh, just falls on him, fight over. No, 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 no. I want a full fight. QTEs and everything. Heat actions. Thank you, Big Brawler 40, for the Prime sub. Happy four months, my big pizza streamer. Thank you. Why a Robert E. Lee quote? Why a Robert E. Lee? Why a Robert E. Lee quote? Call of Duty quotes. Call of Duty quotes are something, huh? I think there was an Ollie North quote in one of the Call of Duties, and I was like, what? Dude, remember when uh, in Batman, there was a Batman cartoon, it was Batman the Brave and the Bold, and they had an opener, one of the, uh, the like, short opener cartoon before it goes into the main cartoon, was Batman, but he was fighting a grandma and the guy he was fighting the grandma with was the ghost tank character from DC, which is a Confederate soldier inside of an Abrams tank, but he's a ghost, and he, I think that, I can't remember, the tank might also be a ghost, or he just, I think he just possesses the tank. Yeah, I can't remember his name, but it's a Confederate soldier who possesses an Abrams tank. And that was just in the Brave and the Bold, which isn't an older cartoon. It's it's still kind of modern. And they were both fighting a grandma. Grandma Goody? Gra There's a character in Apocalypse who is a grandma, and I think about her all the time because she's just like a nana, but she's fucked up and evil. Granny goodness, yeah, it's fucked up, but they need to bring that grandma back. They should have had that grandma in the Justice League more. I don't know if she was in there, but they should have had her in there. This is awesome. Dude, this is epic. This is gaming. This right here is peak. I can't see shit. Yeah, this is why we're not playing these on veteran. 
Ain't no way I got fucking 10 hours to play this shit. Hardened is hard enough. Rescue the president. Keep fucking pushing. Oh shit. Any goodness was in the Snyder Cut Justice League, but it's expected all cool and fun parts of her character were ripped out. Uh. President secure. Hang in there. I got you. Price, you gotta go. Make sure the president gets out. Don't even think about it, Mike. We're in this together. Grab your gun. Or Brazy. Truck, cover the right side. I love tinnitus so much, me. dude. I love tinnitus. E Oh, they fucking lowered the tone. They're eating at me. They're gonna eat at you. And then they're gonna eat at me. Oh my god. Slow mo. My boys. Fire the gun. Kill the guy. Oh shit. Not a year, hit that guy away. I've got it. I'm shooting. No, not my friend. Okay, I'm fine. Thank you, Mr. President. Oh, we're leaving truck. No, we left truck. Okay, truck. We have to leave truck behind. 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 to formally announce an end to the hostilities. On this historic day, the representatives of two great nations stand before you united. There's a simplicity to war. Attacking is the only secret. Dare, and the world yields. A chapter in which we pursue peace. How quickly they forget that all it takes to change the course of history is the will of a single man. One guy. Who's this? Prisoner 627. I'm coming for you, Makarov. Haven't you heard, Price? They say the war is over. My war ends with you. Like it ended for Captain McTavish? Tell me, Price, how long did it take him to die? Not soap! I've destroyed your world piece by piece. It's only a matter of time. Makarov, you son of a gun! I'm gonna destroy you for killing that guy that I liked. I'm gonna freaking get you, Buster. I'm gonna rip you asunder. I'm gonna build a log cabin and put you in the log cabin and then light it on fire. This is the only truly good mission in the game? Oh, God. Oh, because you're playing as Captain Price. And you're in the big boy suit! Oh, thank God they put me in the big boy suit. Thank you for putting me in the big boy suit. I'm the juggernaut! Bitch! This is for soap. Baby, baby. Baby, baby. Big building. Oh, hell yeah. Going in. Crazy style. Slowly but surely. What are you gonna hit me with a car? What if you had in unlimited cars, but no cars? Where, 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 where? Freaking get them! Kill and get them, dude. Oh, 
Yeah, wide boy. Wide boy era. Wide boy moments. Big guy moments. Big guy real. Well, they got one good mission. Oh, those are normal people. And remember, Russian. We are finally big and round. They did it. Call of Duty big and round. Oh, shit. We're at the casino. I want to go up the eels, though. Oh, never mind. They still killed me. Escalator, escalator, escalator. Eel. Can you shoot the guy? Are you gonna just walk past him, Yuri? Yuri, thank you. I... Why? Why did he, like, walk... I... What a great game. What a cool game. 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 Fish IQ AI, yeah. Instead of fish AI, they should have been working on guy AI. Well, that was Ghost, though. We don't know what the level of fish technology in this game is. No idea what the fish tech in this one is. We don't even know if there is fish tech. We have no clue. We have no idea. There, I killed that thing. Yeah, you take a couple of shots at the floor, Yuri. Awesome, Yuri. What? Uh oh. Well, there goes Yuri. Yuri burns. Oh, he's fine. He just had to take his hat off. Ah, oh, they took the fun away. Now I gotta actually play the game. All right. There's your power segment. Nikolai, we need another lift. Copy, on its way. Jump! Oh, up. Oh. I. Why did? <laughs> Thank you, Jorwell. <laughs> I, what? He said jump. I jumped. Tied the leader. Gained the lead. Bull true. Killing spree. Killing frenzy. I had to initiate the cutscene part where he like saves me, right? No, we just get up. Okay. Hide the leader. Gain the lead. All right, four minutes. I know, noob tube. I know. They set up the bomb. I destroyed the bomb. Oh. He threw it. He threw a grenade, and then he, and then I jumped into the grenade. He threw it. He threw a grenade, and I jumped directly into the grenade. I. I'm listening now. Ow. Oop. 
Oh, not another Robert E. Lee. They're just throwing the Robert E. Lee quotes at me, one after another. Oh, my God. All right, one sec. I'm going to be right back. I just have to pee. Give me, like, one minute. Okay, I'm back. We're gonna get through this chat. You and me and five thousand baby roots. Okay, 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 okay. People, normal people. Damn it, son of a bitch. Fuck him, man. Uh. Oh, yeah, sorry. I had to run to the bathroom. Okay, where's it? But the got the but when you shoot the guy, and then you kill the guy, and then when you shoot the guy, you can kill the guy. When you shoot the guy, you can kill the guy. And then you die. I gotta just take it slow. I gotta just take it slow. I got nowhere to go. I just gotta take it slow. Don't go crazy. Don't go fast. Stick to cover when you can. We can't let him escape. Reloading. Oh God. We gotta kill, we gotta, we gotta get Spongebob back, we gotta kill Makarov. Okay, Damn it, son of a bitch, fuck him, man. Hi, Beals, what do you want? What are you doing? Hi, cutie. Hi. What's up? What's up, baby? Beals just woke up. Beals, help me kill Makarov. Oh, are you being a lap kitty? Okay. Yeah, hi. Hi, baby. Hi. Look at her. Look at the baby. Yeah, baby cute. Good girl. What, what cute girl. She being goofy. Okay, I need, I need, I need to kill the guy though. Feels I need to kill the guy. You gotta let me kill the guy. Thank you. All right, energy. Gamer, I'm gaming. I'm not gaming anymore. God damn, son of a bitch. I'm probably going way too fast in this segment. I'm not gonna lie. I need to just slow down a little bit. Son of a bitch. Ah, oh, I'm dying a lot during this one. My brain is just, oh, it's sludge. The, 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 the Juggernaut mission was really cool, and now it's just back to this shit. Give me the P90. Thank you. Oh, God. It 
keeps happening. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. And my boy is completely fucking worthless here. Okay, okay. We were pushing forward. Damn it, son of a bitch! Well, if they make the game fun too long, you might enjoy yourself. Oh, true. <sighs> Fucking flashbang. No, fuck off. Damn it, I don't even know where the fucking... Okay. Okay, Brendan. Okay, Brendan. Okay, Brendan. Okay, Brendan. You're fine. You're normal. Uh, yep, Yuri is worthless. I know. Yuri is fucking completely useless. How the fuck are your AI companions so fucking bad in this one? How are they so fucking bad? Oh my god, dude. How did you survive? Two. Just take it slow, Buster. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. And not like the good bad either, like the bad bad. I know, I need to go get a meal. Oh, okay, bomb. Yuri, you're so fucking worthless, God. Makarov. There's a helicopter. There he is. Kill. Watch out for that chopper. Just... There's just a big kill thing above him. Oh god, yeah. Are we chasing him now? Oh, nope. Chopper. Big fucking set piece with a big huge boom. F, 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 F. Wow, it's just like Metro. Oh, Yuri has rebar just like Tomb Raider 2013. So that's where they got the rebar from. Kill, murder, murder, death, murder. Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna kill that guy. Me, when I get to Makarov, I'm gonna say my famous catchphrase. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I gotta do the set piece, I gotta do the set piece. Jump! I have to E. I need to E. No pilot for you. E, I have to E. No gun for you, no pilot for you. Oh, am I supposed to control? Oh, okay. What's supposed to happen? I guess technically I could, I could control the stick, but... Uh, oh, RTX on! All duty be like, there's always a helicopter, there's always a guy, there's always a helicopter, there's always a QTE. Oh, they're redoing this bit. Yeah, slow crawl towards the gun. Yeah. 
Oh, he stepped on it. No. Goodbye, Captain Price. Oh, Yuri. No, that guy that we saw that was in all the games secretly. He freaking died. F. Makarov killed you! I didn't press F fast enough, damn it. I gotta press F fast enough. There goes Yuri again. Goodbye. They finally did it, Chad. They killed Yuri. Can't believe they did this shit. Did I press F enough times? Sick. Knock his block off. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. There he goes. Is he gonna die an epic way? Oh, shit. And then I'll live because I tied the cable to him. Whoa. Holy shit. That is an insane way to kill somebody, to be fair. Wow, Soap died for this. Look at that cinematography. Oh, end it. End it, end it, end it. Yeah. Light a cigarette, buddy. Smoke them. If you got them. Uh. Brendan, enter the Konami code and you can see Logan Paul in the corner. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, I just got that. Oh god. Horrible. Bad. Chat bad. Are we free? We're over. How do I alt F4? So that was Call of Duty Bottle for 3. You don't need to go back and play this one. Don't need to. I would say there are some Call of Duties where you can go back and play the campaign and they're still quite enjoyable. Uh, Black Ops 1, World at War, Call of Duty 4, Marvel for 2. Um, maybe Black Ops 2 will get to that. Modern Warfare 3 is the first one in, like, the modern Call of Duties where I'm like, you don't have to play this one. Like, campaign-wise, you ain't gotta. <sighs> I have a headache now. Been a while since a video game has given me a headache. And it wasn't like it was horrible. It was just boring, which is worse than bad. Because at least if something's bad, you have something to say about it. But when something's boring, all you can really do is say, yeah, that was boring. Um, next Call of Duty we're going to play is Black Ops 2. Uh, we'll do that whenever I I feel like it. I have that one. I can install it anytime. Uh, yeah, never want it. I never have to play MW3 ever again, and I never will. But I'm glad I played it so that I can say that I did. But Black Ops 2 will be the next Call of Duty because that's the next one in the release order. Um, after that is... Ghost. Uh, but I beat it. It's done and it's over. So uh, let's end stream. Uh, before I go, we're going to go to BRB screen here. Before I go, uh, as always, I'm going to shill. Creator code Brent Daniel. If you buy anything in the Epic Game Store, helps me out a ton. If you don't use the Epic Game Store, don't worry about it. And there's always videos over on Brent Daniel too. Uh, you can check those out at your leisure. Hope you all have a good rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, and night. And I will see you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's Wednesday, but I should be able to jump on for something else uh, earlier in the afternoon, probably. Bye-bye, gamers.